Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hello, good morning, good morning. How are you? Welcome to Sewing Street. It's all starting to look a little bit Christmassy around here. I've got this gorgeous, gorgeous quilt behind me from Becky Alexander Frost. I've got a Christmas tree right here. And wait till you see our early bird. Oh, Christmas music. Oh, that's love. No, that is lovely. That is lovely. Thank you for that. <laughs> Merry Christmas. It started. Oh my goodness. Here is our early bird. Now then, this is the most incredible quilt kit from Moda. It's called Merry Little Christmas and it is beautiful. It's a sampler quilt. There's candy canes, a Christmas wreath, trees and twinkling lights. There are gifts, stockings hung on the fireside and a beautiful Christmas house. Absolutely beautiful. Now this quilt kit is 74 inches by 84 inches. Normal price, 144.99 but you know what it's the 30th of November isn't it it's pretty close to Christmas so we're going to crash that price there you oh nice price 119.99 but again I would say it is the 30th of November Hannah tomorrow is the 1st of December we if we're speedy we might make this for Christmas but that's more like it oh. what's that Oh, I do hope everyone at home can hear the music and it's not just in my ear. Wouldn't that be weird? And the real next chance is Lord. Oh no, we've, we've finished, we've finished. We're done, we're done. Stop singing. Uh -oh, that was a bit Miranda. Beautiful, beautiful quilt kit here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it up and show you what's inside. Gorgeous. You know what? Those blocks are so versatile. I'm already looking at those thinking how many times I could make things like the tree blocks, those candy canes, the gifts, the stockings, all really useful. The house, you could do a house quilt. 
absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to grab the quilt out and all the lovely fabric. While I do that, I'm just going to say some good mornings because we've had some lots of good mornings. Tracy's got in touch. Good morning. Beautiful fabric, isn't it? Just. Uh, Angelique's got in touch. I love Tula Pink. Oh, we're staking our claims. I love Tula Pink too. She's gorgeous. Jane's got in touch to say, good morning, Stuart. I wasn't expecting to see you this early. It's going to be a good day now. Jane, what were you expecting? I was always going to be here. Here, here I am. <laughs> Claire's got in touch. Good morning, Stuart and all. Laurie's got in touch. Good morning, Mr. Sunshine. Hope you all have a great day. Have fun. Now, listen, there are less than 20 of these kits left already, so you need to be quick on this. It's an amazing price. You're saving £50 on this kit, and I know maybe you're not going to make it for this year. Maybe you're going to stash this and actually start making it in the new year, ready for next Christmas. Maybe you are going to be super speedy. Maybe you're going to make some smaller quilts out of the kit, be inspired by the patterns. We'll have a look at the pattern in a second. Um, maybe you're just thinking to yourself, these are all beautiful fabrics. I'm going to make that quilt for next year. That's cool. You're making a great saving. You could make cushions, you could make a table runner. What about those candy canes on the green background as a table runner with a border around it? That would look absolutely gorgeous. And then you could use the other fabrics to create some Christmas cushions, some stockings. Hilary's got in touch. Morning, Stuart. Love the quilt behind you. This is pretty fab. I will let you know about that very, very shortly. Don't you worry. Sandra's got in touch. Morning, Stuart. Happy St. Andrew's Day. That's what's really special about today. It is St. Andrew's Day. So I'm sending mwah, a great big kiss and lots of love to everybody in Scotland, everybody who is Scottish. In fact, just everybody. Happy St. Andrew's Day. Uh, Patricia's got in touch. Morning, Stuart. Love you from Blackpool. Mwah. It also, tell me again, Hannah. Oh, very, oh, now that's very relevant. It's apparently it's National Mason Jar Day. Oh, good. It's also National Computer Security Day. Well, I'm glad I asked. Oh, well, I'm glad I asked about that. It's National Chocolate Mousse Day. Charlie, if you're watching. <laughs> Fabulous. Well, goodness me. But most importantly, we're all here together on this wonderful day. Let's have a little look at this quilt. We've got 15 left now. Now you're getting your pattern. It's from Thimble Blossoms and um, the, the, the kit itself uses fabulous Bonnie and Camille fabric. Um, which are always an absolute delight. Now within your pattern, you've got all the instructions to make all of the different elements beautifully set out. You've got candy canes, you've got gifts, you've got stockings and a house, you've got twinkling Christmas lights, trees and a wreath. Each and every one of those elements is made simply. It's squares, it's rectangles, it is half square triangles, it is flippy corners. So there's nothing difficult here. Even the stocking is made using flippy corners. The house too. So nothing difficult there. Um, it is a beautiful collection of fabrics. I'm going to just show you the fabrics too. I'll open this carefully, he says. Tina's got in touch. Morning, Stuart. You've made me smile with your little Christmas dance. It's going to be a good day. <laughs> Well, I'm always on hand for things like that, don't you worry. Stick some music on, I'll start dancing. Uh, Jill's got in touch too. Good morning, sweetie. Good morning to you, darling. Morning, Stuart and team have a fabulous show from Heather, who's in Shropshire. Good morning to you, Heather. We've started well. We started well and I'm very excited about all of the loveliness that we've got on today actually. We've got a huge amount of loveliness. But look at these fabrics. <gasps> they are so gorgeous. You've got a little Snow, you get so many different fabrics in this kit. I mean, it would be, I mean, actually, 99.99 for all of these lovely fabrics is actually a bit of a steal, isn't it? They're so lovely. A lot of them actually are, you know, not specifically Christmas themed. Look at that one. That's beautiful. That's your border fabric. That I could use in a quilt I'm working on right now. Nothing to do with Christmas. We've got single figures of this quilt kit left. I've got to say, you, you're right to grab this bargain while you can because 99.99 is amazing. And we're only doing that, you know, because 
it is the 1st of December tomorrow. There are 20 five sleeps left till Christmas. Don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. Gorgeous. I love these fabrics. That red stripe. Look at that red stripe. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -mm. I'm already thinking candy canes. Oh, it's delish. It's absolutely gorgeous. You've got a lovely white on white print as well. This is your background. Not a plain white. You've got a white on white print there. Just beautiful. All of these lovely fabrics, all of your instructions. And think of this quilt as a sort of sew a row quilt. Those are so much fun. It's Something you could do over perhaps each month, do a different row, do the trees in January, the wreath in February, then you could do the lights, then you could maybe sew those three rows together, work on the uh, candy canes next, then the gifts, you know, spread it out over a six month period, then sew everything together, put your borders on, quilt it or get it quilted, and then come Christmas next year, all done and dusted, absolutely beautiful. We are down to single figures. You're going to need to be really quick if you want this. How many in baskets now? Oh, oh okay, listen, we've only got four available. There are five in baskets. Please check out. It's a gorgeous kit from Bonnie Camille. It's our early bird today. Should be $149.99. Today, you're just going to pay $99.99, but be quick. A little message from Alwyn, who's in West Lothian, who says, good morning. You've cheered me up already and you've only been on a few minutes. I'm recording the rest of the show as I need to go to work. Alwyn, no wonder you needed cheering up. Work, boo. Honestly, did we need, do we need that Christmas dance again? Do we have that music? Come on, bring it. Oh, it's... Oh. This... La, oh. la, 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 la. Oh, it's getting weird now. Da, da, da. Glory. It's too long. Glory. It's too high. I've started too high. Bring it down lower. As you're presenting today, I think it's National Stuart Hillard Day. Loving the quilt, love Jill in Leeds. Jill, you're an angel. They haven't done that yet, but it's only a matter of time, surely. Surely. Perhaps when I'm gone. <laughs> Hannah, our pro I shall share this with you. Hannah, our producer, is just rather unkindly said, isn't that Halloween? <laughs> ah, you are rude. Rude, but accurate. Yes, I come alive in the autumn. Ha. Jill's got in touch. Good morning, sweetie. Good morning to you, darling. Susan also, good morning. Good morning. Morning from everybody here at Sewing Street. Let's have a look at the menu and see what madness we've got coming up. Uh, so 8 a.m. it's Moda Chickadee, Fabrics and more Moda. Well, who wouldn't love that? At nine o'clock, we've got Becky Alexander Frost here with the cozy night quilt. That is the quilt that everyone's talking about today. It is beautiful. It's a classic. You're gonna love it. I didn't even know Becky did quilts. Isn't that incredible? That is beautiful. I want that quilt. That bundle is available, those very fabrics, the pattern on its own, full demos, nine o'clock, you're gonna love. I even love the way it's been quilted. I love everything about it. It's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Stay tuned for that. At 10 o'clock, we welcome a brand new company. We've got Karen and Grace from Ribbonly, and um, Grace is there, but also her mum, Karen, is here with us. So we're double-handed today. Beautiful, beautiful ribbon crafting. We've got kissing balls. We've got a Christmas wreath. We've got a beautiful ribbon tree as well. Just a stunning selection of crafts, all really achievable too. Isn't that gorgeous? I want the wreath. I want the wreath now. <laughs> now. All right, calm down. At 11 o'clock, Becky Alexander Frost is back with the quilt block case. This is Becky's Ah, oh, finest hour, I think. Beautiful, beautiful work, as always. So slick, so professional, so smart. Really beautiful, this, for keeping all your quilt blocks in. 
And then at 12 o'clock, I'm super excited, we've got Hemline Gold Tools and we've got everything back in stock and some new ones actually um, from Hemline. It is so smart, so chic, so desirable, so affordable. I can't believe the prices of the Hemline Gold. It is brilliant stuff. We're sure to have some sellouts. If you want to get ahead of the game, remember, you can hop onto our website, www.sewingstreet.com um, click on watch live and then once you're there you can shop ahead it's easily done there's our early bird and then coming up on today's show that's all of our pre-order you can just go through get ahead of the game sit back relax watch the demos We've got some beautiful fabrics in the first hour from Moda, including that new chickadee. There's the quilt. There's the quilt. Absolutely gorgeous. That's the bundle that the sample's made um, that we've got up. So that's lovely. Got some other options there as well, plus pattern as well on its own. Um, got some waddings, um, always worth having. Ribbonly. Look at that gorgeous tree. Look at that beautiful wreath. And they're kissing the wreath, absolutely stunning. It's all stunning, actually. It is so beautiful. And I'm thinking now about those Christmas trees on my Christmas table for lunch. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Got the block keeper. You can buy pattern on its own, pattern and hardware. You can buy full kits. There's that hemline gold. These are really lovely. And what I'm really excited about, we've got a couple of gift tins that can take, there's one of them. Look at that gift tin with some beautiful hemline gold notions in it that is so giftable so giftable and there's some brilliant prices secret santas yeah even even needles they've elevated to something beautiful you could tie a little ribbon on that and hang it from the tree look at those quilt backings now they shouldn't have been on until tomorrow but i asked hannah nicely and we've got some beautiful extra wide quilt backing because you know how little i like sewing fabric together for a quilt backing we've also got the juki now i'm excited about this because i've just bought a juki sewing machine and I'm loving it we have got a very very limited amount of time to share this deal with you it's the Juki HZL uh, and it should be 949 pounds we've got a saving of 50 pounds just on until Saturday it was launched on Saturday we've got it for a week fabulous machine box feed for under 900 pounds, absolutely superb machine. I'm gonna tell you about that later at 12 o'clock, but I just wanted to mention it now um, because you might wanna hop on. The moments, the seconds, life is ticking by. It really is. Um, also, morning to Kath. Kath, morning, Stuart. Looking forward to seeing Becky. I never knew that she made quilts. I didn't either. This. Becky's been making quilts for a long time. Marie's got in touch. Good morning, lovely boy. Got to go out at 12. Curses. Set your recorder. You can always watch the last hour. Tina says, that got me laughing out loud. Brilliant singing. I'm not sure if those go together. Laugh out loud, brilliant singing, but I'm going to take it. Thank you. All right. Let's go to the other side. Come with me. Come with me. Look at this lovely quilt. Isn't it spectacular? absolutely gorgeous irish chain beautiful piece blocks can't wait to see how that goes together now can i just mention as well what while i'm here some ribbonly we've got the beautiful trees up here which are stunning absolutely beautiful so achievable as well that gorgeous christmas wreath look at these kissing balls kissing balls we're not doing mistletoe this year we're doing kissing balls and you can do them in silver and you can do them in bronze i rather like the bronze ball beautiful when i've just set that in motion as well swinging in the background what's that rocking behind you ask yourself well i'll tell you and i'm glad you asked because tomorrow i'm going to be guesting on sewing street and i'm bringing my joy to the world christmas stockings and also my santa paws and santa claus brand new panels to make 
Look, little kitty Christmas stocking. You get two double, so there's his tail, two on the panel, two cats facing different ways. Or, Joy to the World, you get the blue version and you get the green version as well. And the pen, everything, all right? And then, Santa Paws is a little puppy. There's his tail. I've been playing with the Christmas lights. Beautiful. So we've got those brand new panels launching tomorrow at 10 o'clock. So I just thought I'd tease those before we go any further. Don't know why I did that voice, but there you are. Right. Let's get going with some mode of chickadee. Chickadee. Now, we're start, going to start off with a mega bundle. This is so beautiful. It's that kind of watercolour painted effect fabric. I love, love, love this look in fabric. It is becoming so popular and the colours are incredible. Now, in this bundle, you're getting 11 half metres of fabric, 5.5 metres in total. You're only actually paying for five meters because you get half a meter free. So I'm going to pick this one because it's my favorite. And I'm going to say this is the one that's free. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. We'll look at them all properly, of course, but just stunning fabric. You're paying $74.90. Amazing. Brand new fabric. This is Chickadee from Moda. Now, what's lovely about it, I think, you've got those gorgeous floral elements that are familiar, but they've been made brand new with this amazing colouring. I mean, the colours are just gorgeous, aren't they? Digital printing, so that clarity of print is incredible. So you've got this sort of feature print of flowers few different colourways. That's fabulous, isn't it, on the white background. Really fresh, um, spring-like. Um, then you've got a secondary floral print, which is a little bit more sort of open. There's a little bit more background. Isn't that pretty? Kind of post-Christmas, spring sewing. And I don't know, did you spot this? Look. Little blue tits, gorgeous little blue tits. Isn't that sweet? I mean, just lovely. It almost looks like a batik, but I mean more complex, more detailed than you could ever do in a batik. But it's got that beautiful glowing look. There's the same print, but on a white background. That is so pretty, fresh, feminine. I'm just going to pop my hands there so you can see the scale. These floral designs, really quite large. You could fussy cut those, you could put those in the centre of a block. Would be so pretty. They are gorgeous. I didn't see the blue tits to begin with, but now I see them. Now it's all I can see. Then, now, but then, look, this makes it something really special and different, I think. You've got some really kind of more arty uh, designs there. I love this one. That background colour is kind of like a teal, like a petrol. Isn't that cool? I love that. It's like a piece of art on fabric. You've also got a similar version. It's not quite the same. I like this. It's almost like star signs, isn't it? Like constellations in the background. Um, Janet Clare was on yesterday. It's giving me so some vibes. Oh, we had such a nice time. I adore Janet. I adore Janet. We have such a good time together. And then look, we've got these lovely all over what I always call silhouette print, silhouette florals or a silhouette foliage. This is just calm and lovely. You know, this is giving me my, my indigo elements range. This is giving me vibes. This spot is giving me some vibes from that too. You know, it's just, I love that, just that style. So you've got that one in the sort of soft teal. You've also got this, this is pretty, in the violet. Isn't that fresh? It works so beautifully with the florals. 
I've got them separately as well, but this is our mega bundle. And then I dare to call this a blender. It's so much more than that, but it's always good to have a design that's sort of one color, but an all over mottle, but then look almost like sort of etched flowers. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Bex has got in touch, morning Stuart and team. Oh, another fab day on Sewing Street ahead. You're spoiling us. We do our best. We try. Thank you. <laughs> A message from Jacqueline, who's in Cumbria. Good morning, Stuart. I bought Becky's block case uh, keeper pattern already. Looking forward to the show. And you look fabulous. What's your secret, Jacqueline? Oh, bless you. It's a lot of makeup. Good lighting. Thank you. Well, I go to bed at eight o'clock. So sleep. Yeah. <laughs> the odd gin and tonic. Yes. I don't. Yes. Happy to be here. I think that's what it is. Having fun. Having fun with my lovely colleagues and my lovely viewers. And look at this gorgeous stripe. Oh, I want a shirt in that. That's yummy. Let me just hold this up. Look at that. That is lush. That is lush. Because it's all pastel, but not really pastel, is it? You know, it's quite a nice intensity. And just have a look at the detail that's been put into this. It literally looks like you have sort of wetted fabric and then inked onto wet fabric, doesn't it? So it kind of blurs and blends. I think that is really beautiful. This would also be fab. I'm jumping ahead to when you can buy the fabric on its own, but wouldn't that make the most gorgeous scarf? Really lovely. I'm getting some gorgeous suggestions from Hannah in my ear this morning. You don't want to know. Uh, another message, Susan in Gloucestershire. Morning, Stuart and crew. They said good morning. I'm sat in bed watching and you've really made me laugh, Stuart, with your Christmas performance. Susan. My Christmas performance. Is that what we're calling it? Thank you, darling. You're very kind. You're very kind. I want to do a panto, but no one else is interested. It's such a shame. It's such a shame. Mo's watching. She says, morning, handsome. Sitting watching while knitting. Cats Luna and Misty are cuddled in with me. What gorgeous names. I need pictures, Mo. I need pictures. Sounds fab. So that's the mega bundle. So you're getting all 11 pieces, half a metre of each. Gorgeous that to put together into a quilt. I'd maybe just mix some solid white in that. Keep it nice and fresh. Keep it light, some light lilac, a sort of wisteria. Wisteria lilac would be lovely too. Now, before we do half meters, um, I'm just gonna pop the Juki back on for a second because we've got a question and then we're gonna answer it. Yes, we're going to, we've got a question and then an answer. So the Juki, now we've dropped the price by 50 pounds. Juki's website have it not a 50 pound more than this. Um, Taria asks, ah, oh, lovely Taria. Tyra's been to some of my classes. Good morning, my darling. Morning, Stuart. Nice to see you. How heavy is the new Juki sewing machine? Could I take it to a workshop? Let me tell you, it's nine kilograms, Tadia. 19 pounds. It's, it's equivalent to a sort of standard kind of medium to larger sewing machine. It's metal, metal um, construction inside. So it's a heavier machine, but yeah, it's... Um, nine kilograms hmm. yeah like a really massive juki that probably would be a bit too much like something like a juki ux8 but i reckon what do you think taria what do you think we'll have it at 12 o'clock i'll have a go at, i'll have a go at lifting it we'll see we'll see hope that helped nice to hear from you as well my lovely um, let me grab the stripe back for a second. Um, I think this is really beautiful. You know me in stripes. I love a stripey fabric. This is more versatile than most actually. And I'll tell you why, because um, yes, of course, you can use this as I often do as a beautiful border. And what's smashing about that is that you can pull out all those different colours, the pinks, the yellows, greens, teals, whatever you want. If you wanted to border or bind or sash a scrappy quilt, you could literally get yourself a, maybe a metre and a half of this as a base, 
go to your scraps, go to your stash, and then just find all of the fabrics that you've got in your stash that go with, you can pull out these colors. There's lots of different shades of the same color in here as well. So you can pull your mediums, your lights, your darks, and work them all in together. It's perfect for thinner sashings. So an inch and a half or an inch, that is so beautiful next to a block. And the block might be really simple, but that's just gonna elevate it. Binding goes without saying, stripy binding, always looks good. Now imagine doing something like half square triangles with say a solid or you know something that was a semi-solid where you've got the stripe on one side and you've got the um, solid or semi-solid on the other. So if I just show you what I'm talking about this kind of this kind of thing absolutely beautiful. Now imagine these half square triangles made into pinwheels. So you've not only got the, the kind of swirling of the pinwheel, but you've also got the swirling of the stripes. Karen's got in touch from Surrey Stewart. Stripes and rainbow. Hello, fabric heaven. It really is, isn't it? It's perfect. It's perfect. Ticking all the boxes. Love it. I love it. Um, it's a bit of a star, this, this stripe actually. And it's one... You know, I like to pick out the sleeper, you know, the fabric that, because normally I'd go, oh, the floral, you know, jazzy, beautiful, perfect. But this is the one I would use most of because I would use this for sashings, borders, bindings, but you could also put that into your piecing. I mean, imagine actually just getting maybe a metre and a half to two metres of this and then complementary solids that you could then pick out just complementary solids, do your pinwheel or even do a double pinwheel so that you've got large triangles in this and then smaller triangles in your solids, maybe with a crisp white background. What a beautiful, stunning kind of beachy quilt that would be. Just stunning. Now I'm just gonna show you what you get for half a meter just so you can see. What about a weekender, a weekend bag in that? Yeah, I could see that definitely. My weekend warrior bag or a large attache or a large messenger bag. I'm also thinking this would be really nice for a wrap skirt. Can you imagine that? A night, quite long, probably a, a midi or a maxi length, but a wrap skirt, that would be gorgeous. I'm thinking ahead now to the summer. Oh, children's dungarees would be adorable. Really cute. It would also make just really lovely, like um, cushion covers maybe in the garden or conservatory. It would also make actually a really beautiful backdrop for some art quilting, maybe a landscape. Can you imagine putting a silhouetted scene on here? Trees, palm trees going across, little birds. Be a great base. And what's lovely about this actually is I'm often attracted to things like hand dyes, batiks. I'm always slightly concerned about whether the dye will be fugitive, whether it will run or not. Because this is a digital print, it has the appearance of a hand dye, the appearance of a batik, without any of the potential worries of bleeding or sort of inconsistencies. So this, whether you're buying half a meter or 10 meters, it will be the same repeat throughout. It will be consistent and it will work. So that's quite reassuring. I love that. I love that. Well done if you've got yours. A third of the stock has already gone. It's a good um, bread and butter fabric. You wouldn't think it, would you? Because it's so distinctive and beautiful and different, but it's actually a bit of a bread and butter fabric, this, because you could use this in children's quilts just as successfully as you could use this in a beautiful double wedding ring quilt. I mean, just very, very versatile. Steph's got in touch. She says, morning, Stuart. Kettle is on. Is yours a tea or a coffee? Biscuits with that? Steph, you are talking my language. A nice cup of tea, please. And if you've got a couple of Gary Baldies or my own personal uh, favourite, the fruit shortcake, um, I'd be all over that. 
Oh dear. You see, Hannah, you're young. Hannah's saying terrible choices, but if one's of a certain age, a Gary Baldy, um, or a niece biscuit, how lovely a niece, or malted milk. Oh, a malted milk. I could really do a malted milk now. Oh, you like that, do you? Right, I'm going to grab some of the florals now because I want to show you some of these as individuals, if I may. They're so lovely. Are we doing individuals? Yes. This is ending 62. This is a cracker of a fabric, this. This is get it while you can fabric, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. So much juicy, beautiful, rich colour in there. And what is really doing it for me is that teal petrol background. It's a bit different, isn't it? It's a bit of a different colour. It's a different look. It's so fresh, beautiful, arty, but also it's got enough cut. It's not got enough tradition in it that I feel comfortable with it. I'm quite a traditional quilter, but this has got a freshness to it. It is delicious. I love it. That's, um, you know, a feature fabric, it's a border fabric, big squares, use it in your piecing. Gift bags, what about gift bags? Some people don't like cut flowers, do they? Some people don't like cut flowers um, because they die. Um, I think you could make something for somebody who doesn't like cut flowers. You could make them a little something, maybe a little bag, maybe an infinity scarf, something like that. Maybe if, some, if somebody's in hospital, you can't take flowers in, can you? But you could make them a little gift, a little cushion, a little something like that, or a little bag. That would be lovely. All right, same design, but with the white background. This is ending 7-2. Lovely. Oh, Steph says, I've opened these Italian biscuits called abracci, which means hugs, which are ring-shaped, half cocoa and vanilla. Delicious. Steph, they sound it. They sound gorgeous. Carol says, morning. I've been watching Sewing Bee from the beginning for the fifth time. Do you still keep in touch with any of the people from it? Oh, Carol, that's lovely. Um, I do. I do. I see people like Tilly regularly, um, Lauren. Um, Mummy Lavender. Uh, I haven't seen Anne for a couple of years. Normally see her at quilt shows, but yeah, we definitely do. And online as well. It's such friends forever, I think. Friends forever. This is stunning, isn't it? Isn't that pretty? I'm just going to put my hands in so you can see the scale. Really nice, decent sized blooms. You could really make a feature of this on a quilt. Think about something like um, a single Irish chain, double Irish chain, where you could just pick out a solid for your chain, use this for the piecing, be lovely. A message from Adele. Love the oldie biscuits. Malted meeks are called cookie cows in our house because of the Prince of Cows named by the kids. I, do you know, Adele, that's brought back such a happy memory. I remember as a child being utterly fascinated by the fact that there was cows printed on biscuits. I just thought it was the most wonderful thing ever. Mum, I know you're watching. Do you remember malted milks? And my mum always gets niece biscuits in for me. She's always got a Tupperware with some niece biscuits, which I always wanted to call nice biscuits. They are nice. They are nice. Next one ending three, five. The, the background colour of this is so, isn't that the prettiest? just gorgeous. Now I'm going to be a bit out there. Can you imagine a jacket made in that? I absolutely can. Or if you don't want to be so daring, what about lining a jacket in that? I think it's beautiful. I mean, obviously for quilting, it goes without saying, it is absolutely delicious. And again, it's that batiki looking background, isn't it? Helen's got in touch to say, morning, Stuart, gorgeous fabrics. Some of these would make a lovely summer dress. Helen, you took the words right out of my mouth. I totally, this one would be glorious, wouldn't it? Let's think ahead. Let's not think about winter. Let's think about summer garden parties, a little barbecue, picnic. 
Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Same fabric on a white background this time. This is the one that's got the blue tits, 3-6, ending 3-6. I'll just open it up so you can see. And again, this is one of those fabrics that's too pretty to cut up. So, you know, if you saw my tilde quilt that I had up yesterday, it's a variation on a nine patch pizzazz, 12 and a half inch squares, 18 inch squares, things like that. Um, I also had my garden maze quilt with me yesterday. You could highlight these in the, in the large squares. You could easily do it, or in the border. That would be beautiful, really lovely. And I love the selection of flowers here. I love bearded irises. Aren't they beautiful? Real kind of old fashioned flowers, but brought really up to date. I think the foliage brings it up to date and makes it look much more modern. The freshness of the colors, that watercolor look is very in, very in. All right, next one, let's go a bit arty now with these spots. Let's do the dark one first, ending 18. Less than 10 metres of this one, it's been very, very popular. Well done if you've checked out. Carol says, I love the selvage. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? I think that's really cute. Chickadee. Unusual name. I'll be honest with you, I was expecting a sort of farmhousey range with chickens, chicks, eggs, you know, things like that, picket fences. But I'm not disappointed at all. This is lovely. Really lovely. Kirsty says, my mum doesn't like cut flowers. It's a nightmare for Mother's Day when all the lovely blooms are about, but she loves them in her gorgeous garden. My mum's the same. My mum does my mum does like cut flowers, but really she likes to see flowers growing in the garden. So pot plants, roses, things like that, lavenders. Um, you can always find those, can't you? Lovely. This is beautiful. I really, really like this fabric. It's so versatile as well. There's so many ways you could use it. And here's the thing, without this range, I might have struggled to see how a fabric like that would necessarily go with a floral, but then you pop that up against it and I think suddenly, oh yeah, I want some of that, definitely. And you know, like we often do envelope back cushions. Well, what about putting the envelope on the front of your cushion and having a couple of covered buttons down the front? So you're actually making the most of both prints and then have a plain back. Less than seven meters of this blue one left now. It's proving very popular. I'm going to move on to the white one while we still have some of that. Now, possibly, more versatile? I don't know. The lighter background? I can think of so many different ways I would use this. Again, it would be really beautiful for dressmaking, but I want a shirt in this. Don't you think? I think that for a shirt, don't you think? I think that would be beautiful. And it's really silky soft. I mean, all quilt weight cotton is lovely, but this actually has a smoothness and a fineness to the finish. It's really lovely, really nice. So it would be very lovely for dressmaking, actually. Love the colours in there too. Love the fact that it's got that lovely crisp white background. And this, by the way, just to point this out, it isn't metallic gold but it's a bit printed so it looks textured. It's almost like gold paint has been applied to the fabric. It's really cool, really cool. Oh, guys made a great point. Oh, morning Stuart and lovely street people. Lovely street people. Uh, are you sure it's a blue tit and not, well, a chickadee? Sent by a guy who's in Great Land. Guy. They say every day is a school day. I didn't, I thought chickadee was just, a, I didn't realize it was actually a real bird. I always thought it was just a term of endearment. So let's just, let's have a little look now, come on. There we are. Is that, that's a chickadee. That's not a blue tit. 
That is a chickadee. Guy, if I had a hat on, I'd take it off to you. There you go, it's a chickadee. Okay, so now I realise this is why it's called chickadee. Can we start the show again? Is there time? Thank you for that, Guy. Bless you. You see, when I was a school teacher, if I didn't know the answer, I just used to make it up. I was an absolute terror. So, you know, blame me. Blame me. Oh, oh, I got myself into some scrapes. Now, I'd just like to point out, everybody, I don't know if you can see, this is like a sort of outline design of floral, you know, elements. But if you look very carefully here, can you see? That's a chickadee. I'd just like to point that out. That's a chickadee. Yeah. Well, Steph says apparently a chickadee is a North American titmouse. Also, Mae West was in a film with W.C. Fields called My Chickadee. I think I knew that. I didn't know about the actual bird. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that. That's lovely. Now, that reminds me of sand tangling. Doesn't it, don't you think? Yeah, there's a bird te set of templates to do birds from Sand Angle, and that reminds me. Wouldn't this fabric work beautifully as an alternate or a border or an outline for Sand Angling? Because it has that look to it. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Let's do the purple version. This is cool. The more I look at this fabric, the more I'm loving it. I liked it when I saw it first of all, and I thought, lovely. But the more I look at it, we're getting into this. This is lovely. Yeah. And this is glowy as well, isn't it? It's really glowy. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Yeah. It's soothing. It is soothing, isn't it? It's lovely. Um... I'm going to say a funny thing. It's almost, I can smell lavender. Do you know what I mean? It's got such a beautiful vibe. So I'm thinking this would be lovely to make things like lavender bags and heart-shaped sachets filled with lavender. Something scented I want to make with this. It's giving me ideas. Yeah, eye pillows. Like a little sort of um, luxury spa set something like that equally these fabrics now that would be very very nice used to make something like a dressing gown wouldn't it or long um lounge pants you could make with that wear with a little camisole or a t-shirt would be cute and a dressing gown bolster pillows very nice. This would work really well in a conservatory. I mean, it's uh, stating the obvious, I think. I think everybody probably was thinking the same thing, but it's got a lovely look. You could do a Roman blind in this for sure. What you'd want to do with that is you'd want to, um, you'd probably want to interline the fabric. You might even want to put like um, a woven stabiliser on the back. Um, I'm using a great stabiliser. It's like a piece of white cotton fabric, but it's got a fusible on it. We'll have to get it in. And that would work really well on the back of this, just to beef it up a little bit. But then you could use it for drapes. You could use it for Roman blinds. That would be lovely. Really smart. Storage tubs would be nice. Basket linings. Imagine something like a wicker basket, but then lined with that. A picnic basket lined with that. Delish. I just saw actually, um, oh, name escapes me. It'll come to me. Does beautiful red work. Mandy Shaw, thank you. Oh, sorry, Mandy. Um, does a beautiful trug with a lining in it. I'm just thinking, beautiful. Okay, last one in the range. This is that lilac lavender. So pretty. And I love the sort of shadow in the background. You've got the darker leaves on top and then the lighter shadow behind. Julie asks, morning Stuart, have you noticed the unusual self edge? Do they have a quote? Let me tell you, it says, oh, what a beautiful morning. I think it says it on all of them, doesn't it? Well, if ever there was a cue for a song, I mean, goodness me. Oh, I think they might all be different. Free as a bird. Oh, I need to look at them all now. We haven't got time. We haven't got time. What does this one say? 
room to grow oh look at that well spotted julie well spotted i thought they were all the same oh well they're definitely ones you've got to cut out and keep and use aren't they just lovely you need the mega bundle for that details are on screen you get half a meter of each of the 11 fabrics in this brand new i think we can all agree dazzling range from moda chickadee it's not a term of endearment it's a bird um you save seven pound 49 which is the price of half a meter we love it we love it you love it too it's absolutely selling like hot cakes. Now, I've got a panel to show you. It's not from this range, but it could be. And if you're thinking, adding borders, adding some piecing, you could use the chickadee. This is lovely. It's called Fresh as a Daisy. And again, it's from Moda. It's got that beautiful watercolour look, hasn't it? Stunning. You could use this as the centre of a quilt. You could use this as a wall hanging. It works perfectly on its own, but you could also add borders. You could add some pieced blocks, some half square triangles, or just plain borders using the chickadee fabrics. I think the stripe in particular would look amazing put around the edge. In fact, I'm going to grab the stripe and just pop a little bit around one edge so you can see how you could use it um, because it would just pull out so many of the lovely colours from there. So I'm going to say let's go around about a five inch finished border. And this really is what I do in my studio, okay? I do this all the time with quilts. I'll have various fabrics that I want to audition and I will just fold them up and I will stand back, take a photograph, you know, try out different things. Now, of course, that's using it that way. You could use it the other way as well. You could piece it together. That works really well, doesn't it? Really lovely. Um, the panel, by the way, size-wise, um, I'm just going to measure it for you so that you know the size. You get 90 centimetres, but uh, I'll just tell you what you get. So width-wise, this is from the sort of blue border to the blue border, outside to outside, 33 inches. And then in terms of the height of the panel, it's basically the width of the fabric so again from blue to blue you're looking at about just over 42 inches maybe 43 inches lovely um collector in tyne and weir morning stuart this would make a beautiful center panel for a quilt absolutely right it really would it would be beautiful and you could do i mean you could turn that into a queen size quilt couldn't you by adding borders some blocks and if you don't want to do loads of piecing you could just put blocks in the corners four blocks or one thing i like to do is to do three blocks around the corner so one right in the corner and then one to either side of it and do that in each of the four corners and that creates a lovely little frame around you've only actually had to make 12 blocks to create all of that looks really effective yeah Let's make a whole quilt out of it. Beautiful. Oh, we're going to crash it. Why not? Oh, oh, you can't. No, we're not going to crash it. No, no. Oh, 12 is a fantastic price for that. It's brilliant. It's a brilliant price. Oh, oh, no, it's still good. It's lovely. All right. Now, let's do Kawa. Kawa. This is from Debbie Maddy. Now, I'm, I'm going to mention really quickly the five inch charm pack. I'm obsessed with five inch charm packs at the moment. I'm loving them, but I'm also loving other pre cuts. Don't worry, I love it all. <laughs> but I love the five inch charm pack. I've just been doing twist and stitch. Five inch charm packs are perfect for that. I just love them, they're so versatile. You get 40, 42, 42 five inch squares. 
It's a fabulous range. Again, a little bit like Chickadee. It's made to look like it's been hand printed, tie dyed, but actually it's all your regular printing process. It's just super clever, isn't it? That it can reproduce these timeless classic designs. Isn't that fab? There's only six of them left, so I'm gonna move on, but um, grab those while you can. We'll have sold out of those very quickly. Um, now, um, we'll just grab the design roll. We've got the, well, it's actually a jelly roll. It's a, a Moda jelly roll. So in these, you get 40 two and a half inch strips from the Kawa range by Debbie Maddy. Um, I've got one that I'm gonna open here and show you. These colours as well are really appealing to me right now. I love those indigo blues, but I'm also really into that terracotta and that brown. I think it's lovely. There's lots of greige as well in here, what I'm calling greige, because it's that sort of blend. It's a warm grey. Really love that. Um, lots of different beautiful strips. The designs as well in the Kawa range, which means river, um, are based on traditional Japanese shibori dyeing techniques, tie-dye, this is fabulous, that's very shibori style. It almost looks, you know the matrix when the numbers are falling at the start, it always reminds me of that. And you know, isn't it interesting? They're very traditional, but they also look modern. There's something about certain textiles. <clears throat> Excuse me. Love that one. This one's got ginkgo leaves on it. This is stunning. How about that? That is a bit of something all right, isn't it? Lots and lots of beautiful blue indigo colors in here. And of course this would work with any jelly roll or strip roll pattern. This would work beautifully with my garden maze quilt pattern, um, which we've also got on the show. Now let's just look at some of the browns. How delicious are these? Loving that sort of tobacco brown. Very nice and works so well with the blue. Of course, orange is opposite blue on the color wheel. So this kind of orangey brown is perfect as a complement to blue. But what Debbie's also put in this um, range, which I think is very, very clever, is she's brought in this beautiful greyish color, this warm taupe, um, which is very interiors, works really well in interiors. Isn't that lovely? And it just adds a little bit of difference, a little bit of freshness to that. Absolutely beautiful. That's your Kawa jelly roll, 49.99. Lovely. Yeah, really nice that. Now, don't forget that mega bundle, Chickadee, is selling really fast and also fabrics by the half meter. There'll be some sellouts today, I'm pretty certain of that. So if there's anything in there that you really love, that rainbow stripe is my top tip. Grab it while you can. Uh, we are gonna go to a little break now. When we come back, we've got Becky Alexander Frost and it's that gorgeous quilt that's hanging behind me. I can't wait. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. 
Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. 
Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hey, morning to you. Welcome back to Sewing Street. I'm Stuart Hillard. It's wonderful to have your company. Look who I've got with me. It's Buffy. Hi. Hey, Hi. Becky. Hello. Now, um, just a minute. Just a minute. <laughs> have you? Have you? You've grown. My, oh. how you've grown. I have grown. <laughs> you. You got taller. I have. I'm wider. <laughs> Stop it. I can't tell you what. <laughs> Becky is standing on to be that height. But anyway, it looks good on you. It's great. I'll tell you what really looks good. That quilt hanging behind Becky. How gorgeous is that? Now, normally I'd, I'd start talking about wonderful this, that and the other and we'd talk and we will talk. But yeah. I need to tell you straight away that the quilt that's hanging behind Becky is in single figures. If you want that kit to make that version, which is a stonker, yeah, Becky, I love, can I, I say it's beautiful? I love Lynette. I love, oh, I love is it her. Lynette Anderson? Yeah, it is. I love her fabric. Absolutely fabrics. beautiful. It's an absolute yeah. classic. We all said when, when we started hanging this quilt this morning, Hannah, our producer, said, oh, that's like that quilt you see in an American movie, isn't it? It's like that classic quilt over the bed. It's just like, oh, it is absolutely it is, stunning. Yeah. You it love is. it? I do. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love, love a two-tone quilt. Love everything about it. The quilting. We'll talk about that in a sec. But I just needed to get that message out there. There's literally seven of those kits left. Now, we do have some other options. Six left, sorry. Six left. So it is beautiful. Now, let me quickly tell you, we've got four different colourways, four different kits. The red one is in serious danger of selling out before I even start talking to our <laughs> Becky. So if you want the red, please be really quick. Um, let me just tell you what you get in each bundle. You get your feature fabric, your main fabric that you're going to use for the chain. You get two meters of that. Then you've got your background color and you've got um, four and a half meters of that. So in this version, you've got the red Lynette Anderson, two meters, and then you've got four and a half meters of that beautiful cream background. You're also getting the Cozy Night Quilt Pattern by Becky Alexander Frost. This is beautiful. Yes. This is beautiful. Fancy. The they Fancy. don't. It's the local church. Oh, they don't is know it? The photography is lovely. Just check that out. That is really nicely done. Can I hire you for my next book, please? You don't know my background, do you? Tell me. So I, um, I've got qualifications in photography and Ooh. camera work and stuff. So. <laughs> well, we know now <laughs> Becky will be using those skills. No. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I love a good pattern. This is beautiful. I've always said it about Becky's patterns, but this is glorious. I need to move on to another colorway because we're actually oversubscribed on the red. There's a literally <coughs> a less than a handful. Let's look at blues next. Um, absolutely delightful, this one. This is using um, Bumbleberry for the main feature fabric, the chain, and for the uh, stars. This would make a great looking quilt, absolutely beautiful. What color is this? You get two meters of this one. It's absolutely lovely. It's like a sort of an aqua turquoise. Really pretty. Aqua, yeah, aqua. And then you've got four and a half meters, and this again is cream or ivory? This is ivory, isn't it? Yeah, this is ivory. So a crisper, brighter cream. 
yeah that the ivory that is going to be beautiful and again it's that classic look isn't it the two yeah. color quilt it's just an absolute classic um very very similar in fact in fact that is the version isn't it that's on the front it's the darker, it's the darker bumbleberry darker blue. but it's yeah. going to look very very similar to that i love a blue and white quilt yeah me too absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous pop that to one side and show you the instructions um extensive hold your hand throughout yep. absolutely beautifully set out your requirements etc how you cut out finish size i should mention by the way it's a 70 inch square quilt am i right 72, 72? yeah 72 inches square oh now that's the sweet spot for me because you can join two widths the yeah. fabric for the backing that's what i had to do on this one yeah. yeah it's always slightly annoying if it's just slightly over and you have to do three three yeah no i've never been that far yet but. we like that we like that that's a gift thank you for that you get your cutting out diagrams you get all of your piecing instructions and this is really back to basics i like yeah. that yeah why is that so work. important um it's how i was taught so basically i don't know if you remember a magazine back in the day well my mom used to get a magazine called prime or prim and inside prima, you, prima yeah prima. it used to be a pull out yeah that's how she taught me to sew oh. through that and a lot of it was quilting the old traditional american style Way. love it yeah. it's literally every step this triangle pin it sew it add the next one i love that because if you've never made a quilt before maybe you've done some cushions some bags a little bit of piecing or maybe you've never done piecing before this would be a great place to yeah. start this would be a great place to start classic blocks beautifully put together a full layout this is the full layout of your 72 inch square quilt You've even got, this is a this is an extra step, you've even got cutting out labels so you can pin and them to your fabric. The other pieces, them, if and then the colouring. And then the colouring chart. That is really cool. Really cool. So we could photocopy this, we could colour it in, yep. because once you've made one, you could make it again and again. Yep. It would look lovely and scrappy. Yeah, and at the back is some um how I there's two pictures at the back of the um no, no. underneath your pieces there on the left hand side. Oh, sorry, big Yeah, pardon. it's just basically showing you. Oh, gosh, yes. Um, different colourways. Yes, this would be lovely. The dark background with the lighter. That's very Amish looking, yeah. isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful. Up the villa. Yeah. 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 Hey, up the villa. <laughs> My mate, um, Mark, got his 18 month old daughter to shout that out at his son's christening <laughs> and we were in this massive roman catholic sort of cathedral <laughs> and just at that quietest minute you heard this oh, little no. voice go up the villa and then mark was <laughs> crying with laughter what a naughty Classic. boy I've it got was my shoes funny. off <laughs> very good i should think you have you can't sew with your shoes no, on I can can't. you no. <laughs> so you're getting full instructions you're getting uh uh, six and a half meters of fabric. I can't believe the price. Sixty nine ninety nine for a full quilt kit and a full pattern from uh, Becky Alexander Frost. There are less than twenty of this option available, and you know how quickly <coughs> the red version went. We had just about that number when we started the show, and literally by the time I got to the bundle, we'd got one left there is one left of the red grab it if you can grab it if you can right third option this is the one you're going to demo yeah, with yeah love the simplicity of this this is using green this is a beautiful green now green white this is sage this is sage you get two meters of this beautiful soft subtle green color beautiful and then you get four and a half meters of natural seeded cotton for the background so this is a real lovely kind of homespun, homespun yeah. isn't it yeah it's really nice and um fresh yeah yeah fresh for me anyway gorgeous like. yeah and if you find i think one of the appeals of a two color quilt and a two fabric quilt 
If you find a lot of quilts too fussy, too complex, too overwhelming, you don't like all that pattern on pattern, then a two colour, two fabric quilt is the way to go. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's very, it's very country. Mm. But I, I like this style. I, mm. like, I like geometric and basically not putting too many colours. I, I can't cope with hecticness. Right. Yeah, so. so this simplicity appeals to you. I didn't know Autist you were a quilter. Oh, I've been quilting since I was about eight. Serious? Yeah, so, awesome. and I used to work in a quilt shop years ago mm -hmm. and used to work on the long arm and mm -hmm. stuff like that, so. Ooh. Yeah. Nice <laughs> one. <laughs> but yeah, I totally get that simplicity of line, symmetry. My autistic symmetry. child likes stuff like this. Okay. So we, we have to not have too much fussiness in the house. So something like this on his bed will be brilliant. Less overwhelming. Less overwhelming understood yeah understood not busy that makes a lot of sense yeah that makes a lot of sense and it does have a lovely calm beauty to it doesn't it, it? Does, yeah. as well and also i mean i think as well um it has a real modern look even though it's traditional mm -hmm. why is that i don't know it's, do you get it's it weird. though you i know do what I get mean? it i do get it yeah it couldn't be more traditional no, and no. yet you could put that in a really modern sort of swanky apartment yeah and it'd look the business. Yeah, and it's so simple, so simple. Good, and easy enough for a beginner. Yeah, it is beginner friendly. Awesome, I love that, I love that. Because you know me, I'm an encourager. Yeah, I want definitely. everybody to quilt. Our last bundle that we've got, I think would really look the business in a modern setting. Yeah. We've got really monochrome on this one, two shades of gray. So your feature fabric for your blocks and for your chain is this really deep, I think is this elephant or charcoal? You get two meters of this. Dark gray, dark gray, dark did gray. Hear a I did hear a shout. <laughs> I don't need to talk back, I can just hear a shout. Dark gray. <laughs> and then four and a half meters, this is Light, Light gray. gray, good. <laughs> we really, really went imaginative on those colours, didn't we? Light gray and dark gray, but beautiful. Now you did a monotone quilt, didn't yeah, you? The granny square no yarn needed quilt. And that one flew that in flew monotone. Out, yeah. yeah, so beautiful. it's the in colours, isn't it, at the moment? Especially yeah. if you've got like a bright coloured sofa or something. Oh, it'd go nice on, on the, the back, sofa. yeah. Like a mustard coloured sofa. Oh, amazing. Lovely. That yeah. would look really cool. That's I like it. That's my artistic it. side. Oh, oh <laughs> love it. No, those colours together, amazing. Lynn's got in touch to say, great yeah. to see Becky Alexander Frost back on Sewing Street with you, Stuart. Becky's patterns are a delight to follow. So clear and concise. Can't watch all morning as I'm off to visit hubby in hospital. I've got records that. Oh, well, we send lots of love, Lynn. Um, give your husband our love, won't you, from all of us here. Um, Steph's got in touch as well. Morning, Becky. Can I ask you, where did you learn to quilt, please? I saw you last time doing patchwork and your piecing and precision were immaculate. I would love to improve. That's my mom. I bless my mom. She, she was a dressmaker. She couldn't teach me um, craft sewing, as it's called back in those days. It wasn't really called quilting in this country. Mm -hmm. um, and then basically, um, we didn't have rotary cutters, we didn't have a cutting mat. So they used to, in the magazine, put squares and yeah. templates in, yeah. and you used to have to cut out your fabric with your, and that's how I've learned, and I've stuck with it. Don't get me wrong, I do square upon square, um, mm -hmm. and I do paper piecing and mm -hmm. um, foundation paper piecing and that, but this is the one that I always go back and to. And it works. Yeah. It works. It's worked for hundreds of years, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. Hundreds of years. It still works now. It does. But you're going to give us a full demo of both yeah. blocks. Awesome. I'm going to show you one last thing and then hand to Becky. Um, you can get the quilt pattern on its own if you would like. We've got a handful left. A handful left. That's a great price, yeah. 9 99 It's a really gorgeous pattern. Well set out. Really clear as... Uh, as um, Lynn said, delight to follow, clear and concise, so many step-by-step -step photographs, really, really straightforward to follow, a lovely layout diagram, this is a straight set as well, no sashings to add, a simple board around the outside, 72 inches square once you've finished, 
just lovely. And of course, if you did want to make it a bit bigger, you could always add a border, couldn't you? you could. Buy some extra fabric and add a border. Um, you don't need to buy extra fabric. So oh. I starch a lot of the, my fabric at the start. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard you say that yesterday. Yeah. Oh, I, I was praising you for oh, that. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Great. Um, it's because there is some cuts where it's on the bias. Yes. Um, so basically, in my instructions, I just over exaggerate a little bit. So there is going to be like um, a quarter of a meter left oh, of the back in fabrics, of yes. the background fabric. So it means that you can do larger, larger border, borders if you oh, want to. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. Great, great. That's really good to know. Yeah, I like a bit of fudge factor. Yeah. In the old fabric requirements, mm -hmm. you never know, do you? No, no, you no. never know. Absolutely fantastic. The pattern on its own has sold out. Well done if you managed to get yours. The red bundle. That's also sold out. The blue bundle, we're just gonna bring the graphics back in. 69.99 <coughs> for everything included. This is the whole of the top, the binding as well. Literally everything there, your full pattern for 69.99 for a 72 inch square quilt. Jenny, I hope that answers your question. She asks, um, how big is the finished quilt? Um, now, what bundle are you gonna work with? The green. The green. Right, um, just to reiterate, I actually starch quite a lot. So I use type of starch, a heavy starch. Mm -hmm. I don't use best press. If I'm using best press, I spray it once, let it dry and then spray it again. Because you are cutting on 45 degree angle on some of the actual um, things. And obviously with 45 degree angle, you've got a bias yep. and you don't want the bias. Or else your blocks be a bit stretched. So, so the you spray all your fabric before you cut them, give yep. them a good press so they're nice and dry, and then start cutting yeah, them. Yeah, so I, I spray, put them on the clothes horse, let them dry overnight, spray them again, and then oh. literally, oh. because I wash out the starch afterwards once I've completed the whole quilt anyway. Yeah. So I know I don't like the feel of starch, but I know it's so effective. So really? It just makes piecing a lot easier as it well, does. doesn't and it? It does, and ironing, Sharper. and it makes it faster for you as Great. well. So we, likes of us, we haven't got time to... We haven't got time no. for that. <laughs> you were sewing in your hotel room last night. It has actually sold, I was, I was burning <laughs> the midnight oil. Well, we have sold out of starch savvy, but you know, um, a starch is yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Right, so with the cutting out, you cut strips and then I tell you to cut them into either squares or rectangles. And then sometimes um, there is a, like a symbol mentioned, it means that you're going to have to subcut it. So when you're subcutting it, it means that you're cutting it on the, the 45 degree angle. So like so the top one, you would have had one square and you would just have to cut it in 45 degree angle. So you've got two patches. Perfect. So just bear that in mind, read the instructions. If you're not um, figuring out how to do it, message me, my contact details are on there as well. So I'm going to get making the first block, which is this one, the cross and crown on point. So. That's a lovely block, I really like it that. It is effective, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so. I've got my triangles all laid out. I always do this um, with myself. Um, so you need, there's four patches, four triangle patches of each section. So you need to have, have it laid out so you're not sewing them all the same way because if you're sewing them all the same way, you won't get these little points here. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna just piece these together. So all you have to do is match up the bottom edge and the side edge but they should be all the same. And then I'm just going to chain stitch. Okay. Um, Jennifer's just asking a question. Yeah. Good morning, Becky and Stuart. Good morning. Gorgeous quilt. Thank you. I have ordered the pattern and I'm going to use ivory and the mode at Wildflowers collection oh, for yes. it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, and doing it like a scrappy version with, you could use a different fabric for each of those crown blocks, couldn't you? That would be lovely. Sounds beautiful, Jennifer. Really lovely. It does sound amazing. Mm. Um, a lot of people have said um, on Facebook they were going to buy the pattern and use scrap fabric mm. from leftover projects. Yeah. One woman said, and I thought this was a, um, a really good idea, is all the projects that she's done through the year, she's going to use one set fabric from that project. Oh, lovely. Yeah, lovely. I thought that was good. Really nice idea. Yeah. It's just lovely. I love any quilt with a chain. 
in it. Yeah, me too. I'm yeah. there. <laughs> I'm there. I love it. I love the movement it creates. I love the frame it creates. Yeah, definitely. Lovely message from Julie, who's in Norfolk. Morning, you lovely people. Morning. Becky's patterns are so precise and great to follow. Loving her quilt. Thank you. Thanks. We need more quilts from you, please. Oh, yeah, next year. <laughs> You've got lots of exciting plans though. I have, yeah. And So and Street are happy to launch them for me. Great. So. Are you able to tell us of any more? Or? Yeah. Um, so yeah, from actually. February is Row of the Month Yay! starting. Yeah, so I'll be on every month. That awesome. was the main pro promise that was basically to them. <laughs> so you're going to, so it's a sew a row every yep. month, different row. Yeah, different is there techniques. A theme? There is. It's called Birds and the Bees. Oh, 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 hello. Birds and the bees. Do you get like a small quilt at the end of nine months? Um, you get a large quilt. You get a large quilt. <laughs> I love With it. With loads With of bees. With a bonus small quilt. <laughs> Fantastic. And it's got yeah, different... heard it here first. Different techniques. And then in the pattern, there's going to be um, QR codes. Each month, there'll be a Pacific online tutorial, which is only for the people that have brought the pattern. So. Sounds awesome. That, I love that support though as well. Yeah. And you have such a great community that you've built up as well online, don't yeah, you? Yeah. You're a big yeah. gang. Yeah, big gang. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's lovely, isn't it? I yeah. love that community. I'm doing a knit along at the moment, and it's so awesome. Every day, um, people in the group are posting the pics of their what they're making, how they're getting on with yeah, the I latest love that. bit. I love pray I love seeing like someone saying, Oh, you can see loads of mistakes, but I personally can't see I half can't the see mistakes. Them. No. no. I'm not looking for them. No, I never look for them. And if people are going to look for them, they're not your friends. No, to be honest, Becky, I don't <coughs> look for mistakes in my own work, so I certainly don't look for them in other people. <laughs> You never know what you'll find, do you? <laughs> no. Really? No, you just got to enjoy the process. You have. So I'm going to set the seams, and all the seams are going to be put to the dark side. Right. So. Well, especially on this part, anyway. Do you want me to press those while you yes. get on with the next stage? I can't. I need at least two. Okay. <laughs> do you trust me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You've I can do that for a you. Time. Yep. I'll do you two. Yep. Two the same. <clears throat> yes, please. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? That fabric feels lovely with that um, starch. starch savvy. And doesn't it press cleanly? It does. It's so sharp. Right, so you've got some um, dog ears. You're going to have to cut those off. Now, ideally, you should actually use a quarters rule and a um, brooch cutter, but I'm just going to use pair of scissors. I always use scissors. Me too. I always use scissors. It's quicker. I don't teach that, though, in my classes, okay. but I do. <laughs> I did have to laugh when somebody in the class called them dog ends. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do I have to cut the dog ends off? They never used to call them dog ears, though, did they? I don't know. <laughs> No, I don't suppose they did really. No. No. We didn't used to cut them off. My mum used to call them the doofers. The doofers. <laughs> it's better than dog ends. <laughs> right, so we're going to first um, join this to this plain square here first. So you're going to line up this edge and this edge. And the key is you should have an overhang on this edge here. And I like to sew from the top because that's where my seams are. Mm -hmm. it means Quarter that it's. Water of the stock has gone of the green. Cool. And then there's half in baskets, the other half that's, that's left. Oh, Houston, we have a problem. So you've got four going one way, four going the yep. other way. Awesome. Do you want me to cut the dog ears off as well? Yes, please. Well, I'll just refread them. What about the doofers? Yeah, the doofers. Oh no, I always use scissors for this because actually the, the process of laying a ruler down... It's a long process. It's a long process. It would take twice as long. It does. I'm loving the combination actually of this soft um, moss green. Yeah, I... With the Cedar Natural. Yeah, I um, I put it against the white and I don't think it would have... I no, would, I would have been a bit harsh. too starky. Mm. Yeah, so I basically... Um, said the cream actually makes it. Yeah, yeah, like it. And a lot of people have this colour um, in their living rooms and kitchens, so. Yeah, 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 true enough. Uh, Dawn's got a touch to say, morning student team. I love that Becky is sharing her quilting with us now too. A very talented and lovely lady. Thank you. Lucky, aren't we? <laughs> Multi-talented. <laughs> 
I didn't know it was your first thing that you did though, craft yeah. sewing. Yeah, 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 craft yeah. sewing. Um, quilting was the only thing my mum really could teach because obviously dressmaking is quite a bit more in depth. Um, but I do do dressmaking. Mm -hmm. um, you do it all, don't you? Yeah, I'm an overall sewer. But right. I got labelled as a bag maker in the past channel, so so I stuck with that for a while. But you do... You You've do, broken free. Yeah, you do need to break free. Yeah. Well, do, yeah, but I think as well, you, 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 you go through phases, don't you? I think we're all the same. Yeah, of course. Sometimes I'm really in my quilty mode. Sometimes I'm in my bag mode. Then dressmaking. Yeah. 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 You're all about sew a row right now, I bet. <laughs> I am Gorgeous. recording all the videos. <laughs> so much fun though. Yeah, it is. That's a great. So that launches in February. Hopefully February. We've got to talk to him today about it. I'm so. going to put it in my diary. Oh, launch it on my birthday, Becky. I think they want it on birthday week. My birthday. Oh, your birthday. My When's your birthday? Be third of February. Oh, I'm 24th. Are you? Yeah. Hey, fellow Aquarian. No, no I'm Pisces. Pisces. Yeah, I'm a fish. Oh, oh, <laughs> I can't look at you. I can't look at you. Oh, I'm surrounded by Pisces. I'm surrounded Are by you? them. Yeah, Kat, our multi skilled operator, is also a Pisces. <laughs> My mum is an Aquarian. Oh, is she? Yeah, my mum, I'm the third and she's the seventh. <laughs> so we never do joint birthdays. Yeah, my dad and sister the opposite. Um, oh, so, that? yeah, please. Towards the white? Towards the white this mm -hmm. time. Um, my mum, um, my dad and my sister are in the same month and they're totally um, mm. different star all the same. signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah all okay. the same, please. So with this one, um, I'm going to cut off this dog ear here and make sure it's in line with this straight edge of the square. Mm. And then we're going to move over to the other set of triangles that we've just made and to make the full triangle we need yep. for the square, half square. I like this. this. Like you said, this is classic piecing and this is old school I yeah. love that did you because you used to be a quilter before sewing bee didn't you oh I never did dressmaking no. I didn't do dressmaking when I did sewing bee didn't you no I'd made pajama bottoms <laughs> honestly honestly I, when I was when I joined the first show thank you it was supposed to be quilting home decor soft furnishing oh, was it? and a little bit of dressmaking and i said to them i don't do dressmaking and they said that's fine there were people there that have never recovered a chair or made a quilt <laughs> so i went in all like oh that's okay fine okay we'll all have our own skills yeah 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 and then yeah. about i don't know 10 days two weeks before we started filming they shelved the format made it all dressmaking and i was like <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I thought, well, that's going to be a car crash. <laughs> but it wasn't, though. You were really good. Thank I loved you. you on there. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, I don't watch it much now, though. Transferable skills, I suppose. But they'll only get you so far. Yeah. There are special skills, aren't there, in every discipline? Yeah, and I think practice makes perfect. Yeah, it yeah. does. It does, yeah. Because yeah. people are always saying, oh, like with the quilts, how do you get the points? I said it's just practice. Repetition. It is repetition, basically. Mm -hmm. But you can always unpick. Yeah, you can. And you can always practice on scrap fabrics as well, you can't can. you? I always do a block on the scrap fabric first, do you? anyway. Yeah, now, so which way do you want me to, again, towards, towards the square? Towards the square, please. Yeah. Oh, now that's nicely lined up, Becky. Can I just say, beautiful. Can I just say, that is on a quarter of an inch and I'm gonna show you how to get around that. Okay, way. looks good to me. Looks so, good to me. Sometimes it can happen, you haven't got um, a quarter of an inch mm -hmm. um, and you've got a point in that part, so you want to keep the point, so I'm right. just gonna show you how awesome. to get around that. No, but I still make a mean pair of pajama bottoms. <laughs> Um, and I, you know, actually it inspired me to do more dressmaking and I do do some now. Yeah. I'm just about to start making my Christmas costume. Oh, oh yes. For here? Well, possibly. 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 <laughs> Julie is in Hampshire. <laughs> she says, good morning, everyone. <coughs> what a treat working from home. Boo hiss. With you for company. <laughs> Hurrah. Quilt ordered. Beautiful quilt. Ordered the grey. Can't wait to start. Oh, thank you. Very lovely. 
I'm going to get out of the way. There we go. Now, half the stock of the grey has gone. <clears throat> half the stock of the grey has gone. It's beautiful, monotone, isn't it? Um, now, the green sage version, uh, once you've all checked out, it's gone. It's gone. The blue bumbleberries, we'll just check. There's 12 of those left. I really like that. I like that. It's very fresh, isn't it? Is it is fresh. Yeah. That's, that's that's something you would have at a seaside beach. Yeah. Oh. But also I'm thinking winter into spring. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, Rather yeah. lovely and yeah. fresh and snowflakey. Or if the little child likes Frozen, the Disney film. Oh, it is rather, isn't it? It is very Frozen. Let it go, Becky. Oh, Let no. it go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Julie says, I commented on Becky's precision the last time she was on. I've started a sample quilt and used her knowledge at the moment, all my points are as close to perfect as possible. That's, That's as close as we can hope for. I slowed down and smelt the roses instead of rushing. So thank you, Becky. No, you're welcome. Right, okay, so we're gonna join these on. And as I said, this isn't a true um, quarter of an inch. So we're just gonna get around that. So if you line up this part here, and then ideally pin at this stage because you've got quite a lot of seams. So I'm just going to throw in a few pins. I haven't got my right pins with me today. But pins are good, right? Yeah, pins are good. I right. like um, thin ones for quilting now. Right, okay, so you'll see here where the two seams overlap. So where this point is, it overlaps. And you could sh should see the stitches. So if you are sewing a quarter of an inch here, but just move it slightly over, and bring it to where the point is. Okay. And make sure the needle lands out. It means you have that on top. Yeah. Becky. Yeah. I've got some lovely pins. Magic pins. Use magic pins. Yay. Use some magic pins. Knock yourself out. <laughs> 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 they are lovely. You use them. Um, I've used them once. Oh, lovely. So cool. And you remembered them. Yeah. That says something, doesn't it? That really does. What machine are you using, by the way, the Becky? The 780 Plus, my favourite machine. Beautiful. Do you want to know a special thing about the Elna 780 Plus, Becky? Go on then. I'm going to take some money off today. Ooh. How do you fancy that? Merry Christmas to you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, is that our full price? £2,789. Yeah, that's about right. It's a beautiful machine, isn't it? It is, my it's favourite. It's a beautiful machine. What about this, though? <clears throat> Oh, I love it when those arrows go down like that. Two thousand four hundred ninety. That's a good price. That's cheaper from what I paid. Is it? Yeah. This is the machine you have, isn't it? Yeah, I've got this one in the seven twenty. Would you swap it? This? Yeah. No. Why not? It does a lot. It talks to me when the bobbin's running out. Nice. I um, like that. So I can alter the stitch. So if What's I'm top What's the voice stitch? that it has? Oh, it's a beep. Oh, okay. So it's a squeal. I was hoping for more. <laughs> no. Your bobbin's running out! <laughs> <laughs> um, I like the um, the lights on this are great. So there's like three lights here, one light there, and there's this big the light here. The lighting's exceptional on that machine, yeah. isn't it? I know we talk a lot about task lighting. This is a sewing machine that actually has its own built-in task lighting, bar none. Fab. Well, save yourself. Uh, you're saving over £290. How long does that offer last for? End of the week, that's it. Saturday? Yeah. Uh, close of business on Friday. Midnight, midnight. Be out partying. I won't be out of business, no. My I don't party. My party is Percy Pigs. Yeah, Percy <laughs> Pigs so in the hotel room in your sewing machine. <laughs> yeah. Or my laptop right in the new quilt, quilt yes. pattern. <laughs> you should have come and tapped on my door with Percy Pigs, obviously. Oh, you didn't want to see my. I had um, uh, Lilo and Stitch um, t shirt on. You didn't want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had a bag of um, uh, Merry Percymus. Have you seen oh, the Christmas yes, versions? Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. I was expecting a different flavour, but I'm glad they're not. <laughs> My favourite are the um, Fruity Chews ones. Ooh. We do love our Percy Pigs, don't we? Yeah. I just like M&S, though. So, mm, so oh, I've yeah. lost the point on those two because okay. I couldn't see. So okay. Just... 
but you know it's all good yeah it's all good once it's quilted so we're pressing and then towards the large yeah triangle. towards the big triangle place well <coughs> one of the things i like to do when i'm quilting if i'm quilting on my like domestic sewing machine if i've missed my point i'll actually quilt it in yeah, so yeah, i'll yeah. extend my quilting stitches out into a point and the eye is drawn to the shadow that you create i thought i was the only one that did that oh fake yeah. it till you make, make it, it i say yeah, yeah definitely okay now i'm just gonna do your last little bit of pressing and then i'm gonna go and recap the gorgeous bundles that we have left cool. we're on single figures for everything i will say that oh that's a lovely one that's a good one that's a good one that's a real good one that good is egg. that is i love that yeah look, look at that not that one <laughs> get in there get in there she shoots she scores love it right uh okay the green one let's start with the green one we've got eight of these remaining there are 15 in baskets now i've said this many times becky i'm not a maths genius no that's but i know that ain't going to work out well no you get four and a half meters of natural seeded cotton you get two meters in that beautiful sage green it's really coming together you get the fabulous cozy <coughs> night quilt pattern from becky alexander frost and actually as well easy to adapt this if you wanted to make a runner if you wanted to make a cushion yep. if you wanted to make a larger or a smaller quilt beautiful 58.99 what a brilliant price everything you need to make a 72 inch square quilt top plus the binding fab now then next up let's recap the blue let's do the blue bumbleberries bumbleberries from lewis and irene of course you get two meters in aqua the look you're going to get is very similar to this one on the front cover i love a classic blue and white quilt i love the freshness that doing aqua brings it it's a new twist but really lovely two meters of that four and a half meters of ivory so a nice crisp ivory to go with really nice and fresh and then your full pattern oversubscribed again on that one and then our last bundle is that monochromatic uh, two-tone greys you've got your light grey dark grey so dark grey is your feature fabric for your chain and your stars two meters of that and then four and a half meters of light grey this is for your background just gorgeous and if you wanted to add a little one tiny pop of color you could do like a bright pink or a mustard or something like that you could do a little folded insert yep. in your binding or your border couldn't you just you the could. tiniest pop or do check out on your your baskets won't you we're going to run out of everything i don't want you to miss out and we're oversubscribed on absolutely everything thank you everybody it's really it's it's nice to hear that it's a beautiful quilt Keep though, isn't it? Really? Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> right, okay. So I've just moved on a little bit further. So I've joined the two centre parts and I'm just going to add these. Now, if it's slightly smaller, because this is on the bias, you can stretch it just mm, a wee yeah. little bit. And everybody does it. Are you not kidding? No. And so. also with a baggy bottom. Yeah. 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 So if, the, if there's one bit which is slightly longer than the other, put that <coughs> on the bottom nearest the feed dogs. Yep. And up to a, just an eighth of an inch, pl uh, pl uh, give or take, yeah. and it'll take it up. Yeah, 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 exactly. So don't be scared. If it, if it doesn't fit, if it's like any millimetres out, I'll make it. make it fit. So I'm just going to add those. I always remember Anne Rowley on the first series of Sewing Bee. Yeah. And... and um, amazing sewer but i remember her saying one day i'm just having to get very tough with my sewing machine and my fabric and just tell it to his boss <laughs> all right Anne, you wouldn't argue but you know exactly that yeah exactly um i it's what my mum taught me and i'm sticking by it and it's worked ever since and it does the job yeah right, towards the rectangle towards the rectangle in no the middle, worries please. yeah Okay, so we're going to work on the centre row. Please may I just press those? I've yeah. got creases on there. Thank you. So 
So the centre row, we're just going to join those two together. Now, personally, I like to just do the whole row sew together and then take it to the pressing board because then I know which way the seams need to go. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. And it also means putting down how many times you actually go to the iron. I'm going to be controversial now. I've been watching a brilliant um, sewer, Jessica yep. Dayden. Yeah. And she doesn't press her blocks at all until, until they're finished. The yeah, Have you I've seen, seen loads of people do that. And, and I've started doing I'm doing them with my log cabin blocks. Oh, the ones that you were doing yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. finger pressing them as I go. Yeah, with I a seam not roller. Press. No, just with my Oh, with your fingers. fingers. Wow. Yeah. But if you've start, did you starch the fabric I first? I didn't actually. I no. didn't. No. But they are. See, that would throw me. Yeah, no, they're good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they say you can crush the fibres, can't you? So, yeah. like, if you're bag making and you've got a bit of bulk, if you actually crush it with mm. your hammer mm. or something, you can probably do it with, because this is single layers, isn't it? So. <laughs> yeah, you do get a hammer. Do you? Yes. <laughs> what do you want towards the, the, uh, the outer yeah. edges, please? Yeah, no worries. Yeah. yeah, I just do that. I literally just run my just run my nail from the centre out. And if you have a look at that now, no, it's like, that's as flat as a pancake. Yeah. You don't really. No, 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 no. I didn't. No. <laughs> so you've got this. Yeah, which but, I love too. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Sometimes so I just wheel it round my desk just <laughs> for fun. I have a message. Good morning. Good morning. I've bought these instructions. May I ask which starch Becky uses, please? My mum used to make a solution with starch powder. Katie. Right. Okay. So I've actually got this one. I've got um, a shop brought one. That's um, starch savvy, isn't it? If I haven't got that, I use Best Press. Um, Best Press is um, ideal. It's got a lighter weight finish. So I will spray the fabric first, let it dry, and then spray it again before I do it. But yeah, um, heavy starch first. But um, my mum used to make her own starch. Oh, did she? Yeah, so I know that technique. Ah. So. <laughs> I wouldn't know where to start, but that's no. cool. Right, okay, so you're gonna match up those and your seams should be going in the opposite direction. You shouldn't have to pin, so. Lovely. Oh, full throttle. Full throttle. Just make sure that's going the right way. Always check where your seams are going. Mm. That one seems just kicked over. Angela's asking, um, good morning, really like this quilt. What size is it, please? 72 by 72. 72 by 72. A good size, actually. It actually goes on top mm. of... Um, our bed, which is a single bed. Uh, not single a bed, a double bed. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fantastic size for a double bed. Really fantastic size. Um, great for over the back of a big sofa. Yeah, we, we fit two under it. So we, we've got a free seat and mm -hmm. one of the ch child sitting between us and we put yeah. it over the oh, lovely. adult and the child. Yes, family snuggles. Yeah, unless I, I get a bit selfish and say, no, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, which is okay too. <laughs> We have we have three. Oh, do you? We have three because we have um, Mrs. Mills. Oh yeah 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 yeah. She gets in the middle, but she's never been more welcome this year because she's like <laughs> she's having a warm. hot water bottle. <laughs> And also, she's very, very accommodating. So you can literally just position her on your leg, on your lap, wherever yeah, you wherever want her. Yeah, wherever you've gone cold. And she just stays there. She's marvellous. Yeah, we haven't got any um, pets, but... Um, oh, I recommend them. Yeah, I recommend them. Lovely. I'll tell you something, the hot water bottles have been coming out. Yes, and I've rediscovered just how brilliant hot water bottles are. Yeah, especially when we're going to bed and yeah. still not putting on central heating. Oh, you I'm still... adamant. Oh, you're I'm hardcore. I'm adamant. We've I've had folded. it on once. Have you? You've 5th caved. 5th of December, we caved. I found the high hotel really warm last night because yeah. I'm not used to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean. The wind. I mean, we're definitely doing it, putting it on less, lower yeah. temperature. You know, you can't beat it. <laughs> no. And you will find um, less germs and stuff. So yes. germs multiply, don't they? And fevers and stuff mm. and heat. Mm. To be fair, 
our autistic child, our youngest, he radiates off heat a lot anyway. Okay. So can you press those into the centre? I please? certainly can. So you've then got these four triangles, these four large triangles, which would have been um, one square before you've done the sub mm -hmm. You need to find the centres of the actual 45 degree angles. So I just basically pile them up together. Just give them a little finger press, not put too much press pressure on. And Oh, I'm loving this green and seeded natural combination. It's looking nice. Isn't it, it is beautiful and it's got that um, vintage look. Yeah. Now, if you're going to get that little bobbly bit, spread it. Okay. Because sometimes that's it. Just like that? Yeah. And then it will iron flat. Oh, lovely. Pro tip. Oh, it does. Yeah. Gorgeous. I can't have um, bubbles in my quilts. No, I think neither. that's from being a lo an ex long garment. Um, right. Basically, because yeah. yeah. you like it nice you don't and want the tall, fullness. don't you? Yeah. You don't want fullness. So you want it flat as a pancake, don't you? Yeah. So um, the shop that I used to do long garment in, um, if there was a quilt that came through the post, because um, we did take them through the post, mm. if it wasn't flat, I would literally steam it and yeah. spritz it with yeah. sp starch. Right, okay, so we're just going to fold it in quarters, find the centre ball. How I do that is match up the two seams and just finger press it. So, and I'm doing that so it means that you've got equal amount of seams on all the way around for when we put these on. So you do that on all four sides, yep. find the middles. Yep. So we've found the centre of that one. So I only tend to put one pin in, just so it doesn't move. And I do opposite sides to start off with. You can't hear this, Becky, but they're dividing up the spoils. How are they? In the, yeah, Becky's very lovely. She always brings in chocolates. Yeah. Just look, look at the carnage. <laughs> look, at the, look at this, look at this, look at this, look. <laughs> No. I've had to start bringing the, st um, the staff upstairs some as well because they you weren't going to upstairs. You need them up into them and us, <laughs> Becky. I tell you, there's never anything left by the time I get up there. <laughs> How I'm losing weight. Literally no access to food. Um, oh. Caught. Right, caught. okay. Caught. Um, I've just started to sew on the wrong side, but it's best to sew from this side because you can see where the actual points are. So... Just bear that in mind. Mm -hmm. Fab. So this is a smaller block and it's then set on point. You can see that, can't you, when you look at the quilt? You can. Perhaps just about. <coughs> Here's your original block that you've got here. And then with those four setting triangles, it's put it on point and brought it up. I need to tell you there are four bundles left of the green. That's it. They're in baskets, there's 14 of them in baskets, but we've only got four of them in, in reality. Please don't fight. <laughs> no, no. Oh gosh, I was in a supermarket once on Christmas Eve and saw two men fighting over the last French stick. Oh no, why? You know that Christmas staple, the French <laughs> yeah. stick. Not the turkey. I, I was also at the same supermarket, I was halfway round and there was a tannoy announcement that said, we now have bananas in the fruit and veg jar. And literally people were abandoning their carts and running through the supermarket. Oh, Again, shortage. that Christmas staple, the banana. banana. I mean, I don't think a Christmas dinner is complete without one, do you? No. I don't like bananas. Oh, just, you know, I remember one Christmas we actually went food shopping at about three o'clock on Christmas Eve, which admittedly wasn't a great idea. Oh, no. You know, and we, had, we did have, we ended up having something like salmon and veggies and... I don't like salmon. It was nice for Christmas yeah. Day. It was all good. Was See, all my good. husband wouldn't like that though. He likes a proper meat for Christmas, but... And turkey? Um, we're not doing turkey this year. We're doing no. lamb. Oh, This lovely. is the only time we've had lamb this year. Lovely. Well, I love lamb. It's my mum's favourite. Yeah, yeah, it's my mum's and my nan's. Towards the setting yes, triangle. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, look at those points. That's Wait. why it's best to sew from the seams pointing upwards so yeah. you can see where the points are. 
Tell you what, old school works, doesn't it? It does. Really does. Old school works. And pressing as you go helps. Yeah. But obviously you've figured out you don't need to press. You can finger press. If but you want some to. kind some, of... Yeah, yeah, some form of pressing. And because you've got the starch in there as well, it is crisp, it is clean. Yeah. So just such a good tip. So I'm just going to get the quilters roll now and just get rid of those two yeah. and any bits that are overhanging. I'm not used to this type of... Rich cutter. Put the blade away when you're moving around. <laughs> cut and shut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love the trigger rotary cutters for that. Me too. I've never used one actually. This is the first time actually, and it's just eating. Yeah. See, you're going to miss out, Stuart. That's it. You need to go into the um, the green room. Well, what? It's producer room, isn't it? So oh, there's been no chocolates left. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. They're watching my weight for me. Oh, aren't you're they? Not They're doing big. it to help me. They're doing it to help me. <laughs> Don't eat it in front of me. That is mean. <laughs> that is me. Get out of my sight. <laughs> Honestly. Right. So once you've sewn these on and given it a good press, um, it's just slightly bigger than 14 inch. You need it to be 14 inch. So. If you've got a squared roller, that will help. Mm -hmm. If not, roach cutting mat will help as well. So is that 14 <coughs> inch unfinished or 14 and a half or? 14 unfinished. 14 unfinished. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> Lynn said, I bet you don't share your Percy Pig. No, I don't. <laughs> That's why I had one pack to myself last night. But you, you, you do what I do. You, you, you bring things for other people, distract them, and then you can have your Percy Pigs in peace. Yeah, I've got two bags right there. <laughs> Good for you. Emma ah, says, hi, Becky and Stuart. Hello. Finally able to pop on. Love your new quilt, Becky. Thank you. Donna asks, the 780 machine, does it have a knee lift and changeable needle plate for straight stitch yes, only? Yes, yes, and yes. 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 Mm -hmm. um, so it's got three plates with this one. Um, so it's got a high... Um, what's it called a high definition plate and um, then it's got a straight stitch and then it's got the zigzag beautiful yeah so it's got three yeah so if you like working with chiffons and stuff okay yeah cool and there we have it the block finished now the other block's so simple mm -hmm. it's just sewing straight lines together so if i talk you through that by pointing mm -hmm. out on here so you start off with the big square in the center and join the two or this way, it doesn't matter which way it assembles, the two rectangles and press. And then basically you're doing the two, the two stripes here, mm -hmm. <coughs> making sure you've got the pommy squares on the end. Then you'll have a little square and then you'll just repeat the same. So you add two, two rectangles at the top and the bottom. And then you've got the, the two lines with the pommy squares. That's just slightly over um, 14 and a uh, quarter so you have to trim it down to 14 inch. you just trim it look at that <coughs> how lovely is that so crisp the colorway is beautiful it is really beautiful and you get such a fabulous definition and contrast don't you you do yeah between the lights and the darks yeah and then i basically just spritz that one more time and then assemble all the rows mm -hmm. the rows are alternative so on like the first row you've got or the bottom row i've kept it so doesn't matter which way it goes round. Absolutely. So you've got two Irish square, um, Irish chains on on the end rows with the um, crown and cross, cross mm -hmm. and crown. And then you've got three, and then you just basically keep repeating. And you can carry on. So if you wanted to make it a king size, you can, mm -hmm. and the, the blocks are there. Mm -hmm. And the way I do the pattern for the cutting guides, each, section part of cutting out is just for that one block i cut it down into blocks i like that yeah i prefer doing that because it means that you're not 
you might not go back to that section for mm -hmm. a little while. Mm -hmm. And I sometimes haven't got a night to cut out everything. No, no, no. no. And also, if you like doing scrappy, <coughs> then you can just cut out one block. Yeah, exactly. Can't you? Yeah. And then piece that, and then different set of scraps, make a yeah. different block. It's really lovely. Thank you. Really lovely. I can't wait to see the sew a row quilt. Yeah. I'm all excited for that. <laughs> but this is beautiful and it's been so, so popular. So many gorgeous messages of support for you as well, Becky. Thank you. Lot of love. Lot of love. All right, let me read out this message. The demo is fab. Becky is so talented and I love how she explains every step. A gorgeous quilt. Thank That's you. From Thank said. you. Thanks. Super, isn't it beautiful? Thanks for that gorgeous demo. Thank you. Now, the green colourway, three left. Three left, I mean, ridiculously oversubscribed, hugely oversubscribed, literally three left. So grab yours while you can. It's 58 99 all the fabrics for the top and the binding. And as we mentioned, because it's 72 inches square, <coughs> you'll need... Um, four metres of fabric for the backing. It's on the back. Yeah? Yeah, four and a half. Yeah, regular bit, four and a half. Yeah. Four and a half metres of fabric, two panels, centre seam. I've done four and a half because um, I like to starch my back of my fabric as well. Okay, yep. can I just borrow the block for a second, please? Just to show you, you how the green looks together. Crisp, fresh, both traditional and modern. I don't know if that's a thing, but it should be. Beautiful. Yep. Yeah. Really lovely. So crisp. Really beautiful. That's your green and cream version. Seeded natural. <coughs> Seeded natural. There are two left. There are two left. Okay. Uh, dark grey and light grey. This is our monotone. There are two left of those as well. You get four and a half metres of the light grey, two metres of the dark, plus your pattern. 17 of these in baskets, two left. So just check out your basket and you'll get it. If you're the next two people to do so. Last option is the Bumbleberry Aqua. This is two metres of Aqua Bumbleberry from Lewis and Irene. Gorgeous, glowy colour, really pretty. You get four and a half metres of ivory, nice and crisp and fresh. And then you get your full pattern as well. Single figures of that one, again, oversubscribed. So again, it just comes down to who is quickest to check to out. Check out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Buffer, that's been fab. No, thank you. Absolutely glorious. So Thanks. good to do a quilting show with you. I love quilting. Me too. We love how you quilt. <laughs> Gorgeous. Thank you. No. You're getting a you're getting an hour off now. Yeah. Winnebago, glass of champagne. I don't drink. Of course. There's no Winnebago. No. I was lying. So what are you going to be doing? Percy the, pigs. Percy pigs. Good. And then when we see you at eleven. Um. Yeah, I'll be doing the block keeper, but it's not just a block keeper i'm going to talk to you how you can adapt it hello 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 and i'm also going to talk you through that pvc plastic as well fab yeah giving us your top tips on yep. working with vinyl i love it yep. have a great hour thank you off Yoink. <laughs> <laughs> love it <laughs> lovely percy pigs i can smell them from here gorgeous <laughs> love them right we're gonna go to a little break when we come back i can't wait to introduce a brand new company to you it's a ribbonly it's going to be ribbonly wonderful i'll see you after this miss the live show don't worry we recorded it for you never miss out on your favorite presenters guests and makes ever again Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing String on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. 
You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals, and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals, and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too.
Hello, welcome back friends to Sewing Street. I'm super excited about this next hour because I get the opportunity to introduce a brand new brand and two brand new friends to Sewing Street. I'm really delighted to welcome Ribbonly oh, and mother and daughter you. team, yes. Karen yeah. and Grace. Yes. Thank you so much for having us. We're so excited to be joining Hobby Maker TV. Sorry, Sewing Street TV. Um, I'm getting confused over Hobby Maker. We're so excited to join you guys. No, we're really excited to have you. Now, Ribbonly, tell me about Ribbonly, the company, the duo. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to say, my mum's watching. I don't know Aww. if I could work with my mum. Oh, really? <laughs> I've started controversial. How did it all begin? So, um, we're kind of a trio. We are a trio. We, are a trio, yeah. trio. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we can't miss out Dad. So, okay. um, we're a family business. Um, basically, to keep it short, throughout lockdown, uh, my dad and I got bored of kind of our corporate jobs. And mum is incredibly creative. And we wanted to work all together and basically find a way um, for us to do that in a business. Mm. And so Ribbon Lee was bored. We, we looked for a niche in the market and we thought ribbons, luxury, mm -hmm. different products. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't, it's hard to find different craft products in the UK mm. um, that are luxury and at a great price point. Yeah. So that's how we developed our company. And also wonderfully achievable. All of the projects yes. look stunning. Thank they you. look really high end, but they're all beginner friendly. Yes, Very absolutely. Much so. yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's important, why Karen. We them. Yes, absolutely. We want to be able to make things um, um, and for people to say, oh, that's really fantastic. I really like that. And we can say, well, it's really easy to make. Yeah. You know, it's not, it's very, very simple. So, uh, let's, so everything we do, we design with that in mind, um, just so that anybody who's watching or anybody who comes to our shows can think, gosh, I could take that home and I actually, I could make that for myself. Well, or I love the I way you make put it, it Karen. I love the way you put it when you say about shoes. <laughs> yes. Oh, absolutely. For our, our wreaths, we always say, if you can tie a shoelace, um, if you can actually tie your shoelace, then you'll be able to make one of our wreaths. Because I should it really point is out now, I'm wearing slip-ons. <laughs> <laughs> but you can tie a shoelace, can't I you? I can yeah, technically, I yeah. can, I just don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I love that. And the thing is, they have such a polished look, don't they? Let me show you the samples, because they are beautiful. Oh. Um, Grace, will you come over and join I will, me? I will join you. You join me on the special the side. side. <laughs> special side. <laughs> I call it special, you say dark. <laughs> you know me too well already. <laughs> Let's start with the wreath. Now the Nutcracker ribbon, is that this one? This one's the Nutcracker. <gasps> Get with it, come on. We've not seen the Nutcracker. Not, <laughs> it's my favorite Christmas thing to do. Really? To go and see the Nutcracker is my favorite thing. This is absolutely glorious. Tell me about this, Grace. Oh, well, thank you so much. So we'll start with this uh, green spot ribbon uh, in this kit. Now this is designed by Ribbon Lee. So this is exclusive to us. I designed it um, and it's got this gorgeous luxury wired edge. So you've got three beautiful ribbons in this kit and the first one is this gorgeous green spot. You've got this lovely um, slightly wired red row grain and you've also got a stunning double-sided foil. So on one side it's gold and the other side it's a mushroom colour. It's so you've got absolutely three stunning. I'm just going to move that over of course. slightly. Let's move that out of the way for the you. There we go, perfect. So it is gorgeous. Ribbons. So all of the ribbons are exclusive, aren't they? You you design your yes. own ribbons. Yes. So this is stunning. So you get all of the ribbons that you need to make the wreath. You also, it's made on a wire frame. Yes, would you like me to show you the kit? What's yes, in the kit? Yes, please. Let me, let's do the big reveal. So you're getting three gorgeous luxury ribbons in this kit and this is everything you need to make uh, this gorgeous wreath. Um, you're going to get your wire ring of mm -hmm. course, so this is just your classic 12 inch floristry ring. There's a huge amount of ribbon here. There I is. Just, you know when you pick up a, a, a reel of ribbon sometimes and it, it's hardly any weight in your hand? Yeah. These are heavy. <laughs> There's a lot of ribbon on those. You get 40 metres in this kit. Incredible. Thank you. And some written instructions as well. Now, as mum and uh, we said earlier, that you don't actually really need instructions. If you can tie a shoelace, you can make one of these. But Excellent. we like to provide a pattern because with this one, you follow um, a pattern. But of course, you guys on Sewing Street, you're pros with patterns, right? You're mm -hmm. pros, so yeah. you don't well, need a pattern. Well, no, I mean, it's still good to have that support though as well and things like how long do you cut the ribbon. But I mean, it is absolutely beautiful. It is so polished, it is so high-end. And as you said, luxury. Yeah. It is absolutely stunning. Time-wise, how yeah. long is this gonna take me? Because I'm always time poor at Christmas. I okay. wanna make things, but. 
I'm going to pass over to Mum. Mum, can you? I, I, I'm going to say I think about a couple of hours, but you yes. made this one. You could easily so. make that in a couple of hours because it's only a 12 inch ring mm -hmm. and you're using really wide ribbon. The mm. green spot is really wide. Mm. Um, so you, you haven't got to tie loads and loads of ribbons on there. So you could easily make that in an evening. No problem. Or in a craftoon. Oh, tell me more about a craftoon, Karen. Well, it usually involves um, <laughs> Prosecco. A, 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 well, oh no, hang on, Stuart. No, that's a craftoon. That's a craftoon. <laughs> that's um, a craftoon. Trust it, me. It usually involves, uh, for me, a cup of tea. Okay, piece good. Of cake, nice. Some nice company. Uh -huh. Maybe some Christmas music. You know, and then yeah, just just time. Those, Mariah Carey. All time. I want for Christmas is oh, you. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that it's got to be. It's got to be at least. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's very, it's very, very quick to make. I love the yes. sound of a craftoon. Oh yes. yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do a craftoon. What a stunning result! Absolutely lovely, and I like as well that the finished wreath is light. Yes. yes. So this is going to be easy to hang. Yes. We can use those little sticky hooks that don't leave yeah. a mark. You yeah. can, and there's some ribbon left um, for you to be able to to um, apply some, attach some ribbon to actually hang it on a length if you want to, or you could just use a little hook and hook onto the back of the metal frame. It's Absolutely entirely up to you, but gorgeous. yes, it is very light. Yeah. Gorgeous, 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 and of course you could add fairy lights. You oh, yeah. could add fairy lights. Is Absolutely that naughty stunning. to say that? No, we've had fairy lights. In fact, we did have a light up ribbon. Unfortunately, sold out now, but we have had customers. Light ever. up ribbon. Yeah. <laughs> I know. And our customers have popped that in and it looks gorgeous with lights. So I love the suggestion. Gorgeous. I'm already thinking now. Now we've got one more wreath um, and then we'll go to a demo. This is now, this one is beautiful. This is very classy. Thank you. Very opulent, isn't it? It really is. This is the Jingle Bells ribbon quilt. <laughs> It Drink is. It. <laughs> <laughs> We're on it today. Um, so yes, this has got two gorgeous ribbons in. And again, we designed this ribbon, this lovely jacquard. Kind of reminds me of like a stately home wallpaper. Mm. Uh, super luxury, super thick wired. Now you don't have to be very good at tying bows to make this wreath. And we're not saying that, I'm not a pro, okay? I still tie a bow like a child. Um, <laughs> and uh, you can still make beautiful wreaths. The ribbon does all the work for you because it is such gorgeous quality and again you are getting written instructions as well so you won't get stuck but mum does an amazing demo and she'll show you that in a bit karen i think it's time is it demo time, time? yeah let's Is see it? how to make the wreath <laughs> i love it right okie dokie so am i good here or do i need to move these um i'll tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to move those boxes out of your way okay, okay. scoot them out and the come over to the light side now okay <laughs> <laughs> yes it's definitely the light side so we've got a 12 inch um ribbon uh frame as uh, grace said for this uh kit and um, we're using i'm going to demonstrate uh, the nutcracker kit and basically um we are starting off with our wide wired spotty ribbon and what i'm going to uh, you cut 80 centimeters the instructions will tell you to cut 80 80 centimeters of this ribbon and the reason we cut it a little bit longer is because we're going to tie it around both of the um, <coughs> wire circles so here we go it's as simple as you like or you literally just tie it around make a little knot like that such nice ribbon to work with because it's wired absolutely gorgeous and you can shape so, it can't you you really can shape it and you yeah you, and at the end you can puff all of the wide ribbons out and you can make it looks it, there's almost a circle of green spots in the middle I, would, I was noticing when you had it on the camera actually just yeah. it looks really really lovely it's just beautiful yeah. i'll hold it up again i'm gonna have to just give you a little stock warning already how many <gasps> minutes are we in oh my word about three we're we've already sold more than 50 percent of the stock of the nutcracker wreath more than 50% has already checked out. You're loving it. It is glorious, isn't it? It's, it's everything. Balance. It's everything that Christmas is to me. It's the red, green, and gold. It's that sparkle. It's that class, that luxury. That's what, yeah. Absolutely that's what we've gone I love for. the colours as well. It's very classic. I was saying to me, it kind of reminds me of the Christmas tree we had in the 90s, like the classic reds and golds oh, yeah. and greens. Very traditional. Very traditional. I'm still there, Karen. Yeah. I'm still yeah. there. I love <laughs> yeah. that. I love red and green. However, I also need to let you know that 50%, half the stock, of the Jingle Bells wreath 
has also been checked out. Wow. Absolutely oh, gorgeous. We're going to need you back. Oh, we would love to be back. We're loving the wreath. We're we loving could the wreath. have a wreath on the front door and then one on the inside of the front door so like you that. get to enjoy it. Like you can have that. them going down the stairs. They also look really nice in the, on the centre of a table and you can put a, um, a lovely hurricane vase in the middle with a candle. Like or Obviously, electric candles. Uh, yes. Absolutely. Of and they look really, yeah. really I lovely. Put those sometimes. That's a yeah. gorgeous idea yeah. as a table centrepiece. Yeah. What a fantastic idea. I actually put a wreath on my living room door mm -hmm. because exactly as you said Grace we want to enjoy that yeah. we want to see that yeah it's not just to impress the neighbours it's absolutely <laughs> right it's absolutely right we don't, we don't want to impress them we do want to impress them so where do you hang your wreath Karen in your home oh, always on my front door I always think it gives uh, a lovely warm feeling when people come to the door and they see a lovely wreath they think they, they must think well this is a happy home this is a welcoming home this is a friendly place and that's what I really like to uh people to think when they come to the front door so always there yes for me and uh, that's quite traditional isn't it mm, but I, I mean so. I like lots of ribbon inside as well you know I mean we have baubles hanging from the um uh from the stairs from as you come down the stairs from the mm. banister I mean that looks really nice you can have <gasps> baubles hanging from your fireplace you know with ribbons so yeah oh look at I've just brought Christmas to the studio, what can that. I say? Bit of native lighting. <laughs> Doesn't that look lovely though? It looks amazing. Aww. I love that. I love, love where the light bounces off all the gold. It now, looks dripping. You're absolutely right. Can you see that sparkle and glow off the jacquard ribbon? That is really special. That's Jingle Bells, by the way. It's that deep claret yes. with gold printing, wire edged, mixed with the gold. That double faced gold. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness, I don't think we saw that. Shall we get that the out? Inside of the gold ribbon is actually the claret. So the gold ribbon is actually red, um, but you've got the gold on the other side. So I like to say that, you know, red from the front, party on the back with the gold. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you've got basically two ribbons in one and is, we're gonna, we call it other variations of that, uh, which we'll show you um, today. But it's absolutely gorgeous because if you wanted to customize, if you wanted to go a little bit, you know, mm. uh, crazy with this, you could do red one side, gold the other. Beautiful. So you've got opportunities to mix it up. I love it. And the fact that it's on a wire, a proper florist wire frame means as well, of course, if you wanted to wire in some baubles or berries or something like that, any yeah. addition, mm. you can easily do oh, that. Absolutely. Karen, how are you? I feel like we're just leaving you to your oh, ribbons. No, no, but that's fine. You two have a nice yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> no resentment there at all. <laughs> no, I do really well. So I tied on the um, the green spot um, and that was across both of the, the um, circles there, you can mm -hmm. see. And then I shaped it beautifully and I cut the end into uh, a swallowtail there. So that looks really, really nice, really pretty on that wide, wide ribbon. And then this particular pattern tells you to tie two red ribbons. This is also wide ribbon as well, actually. So you can give this a lovely shape. One of the double-sided foil, which we tie on the gold, the gold side. I mean, you can tie it on the uh, silvery mushroom side, but I, we like the, the gold looks really nice mm. with the spot. And then two more red ribbons will come next. And what it tells you in the pattern to do is to tie them, you see there, on alternate rings. So I tied the first one on the inner ring then the second one on the outer ring I tied the gold one on the outer ring I've just started one here on the inner ring and then I'll be doing another one on the outer ring and the reason we do that is a you don't have to cut the ribbon quite so long because you're not actually having to go Banded, across the width yeah. of two um, or and it basically still creates the width of your big wide ribbon so that's it's, so clever yeah. but I mean at the end <laughs> of the day it doesn't really matter you know it, there's no one's going to really know whether you actually tied it onto the right circle or not um, just, you're right. just 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 um, but the pattern is so easy to follow um, it really is it, it's, honestly it's it's noddy it's definitely <laughs> afternoon territory oh, isn't it, it? Is. <laughs> eggnog mince pies and the friends oh, round yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely <laughs> Yeah. Yes, it's yeah. very yeah. traditional like that. <laughs> uh, Kate's got in touch from the West Midlands. She says, morning, delighted to see Ribbonly on Sewing Aww. Street. I'm a huge fan and I'm truly obsessed with Ribbonly wreaths. Oh. I've made four so far. Oh, Kate, Gosh, hello, thanks so much for asking. I think I know which Kate this is. Isn't uh, that lovely? Yeah, thank you so much for asking.
investing in a four, I mean, that is amazing. It shows you can get addicted to these. You can, you can. and they, But they can go all over the house. You yeah. could put these in a guest room. Yeah. You could put them above a fireplace, I'm thinking, above Absolutely. a mantle. Yeah, and you can rework it next year. So let's say next year I'm going to go green and gold, no red. Take the red out, add a bit more gold. Like, this is such idea. a sustainable, um, you know, for the price as well. It's such a good price percent, which you're going to have for every year. You're absolutely right. It's incredible. And it is that reuse, repurpose, yeah. keep bringing out year after year. And as you say, you can adapt if you want. Exactly. For which we might need some extra ribbon, oh, which wow. we have. Oh, look at that transition. <laughs> single figures, by the way. Single figures on jingle bells. Single figures. <laughs> Let's do golds first. Oh, this is delicious. Is this rose gold rose or gold. I want That's gold. gold? Let's do gold. Let's right, do this is gold. delicious. Right. So the first thing I'm going to show you about this, just got a naughty ribbon, is the really fun. Um, so I'm going to show you the ribbons, which of course are the main part um, of this uh, box. But there's a really cool um, element to this box, and it's a dispenser. So you can pull your ribbon out as much as you'd like and cut it and keep all your ribbons neat. So this That's box really clever. is a dispenser. So storage and dispenser exactly. all in one. All in one. So you don't have to have, I've got like a nest of vipers at home of ribbons. <laughs> right. Although it did save mum when she fell on it the other day. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have, okay. I have a massive pile of ribbons in, uh, well, it was scrap ribbon. So it was like, and, and I was basically making something for myself. It okay. Was, it was a big, big pile and I stood in it and it was so huge and slippy and beautiful. I fell straight over in it. And it, and it actually broke your fall. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a big old pile it, of river. It was a beautiful part. It was a beautiful part and a beautiful fall. Just shows our quality, right? <laughs> Very Instagrammable, I feel, that oh, picture. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> so this is what we get. These are so gorgeous. These, these are not ribbons that I've ever seen before. Oh, thank you. And that is exactly what I'm aiming for. So, so you've special. made my day. So I'm going to start with this gorgeous gloss satin. I mean, just look at the way it's falling on the screen. Mm -hmm. And this is in the colour coin. It reminds you of like a chocolate coin that you receive in your Santa mm -hmm. like every year. Um, and it's, I mean, feel how soft this is. Oh, that is gorgeous. It's velvety soft. It really and I is. love the texture of it too. It's almost like crushed velvet. Yeah. Can you see that? And the the shine, the glimmer on that is superb. Um, how much do I get on each roll? So on this roll, you're getting 15 meters. Cool, wow, 15 meters. So that's a lot, but that is not it in no, this no. gorgeous collection. So you are getting, now this has been one of our most popular ribbons this Christmas, and it is this absolutely stunning glitter mesh. Um, and basically That's it's extraordinary thank you you get five meters on this roll uh, it's got this gorgeous cobweb effect and this gold glitter on it and feel it's quite pliable you can cut it in half if you don't oh, want that kind of width gosh. so you've got yeah textile artists yeah. i'm speaking to you now think what you could do with that if you're a milliner and you wanted to add this into your creations if you do dressmaking and you want to create maybe a corsage you could use this to create your own fabrics or even if you do things like paper making mm -hmm. to actually set this in it. as you're yeah. making the paper you can actually print with it gwen from oh. one of one of who comes on to hobby maker she actually took some whilst we were in the green room at one point and actually did some uh, some printing and it, yeah <laughs> Oh, it's really, really beautiful. It's absolutely it's lovely. superb. I have a question. Uh, welcome, ladies. Can we see? Can, uh, sorry. Can we, sew? can we sew with the ribbon collection, Susie? That's a great question. Can we Susie, sew with it? Yes, you can. So we do a lot of um, the knitting and stitching shows uh, around London and the UK, and we sell to lots of sewers. So yes, you can sew with it. Use it on trims. Use yes. it on garments. Of course. The one thing we'll say is that we haven't wash tested these. So to be able to sell something as wash test, it has to go through lots of labs and facilities. And mm. we're quite a small company, so we haven't got to that stage yet. So um, with the washing, that is up to you. But you can absolutely sew with it. Yeah, and also as well, you know, with a lot of projects like home deck projects, I regard them as things that maybe if there are sort of fancy buttons, I take them off yeah. to launder and then I put them back on again. So you might consider that. Yeah, this absolutely. next one is amazing. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. It's got a little stick in it, by the way, to keep the ribbons all together. Um, and this is our gold leaf, and this is in Olympia, named, of course, after the, the kind of Grecian... Um, goddess. Yeah, goddess vibes. Mm. Um, and this is a gorgeous leaf. Again, I know a lot 
lot of sewers stitch down the centre of this. Obviously, it's got to be quite fine, mm. and you can add this to all sorts of gorgeous projects. Well, you could do a little zigzag over the top of that to sort of couch it down onto projects. It's yeah. amazing. It's so Thank beautiful. You. I'm thinking as well little circlets around heads for, you know, mm. summer festivals, mm. headbands. Look I'm ready for Glastonbury. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, you are actually. You look incredible. I love your dress. Thank I've already you. asked the question. No, you didn't sew it yourself. No, I didn't but sew it. But we still I'm love sorry. you. Oh, thank you. Maybe one day when I have time, I would love to learn. I do have a dress pattern at home. I just haven't got around to doing it. Well, that's yet. a start. That's a start, right. So, and then, as we spoke about earlier, this double sided foil. And this is in this gorgeous collection. And this is the gold. It's 25 mil, so slightly slimmer, which is uh, sometimes a little easier to work with if you're sewing with it. Uh, and it's got uh, this shiny gold satin on one side and then ta-da metallic gold on the back so you've got two types of gold there it's lovely and i'm Limitless. thinking as well you could layer up these ribbons too you could. and create multiple effects a message for you from tracy who says hi ladies and Stuart. Uh, how fabulous it's so lovely to see something new and inspirational well done ladies love tracy in ghoul oh, oh tracy thanks lovely. for such a lovely message isn't oh, it you gorgeous guys are so nice on sewing straight oh, we're a lovely family we really you'll are. like it here trust me <laughs> Um, there we go, I've layered up some ribbons there for you. So, mm. I mean, that'll love in wrapping pre presents as well, thinking of uh, the season ahead. Oh gosh, absolutely. I'm awful at wrapping, Grace. Oh, Nobody no. wants a present wrapped by me. Oh, foil? <laughs> Gift bags. <laughs> gift bags. Gift bags all the way. <gasps> that's a sin at Ribbon Lee. <laughs> gift bags all the way. So that's the gold that's collection. That's the gold collection. Proving very popular. Absolutely gorgeous. Now the one I'm very attracted Ooh. to, rose gold. Rose gold. It's so in this year. You're clearly very on trend. Very much so. Rose gold is the colour of 2022 and I'm guessing 2023 as well. Soon to be. So. Oh, the spots, the spots. The Check spots. this out. You're going to love it. So so this is a gorgeous 15 mil rose we call it rose quartz but it's like a rose gold polka so fine it's got this gorgeous little gold spot on it baby so showers delicate. oh baby mm. showers how cute uh, then we've also got this gorgeous rose gold uh, glitter mesh again same as the gold one but this is in rose that's incredible so it really is look at those colors on that quarter of the stock straight in baskets for this oh one my you're loving word. it you're loving it that's amazing that's almost like a linen texture yes. so we call it glitter linen beautiful so spot on uh, and this is this we call this shell because it's very pale pink works nice with the kind of the more bolder rose gold uh, and then i've added to this collection earth which is this brown organza oh, uh, it's actually that. gold gold and brown it's kind of a plain brown and silver on one side and gold on the other again and a crystal organza that oh, is stunning thank you and it literally looks like liquid as it comes off the roll it is absolutely so beautiful soft. it is really popular beautiful Grace. to sew with beautiful oh, to bow with lovely and i'm just thinking as well to ruffle that to pleat it and then to stitch it into incredible incredible i just love it Thank Love you it. very much. Stunned. So, rose gold. What do we have next? We silver. <gasps> We've gone for all the metals today, we haven't have we? We have really. This is giving me frozen vibes. Oh, let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Should I? Should I? Is it time? <laughs> so, absolutely, we've gone for the frosty vibes. Now, this has been one of previously one of my most popular oh. collections. On my first ever um, show on Hobby Maker, we sold out of this completely. So, um, I will warn you that if you do like this, it probably will sell out really quickly. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Silver is the colour of the season. It seems to be so popular we've got this gorgeous cobweb uh, glitter mesh again in silver so uh, you've seen rose gold and gold now you've got silver look at these delicate little felt that's snowflakes amazing. giving that's me kind amazing. of scandy vibes yeah absolutely and i would hand couch those onto something like a cushion you could just do a hand stitch just in between each snowflake to hold that down on fabric yep. would be absolutely glorious love that or you can cut them up individually nice a little idea. space you can yeah. do that again the leaves in silver again this is a gorgeous uh, silver we call this medal um, and this is just beautiful again to stitch down as you said a little zigzag mm. and then these little string of pearls these are so 
so cute and delicate. Would look lovely on some form of edging or trim. Oh, absolutely. And I'm, this is very wedding for me oh, yes, as well. Yes, it is. Yeah. Absolutely. Giving me a lot of wedding vibes, mm. table settings, even just tying these ribbons around simple linen napkins or yeah. cotton napkins. You could just tie a piece of ribbon into mm. a bow, couldn't you? Mm. And that's your table set. Oh, definitely. And also what um, Grace often uh, mentions is that the silver glitter cobweb works very well as a Christmas tree um, decoration because you can actually, yeah. I think we've got a video on our website, have we, yeah, on how to TikTok decorate your Christmas well. tree with it. Because uh, you can basically form a, you can cut a length, form a C mm -hmm. and then just push that loop almost in between the branches and it, it looks absolutely stunning. Sounds yeah. beautiful. Yeah, I really want to spend Christmas with you guys. <laughs> we'll have a craft afternoon. <laughs> oh, it sounds wonderful. I'll bring Prosecco, oh, oh, yes, please. You can <laughs> stick to tea if you like. <laughs> Silver, she beautiful. Won't. It is stunning, yes. isn't it? Half the stock's gone. Oh my, why you guys? Half the stock's gone, oversubscribed as well. We need to move on. This is, oh. And this is special. Christmas vibes. Christmas vibes. Right. I can't believe the time already. Wow, okie dokie. So um, here again, we're gonna start with the leaf because we love the leaf and this is in pine. So if you want all the leaves, you can have all the collections. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. This is in a gorgeous deep green. Looks stunning with all your Christmassy makes. And that's like a sort of satin almost, yeah. isn't it? Satin finish. It's got finish. a sheen to it. Pretty. Thank you. Then we've got this mesh. Now, similar to the other mesh that we've seen earlier, this is slightly finer and it's foil instead of glitter. So if you're not looking for glitter on your makes, um, a foil is a lovely lustrous touch or it is matte green on the other side. So, you know, you don't have to have sparkles. Mm. Um, and then finally, these gorgeous zigzag grey grains. And I love these. Beautiful. Aren't these Christmassy and cute? It's a really Christmassy collection. And I just love how these, these just look like liquid off mm. the roll. Mm. Look at that in the light. Absolutely Beautiful. stunning, yeah. I'm thinking as well about maybe a band around my Christmas cake and then putting the ribbons around that, multiple yeah. layered ribbons, oh, just lovely. Gorgeous. I like simple, mm -hmm. I like simple Christmas cake but ribbon around it. Totally. So that would look gorgeous. Less work, right? Less exactly. icing, more exactly. ribbon. Exactly, mm -hmm. more ribbon. Mm -hmm. All about the ribbon, don't eat the ribbon. It's <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. Thank really you very popular. much. Now, I need to move on to you, the Christmas trees because right. Karen is also ready with her next demo. So we've got two Christmas tree decorations. We absolutely have. So I'll get the kits as well. A quarter of the stock has already gone of both of them before we even Ooh. look at them. Oh my Shall we start wording. with green? Shall we start with Let's green? Start with green. Santa Let's Bruce. start with the green. Santa spruce. Spruce. Santa spruce. Mm. Santa spruce. Santa spruce. Yeah. Now my lovely mummy designed these so um I named them. Mum names all the kits and designs all of these. So I can't take any credit for how beautiful these are because it is all down to my lovely mum. <laughs> um, but I'm just gonna do a little kit unboxing uh, so we get some tissue of course we love a tissue ribbon leaf. Um, you're going to get your um, cone, actually, and you need to get the different kit. Uh, Can I just, go. I'm going to swap sides with swap you and sides. I'm just going to move these ribbons Thank along Thank you very a much. Bit. We've got a lot of stuff going on here. should just let you know, by the way, Jingle Bells wreath is sold out. Oh. We're very limited stock on the Nutcracker wreath as well. Everything is selling out or close to, so please be very quick, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Quarter of the stock of Santa Spruce Tree has gone. Oh, my word. Mm -hmm. So, Mum is going to give you an amazing demo so don't worry but you're going to get fantastic picture instructions double-sided with this kit so there really is no room for error it is super super easy um, and it's something that everyone can enjoy of all ages so you're gonna pick big stack of ribbon. a big stack of ribbons so you're getting 20 40 50 70 meters of ribbon in this gorgeous kit mm. so that is you're going to have enough ribbon here to make the tree and we are going to give you the opportunity i believe to buy the extra foam comb because yep. you can make two trees oh, with the amount of with ribbon, the amount of ribbon. so we just need to buy an extra, extra comb. because i'm thinking two of those on the christmas table yes oh, lovely. really lovely yeah. Yeah. a great craft as well perhaps to do with the grandchildren the nieces and nephews your kids where you can sit down together you can cut the ribbon you can fold it yeah. you can do it together oh absolutely and you know, if you want to make a little forest for yourself get, nice. a, few, <laughs> get a few cones and um, yeah you've got enough ribbon 
here to definitely make two trees. Beautiful. So, you know, if you're thinking one for you, one for a friend, craft new, creep evening. Beautiful, a creep evening. <laughs> I love the pop of gold in here. I love this lime green, this chartreuse here. It's so vibrant, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Um, you need to do the cone on its own before it sells out. <laughs> Uh, the cone on its own so if you want to buy one extra cone with your tree kit you can then make two Christmas trees it's just $4.99 for the cone grab that while you can that's going to sell out very very quickly yeah I mean otherwise you'll have lots of lovely leftover ribbon which you could certainly use to create some gorgeous gift wrap or yeah. use it in lots of other creative ways but I'd be making a second tree make yourself a forest why make yourself a forest <laughs> now we've also got the red version absolutely Karen, what's the this red one version. called well this one's called the red red robin which has actually caused a bit of consternation because um, mm -hmm. I called it the red red robin because my nan used to sing the red red there's a Christmas song yeah. the red red you know it the red red robin uh, goes Bob, Bob, you can Bob sing as well. You're multi talented man. <laughs> well, you know, Grace Don't really. Don't encourage me, Karen. <laughs> Grace really laughed at me and said, oh, uh, "What is this? You know, I don't know this song. I don't know this song." Anyway, the lovely. Um, uh, customers or viewers on Hobby Maker, some of them did um, message in and say yes, they knew it, but it was written in 1926. I think. Showing our age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think my grand used to sing it, Karen. I'm not sure. It wasn't me. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so that's why it's called the Red Red Robin. We I probably both saw it on a black and white film, I, Karen. So when, yeah, when we were at the Crafternoon. Yes. Yeah, it was a film on yes. in the background, yeah. Tell me about Red Red Robin. Red Red you Robin. Down to you. <laughs> So, oh my gosh, look at, I'm just looking at these in the TV, they're gorgeous. So we've got these four beautiful ribbons here. So you've got, again, plenty of ribbon to make two trees. So you could get a red and a green, uh, or you could go two red or two green. You've got um, four gorgeous, let me just move the box out of the way, four absolutely stunning ribbons in different widths. You've got the cranberry from earlier, you've got a satin, and you've got this gorgeous chameleon silk. So plenty of ribbon there. And as you rightly said earlier, if you don't want to make two trees, use the leftover ribbon for gift wrapping mm. or for decorating. That silk ribbon is really special though. It's, it's almost sort gorgeous. of folded, crinkled. I don't know if you can see it on the tree, but it actually runs, can you see along here? It gives such great texture. I love the way you've used different shades of red. The gold that has the red inside it is yeah, beautiful. exactly, exactly. You have got so much opportunity for so many gorgeous ribbons mm. um, and you've got the lovely red and gold ribbon as well which you get on both sides so you get um gold on one side and red on the other like in jingle bells mm. so you get mm. that as well so absolutely stunning it is beautiful now um <laughs> jean's got in touch with a message of support karen oh. she's from essex she says we are not old because we know that song <laughs> that's absolutely right Thank you're you, absolutely Jean. right we Thank saw you. it on a black and white feeling film. much makes... better now <laughs> exactly right <laughs> karen would you show us how to make the tree well i would i mean i really don't need to because it's so 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 simple um but i will do of course so basically all you do is you take your ribbons and um you it's entirely up to you um how you want to uh, fashion your tree so um, I've decided to start off with our lovely holly zigzag at the bottom of the tree but you could start off um, with the uh, chartreuse as um, Stuart has said you could start off with the pistachio linen it's entirely up to you you make that choice so I've decided to go for the very bottom of the tree with this holly zigzag now what you will need um, to make this tree obviously we supply the ribbons and we also supply the cone um, but what you will need is a ruler a pair of scissors and um, some pins or some glue um, now I for our for the um, model that you saw we have glued those loops on um, just mainly because obviously uh, we move around from show to show and we want um, the, uh, the the tree to stay intact but you don't need to do that at all you can actually just pin your loops on so it's entirely up to you so these loops here I've just literally taken the fabric and I'll show you in a moment and pinned them on without any glue but I have made some loops here where I've uh, previously just popped a little bit of fabric glue um, just on the inside and um, closed the loop there so um, they're ready to go on so it's entirely up to you you don't need the glue but if you want to and you want to think I want to be able to put this in the loft and get it out and it looks just as good next year then probably um, the glue is a good idea so and as I say entirely up to you so you say you basically get your ribbon and you cut it into lengths of seven centimeters so here we go I've cut a few here to seven centimeters obviously all you've got to do is pick it up 
and I've got this lovely, um, as I say, holly zigzag grow grain here. So I'll pick up one of my pins and all I'm going to do is pin it into place. Now all you've got to make sure that you do is obviously you want to cover the bottom of the polystyrene. We don't want to see any of that and you don't want to see any gaps in between your loops. So it's a good idea to just overlap slightly. And oh, so I see, just a millimetre or two. I'm just overlapping slightly, Stuart, yeah, so that we've got no polystyrene popping through there at all. And there you are, that one's secured on. Now I will use one of the ones that are already glued. And again, here we go. So can you see that okay? I'm just overlapping slightly. And you just carry on like that all the way around. Honestly, Karen, it strikes me the pre-glued ones are less fiddly. Well, I like you're not to. holding them together. No, mm. no, it is, it is less fiddly, definitely. Mm. And it's very quick to quickly, um, you know, just pop a bit of glue on and mm. just let them dry. It's it, very, very quick. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's just so simple. You can make, glue your loops first and then, and then just pop them into place um, with a pin. But you don't have to pop them into place with a pin. You could glue them on if you wanted to, uh, which is what I did with our demo one. I, I literally glued them on. So it's entirely up to you okay. how you pop them on. And um, recommendations glue-wise, what would you use? Well, um, I've just used a fabric glue here. Mm. I've also done it with just a craft glue. I've also done it with a hot glue gun. Hot glue gun. Would I work. have, yeah. I mean, if you are using a hot glue gun, don't get. Um, I would not obviously get the tip of the gun onto the polystyrene because right. I think it would melt. Yeah. But we don't want a melted tree. We do don't want a melted tree. That's no, a bad no. look. So what you would do is what? It's a very bad look. No forest fires. <laughs> Once you've uh, entirely covered the bottom of your. Um, polystyrene you would then uh, move on to choose your next color and you would um, basically move on to uh, the next layer and in fact what I will do is I'll quickly just demonstrate um, just to show you um, how to position that next one I mean it's mm. all in the instructions so it really is ever so simple here we are look I'm using a ruler I'm cutting to seven centimeters oh no I don't uh, it's not seven centimetres. I'm getting mixed up with that in my kissing balls. Oh, oh it's, which easily coming, done, coming Karen. Later. Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's ten centimetres for the, um, <laughs> for the tree. Good. Um, so basically, take my ten centimetre loop and I will just, I won't glue this, I'll just pin it. And all I'm going to do is just to show you what you would do once you'd entirely covered that layer. You then pop on your start your next layer, and you'll see that I'm popping it on here, and I'm making sure the bottom of that loop there covers well c covers probably a centimeter mm. of um, the, the first layer. Just again, so you've got no polystyrene showing, and again, sure. you can literally just pin that on or glue it on. Another thing that's worth um, remembering when you're making these trees is that some of the ribbons lend themselves very well to um, being trimmed so as you move up the tree you might want to use some slightly thinner ribbon and to do that all you would have to do is cut the linen or cut the zigzag grow grain in half and that will make a finer ribbon for when you get closer to the top oh, and it'll just that. look more in proportion yeah you can see yes. that here on this yeah. this model that i've got right here just these upper ones have just been cut what in half maybe i just cut them in half yeah yeah, yeah and it just, just makes it look that. a bit more in proportion but yeah. there's no fraying on the edges they're no. still really neat and tidy looks absolutely beautiful and I think that's such an easy you could have these on the hall table couldn't you that couple of those little electric tea like candles oh, nice. in little holders yes. next to them yeah, and nice. you've just made it Christmassy yeah, yeah. yeah exactly yeah, just a beautiful that. craft I love it you're absolutely loving the trees all I need to do is say please check out <laughs> um, red liner tape would that work it's a it's a craft staple I'm gonna say yes what is it? Okay, <laughs> fair is enough. Is it something we don't um, know? Yeah, it's much loved, much loved by by um, paper crafters. Red liner tape. Yes, I think it would actually absolutely work. Oh, is it like the stuff you peel off? Is yes. it like a, oh, is it like yeah, a yeah, double-sided? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. would be absolutely mm. fine. Yeah. Love that idea. Nice yeah. one. Absolutely. Yes, I have a one-year-old who likes to take things to pieces. Oh, glue it. Glue, glue, glue. Glue it. <laughs> glue it. <laughs> glue it. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, Red Tree has sold out, by the way. The Red Red Robin red, Tree. Red Robin, of course. Karen, Robin. thank yes. you, yes. <laughs> red Red Robin Tree. <laughs> you doubt her, you. You doubt her. Uh, very few on the green, by the way. Do be quick, won't you? Now, we have these very famous, the kissing balls. Tell me about the kissing balls. Well, what, is, what is a, kiss, a kissing ball? Qu'est-ce que c'est? 
<laughs> Mum tried to give me a history of kissing balls earlier, and I didn't want to know. <laughs> oh no, I want to know, Karen. Oh, yes, What's no. our kiss? Kiss? I'm going to ask. I'm going to oh, ask Karen. Karen. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the ribbony version of kissing balls. Mm -hmm. uh, but I did a little bit of research. Um, I found some pictures of kissing balls, uh, some ribbon kissing balls on Pinterest. Mm -hmm. And I thought, yeah, we can do these. Um, so I looked into the history of them. And I think basically they're very, very old um, Christmas decoration right back from probably the Middle Ages or even before, mm. where people used to go out and gather greenery, uh, gather it together and sort of make it into a bit of a ball. Yes. And and then they would hang it up. And I, from what I can read, it was like good luck if you walked underneath it. And kissed. Well, ah, oh. yeah. Next, oh. you see, you, you see, Stuart. What happened then jumping is jumping the some, gun. You are <laughs> jumping the gun. Because then um, you see, what happened is somebody came up with the idea um, of putting the mistletoe in as well. Uh. So then the mistletoe went into the kissing ball, or into the ball, and it then became and people kissed underneath. And I can't remember who it was that said it was some saint. Oh, I don't know who it was. But anyway, someone came up with a really good idea of kissing under the mistletoe. Oh. And it then became a kissing ball. I think they're probably very big in America. Mm. They're generally made with uh, foliage. Mm -hmm. And um, if you look online, there are lots made with flowers and they're very big at weddings. But we've made a Christmassy version, um, a, ribbon, a ribbon one. Yeah. So. I think they're absolutely stunning. I also, I love putting big baubles in the windows yeah. at yeah. different heights, pinning them up, and these would be perfect. Lovely you know what I mean? Oh, on a mantelpiece, yeah. Yeah, above a dining table, and you could, oh, yeah, nice. hanging them up at different heights. Oh, for chandelier. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my word. Someone suggested that, actually, online, when I was thinking, I was Googling, where would you hang your kissing balls? And someone did put off yeah. a chandelier. And the, I would just like, like to point out, I don't have a chandelier. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking big. I haven't Fire got a chandelier. Place. Fireplace would be lovely. Put them on the end of your fireplace, so I'm going to do this year. So, yeah, absolutely. They are gorgeous. really stunning. So Can I just, they're beautiful. And again, they don't, they're not heavy. So, if you wanted to just literally like a push pin, a drawing pin, would hold that in place. But that is absolutely stunning, isn't it? Really beautiful. You've got the bronze there. I've got the bronze with a little bit of leopard in, and again, the glitter linen in apricot. So you've got two lovely ribbons in there. Um, so that, I love the little pop of leopard as well. I love that too. Modern. Can we start with that one? Do you Shall have the kit? Start it? Let's I do it. I have the kit, of course. Let's get the leopard kissing ball kit out. So, again, you're getting lovely tissue. Now, where do you begin? So, and ribbon wise, can I vary the height of that if I wanted it longer, if I got enough to go slightly longer? Um, you can do, yes, you could go yeah. longer. Yes, yes, yes yeah, absolutely. You can. Yeah. If you'd like to go longer, you are. I'm just thinking like varying the height when I hang them in the window because I want three or four, gosh, probably gosh, three or five. That's a massive three window. Odd that's, numbers. It's got to be odd numbers. Odd yeah. Numbers. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So in the kit, of course, the piece of resistance, the ribbon. So you're getting the gorgeous leopard ribbon and the gorgeous metallic uh, linen ribbon as well in there, so you're getting two lovely ribbons. Mm. You're getting your polystyrene ball of course, so uh, obviously you need this. And now I'm going to put this in the box, it's going to oh, roll, oh, oh thank you. Now um, you'll actually get two lots of instructions in here in this, uh, not because it's complex, because we've liked, we've added a little bonus in here. So of course you get your paper instructions which are just so straightforward and these are going to have pictures with them as well, which we're just sorting out tonight. And um, you're also going to have some bow making instructions and that is to make the bow on oh, top. Because that's really special as well. I'm just going to hold this up so you can see. This decorative bow above the ball is absolutely beautiful. You get one on each side. So it doesn't matter if you've hung this in the window, everyone walking past gets a beautiful view. You also get a beautiful view inside. I love that. Or if you're, you're hanging this up where it maybe turns or spins, Again, it looks beautiful, 360 degrees. I think we need to bring back the tradition of kissing balls, Karen. Oh, oh absolutely, yeah. I'm and all it all for starts it. And what do you think of the tailored bow that we've got there at the top? Can you oh, see? Oh, it's exquisite. Yeah, and those are the extra instructions that Grace has got there. Yeah. Because yeah. this was something we did on Hubby Maker TV where we actually show people how to make the tailored bow, which looks absolutely beautiful on presents. I know, Stuart, you're not really into um, wrapping, but honestly, if you followed our instructions, mm. um, it's 
really, really lovely. If, if you have a look at it on the kissing ball there, oh, yeah. um, they, they just look, it's just an added little bit of an extra there. Can I you think see? I could manage that. I think you can manage that as well. They're really pretty I just, I name. can't wrap boxes, even a square box. Oh dear. That's but you can sew. Yeah, I just can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Let me show you the other kissing ball while we're here. This is glorious. Uh, right. This is the gold. This is the gold. Now, again, this ribbon is super fun. You get the one ribbon, you get because it is a very expensive ribbon, um, in this kit. And because it is oh, double, -sided, double sided, you yeah. use the different sides for each. Um, That's strip. really clever. So you're using one ribbon and you're getting to make um, the one ball out of it with two mm. different uh, kind of designs. So it's super fun, um, but I absolutely love it. I think it's super luxury. Silver, gold. If you wanted to, mm. you could make it all gold mm. because it's got gold in the back. That would or, fit in really well silver. in my house, Grace. Oh, would it? Is that yeah, kissing really ball going home with you? <laughs> <laughs> it's glorious. I love it. So I love you, it. you can you can have all silver or all gold or mix. So completely up to you. You can customise, and if you pin it, you can change it next year. That's not the right price, surely. Seven ninety nine. It is the right price. That's amazing. <laughs> well, I mean, I was talking about multiples, wasn't I? About having three or something. That's amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Thank what you so much. Great fun craft. You can now, get a few. just want to let you know if you want the copper, be quick. There's six left. <gasps> Literally six left. We oh need to go word. to demo, don't we? Oh, Let's go across to demo. Karen, over to you. Right. Well, what I need is a ball ball. Okay. Let me bring it across. <laughs> I'm going to come and join you on oh, the light oh, side right. for a minute oh, if I may. Come and see me. So, well, again, this is really, really very simple. Um, obviously, all the instructions come in, in the kit. The polystyrene ball, as Grace says, and the ribbons that you need. Um, so, all you're going to need is um, some glue and some pins. Mm -hmm. Now, again, you don't have to use glue if you don't want to, but I think it's easier. Yeah. I think it's much easier to use glue. Uh, particularly for, for doing this craft but all you're basically doing is making a series of loops um, now these loops are seven centimeters okay, good. Um, and um, <laughs> basically so if you could hold on to this yeah, I just roll, roll away you'll see basically all I've done here is I've um, cut the uh, ribbon to seven centimeters and all you have to do here is some I made earlier <laughs> <laughs> been waiting some, for the last uh, hour yeah, to say yeah, that yeah just for ease really as you can see uh, so basically all you do is you um, cut your ribbon and then you pop a little bit of glue on the end and you fold it around to make a loop. Now as Grace says this is the silver and the gold um, bauble so um, and because it um, is double sided foil uh, the instructions will tell you to make a certain amount with the gold side facing and then a certain amount to make with the silver side mm. facing Easy. and what I did when I was making all the demonstration uh, baubles because we have a whole range of these <laughs> is um, I would cut cut all the ribbon first, then I would lay it all out, I would pop the glue on the ends, I would form um, the circles and then we're ready to go with mm. the pinning. So if I could have so my bit bubble, of a production line A first. bit of a production, oh yes, ever so, and I did it with some with some Christmas music on it, it was absolutely mm. lovely. So now I've got to ask you Karen, mm. I always ask this question, favourite Christmas song? Oh, it probably is the Mariah Carey is really. It? Well, oh, well I, no I do like In the Blink Midwinter as well. <laughs> I love in the bleak midwinter. It's bleak. Oh, yeah, bleak. I like a bit of tradition. Good. I don't yeah. like bleak. I just no. like a bit of tradition. Good. Oh, honestly. Grace is having a good laugh. <laughs> I know. I know. Grace, so, let me ask you at this point: What's your favourite Christmas song? Oh, um, God, that's difficult. I quite like the um, Leona Lewis one. Is that the How Many Days of Christmas? The one more. Oh, oh yes, Christmas that day. is really I'm nice. I'm 52, that's Grace. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> Who's Leona Lewis? Yeah. You stick, stick to your Robin. <laughs> stick with me, Stuart. Stick with me. I'm going to. <laughs> stick in the 50s I club. Relate. Right, on with the kissing balls. So basically, all you do, um, so I'm going to, you'll see uh, when you pick up your polystyrene ball that there's a centre line going around it. And this is your guide for working on. So basically, I'm just going to pop on this loop here and then I'm just going to pin it on like that there you go easy peasy mm -hmm. and then you just continue like that so I'm following this line like this really really simple it's a bit like putting rollers in I guess do you know you took the words <laughs> out of my mouth Karen I was just thinking back in the 80s I used to help my mum perm her hair and it's all I can smell the perm lotion yeah there you go you see it's just like putting the rollers in and you just carry on like this it couldn't be simpler what you want to do though obviously is make sure <laughs> 
<laughs> is your mum watching? Yeah, I've got the giggles now. Yes, uh, yes, she is. You've got to have uh, a laugh. Yeah, You've got to yeah, have a laugh. Yeah. So you can see I'm trying to keep it nice and straight and you just continue like this. Honestly, it just couldn't be easier. It's fabulous. She says, trying to get the pin in. Yeah. So you just carry on and I would just carry on following that line. Hopefully you can see in the camera mm -hmm. all the way around until you get back to. But that is also the point that we could we could glue those loops on. You if could we glue preferred. them on. You could. Yeah, I think it would take a little longer, yeah. but you certainly could. Yeah. And um, then when you have done that, what you'll be wanting to do next is to use. So I haven't actually glued it. Um, but what you thank you very much. You, so oh, here's I'll do one here without gluing. Okay. So now I'm going to be using the silver side. So I get my pen. That's the most beautiful colour. And that would fit in, I think, literally into any home, every it's home. beautiful, isn't it? Mm, yeah. It's so it's gorgeous. Subtle. And what you would be doing now is once you've completed that first line, is you're going to make a line alongside just And do you want like them sort that. of in rows that go around as well? Well, it just naturally, if, if you have a look at it here, yeah. you can see. I mean, that's just yeah. how it happens. And and, they, and basically, and, they, and then it becomes like, when you look at it from the side, they look like circles. It's mm. really quite clever, really. It's it happened by accident, Stuart. But Tell me the story. <laughs> <laughs> it happened by accident, but okay. it was a very happy accident. Feel free to dress it out. Go on. <laughs> Well, no, it's just I thought, well, I'll start off. How am I going to do this, Karen? I know. I'll start off by following this line, which is what I did. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, well, we've got to naturally now follow the line on the other side. And it, and then when I actually came to look at it, I thought, oh, actually, that's quite clever because mm -hmm. um, they, they sort of go right. It actually looks like circles yeah. because it's a sphere. Let's get technical here. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's a sphere, um, they're going to, they're not going to go down in absolute straight lines. It's going to come around like a circle. So from that side, it looks really, really pretty too. Well, that's as the well, nicest it? thing. It looks good from every angle yeah. below, above, from the mm. sides. And we'd all like to look good from every angle, wouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very careful about how I stand on camera, Karen, believe me. Now, that's fab. Do you mind, sh do we, we, have we got time? Can we please show how to do the tailored ribbon? Do you know? Can you do the tailored ribbon? I can do the tailored right? ribbon. Yes, I yes, can. It's fabulous. I can. I'll give you some space. Right. So. Can I ask, by the way, were you at the NEC last month? Oh, we were. we were. Yes. Yes. We've had a question from Donna who asked, were you at the NEC last month? We were, Was Donna. that the Christmas fair? Yes. Or, yes. Yeah, yeah the Christmas show. Yeah, we love the NEC. Oh, yeah, my friend Sal goes every year for the samples. Oh, <laughs> does she? She just goes from, che you know, cheese to cheese to liqueur <gasps> oh, to yeah. cheese. Oh, really? Gorgeous. Well, why not? Why not? Yeah, why not? So, basically, better move this out of the way like to make your board. tailored ribbon thank you you um your tailored bow you're um basically cutting uh four lengths of ribbon again it's all in the instructions and you will need a little bit of glue for this um, basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my first my longest length of ribbon which is 20 centimeters and can you see what i'm doing yeah i'm going to put some glue just in the middle there and I've chosen to um, basically, again, I'm sh the silver side is going to be showing here. So there we go. There's my first loop. I'm going to put my ruler on top. Very technical, just to basically keep um, the, keep the glue in place, keep the loops in place whilst um, the ribbon dries. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to be doing the same with my middle um piece of ribbon my middle size so this is the 15 centimeter glue in the middle these tailor bows look so so lovely on gifts they really do actually if i do it like that it might stand more chance of staying in place mm -hmm. and then i'm going to be doing it with my last piece which is my oh wrong oh it doesn't really matter actually if i do it on the ends or in the middle with my 10 centimeter piece like that so pop it in so they're just getting smaller and smaller like that mm -hmm. and then pop that under the ruler as well and, and that's just literally to make it set yeah so i can take my longest one out hopefully that's sort of dried pretty much it's, this glue is pretty good for drying quite quickly and i put a little bit of glue in the middle just can you see what i'm doing yeah yeah just there you put your next one on top so you're already creating something really lovely mm -hmm. you put your next one on top you can see a little bit of glue coming through but it doesn't matter whoops that one has that one hasn't quite set yet but pop it on like that it'll still look lovely so there you've got your basic um 
done this quite hurriedly. I would have taken a little bit more time at home, obviously. Um, but there you've got your basic um, three loops. And then what you'll be doing then is taking this center. So if a little bit of glue did come through, you wouldn't worry about that at all, because mm. what you've got then You're is cover it over. you just cover it over. Now, if I was putting this on a gift, and you'll see this on the instructions that we're sending, um, you can actually put a tail piece on as well, which has got a little swallow mm -hmm. tail. Um, piece underneath and that looks really really lovely and then you pop it onto a, a present you've already banded with some um, ribbon yeah but um, for the purpose of the kissing ball we're just doing it like that so See, that's uh, the kind of bow I could actually do Karen. yeah because I it's just it. it's just cutting and gluing Stuart so Perfect. even you could do that I expect to see them on all your gift bags now this year <laughs> yes, okay with the tailored send ribbon. photos to ri <laughs> photos to ribbonly please we'd like to see <laughs> okay <laughs> And that's basically your tailor bow, very hurriedly made, but you can get the gist of it there. Yeah, looks awesome. Mm. Thank you so much, Karen. You're Just most threw welcome. that at you. You oh, rose no, to the no challenge, worries, thank no you. Worries. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do a quick round up. We've had such a busy show. What we've got left, what we don't have. Okay. Um, okay. We'll start with the Jingle Bell wreath that's sold out. That's the maroon. We have got three of the Nutcracker wreath left. Just three. Details are on screen for that. If you're really, really quick, you can grab this one. That's the glorious one that's red, green and gold. That really traditional, beautiful. There it is. Couldn't get more traditional. It's absolutely stunning. And what a great and that price. that beautiful exclusive ribbon designed by Ribbon Lee. Yeah. It is absolutely beautiful. Everything I love about Christmas. Loads more in baskets than we actually have. We've only got three. Please check out, be the one that gets your ribbon wreath. Exactly. Okay, next up we've got the um, green tree. The red one has sold out. Red Red Robin tree has sold out, but we do have uh, a few of the green option available. A nice message from Anne across the bottom. I met Grace at Harrogate, lovely girl, and Aww. let her know uh, all my sewing uh, class are making the trees together on Sunday huh. with Christmas music and mince pies. Oh, Anne, thank you so much for writing in. Oh, God, that makes me emotional. That's so kind of you. Thank you. It's lovely to meet you. Fabulous, fabulous. And have fun on Sunday. Yes. Have a mince pie for me. And listen to Red Robin. Mm, exactly. <laughs> you can get the green version. Now remember, in your kit, you get the polystyrene tree base. Yeah. You also get four, four real, ribbons. 70 meters. 70 meters. 70 meters of beautiful ribbon. Four different uh, types, including these amazing gold chevrons, which I absolutely adore. That linen look ribbon, that beautiful chartreuse, just absolutely beautiful. Um, you will have enough ribbon left over to make a second tree. At the moment, our cones have sold out, but you can still grab the kit to make the green tree. Okay, 19.99 for that. Now, Kissing Ball in Copper has completely sold out. Well done if you've got yours. Uh, silver Gold, we've got two kits left. That is literally it, 7.99. Those are going to go. Well done if you managed to get those. Now, uh, sell out, sell out, sell out. Oh Silver Ribbon God. Bundle has sold out. Bye so we bye. can do that well done. I, I, said, I said it was going to sell out. Yeah, you were right. Rose Gold, we've got a few left. Okie dokie. Well, Just a few. I'm not surprised because this is absolutely beautiful. I mean, look. I'm getting myself an S of Vipers here. Um, look at this gorgeous tones of pinks. You can take the pinks out, you know, you can use them like the browns and coppers. You, you don't have to use all these together. You can use them all for separate projects. I just thought they looked really beautiful all together. But mm. you've got four absolutely gorgeous ribbons, different textures you can layer with these. You can do different kind of stitching and textile art with these and really printing. You can, and so, it's just incredible, isn't it? Thank you so much. So you, you literally can, you know, we've put in these packs lots of different ribbon, you know, limitless options. Yeah, you've got this. free range to create, mm -hmm. just beautiful. That's the rose gold option. Just got a few of those left. If Please be aware though, if it's in your basket, it doesn't mean it's yours until you check out. So do check out your baskets. Okay, regular gold, please. Regular gold. Oh, regular gold. Single figures. Oh my word. Single and figures. Then, you know, this again, this gorgeous 
it's got a mind of its own today, this gorgeous coin gloss satin ribbon. I mean, so soft, so silky, beautiful to sew with. It looks so opulent, it really does look metallic, but actually it's just the way um, the fabric is. It's just absolutely gorgeous. You're getting, again, the double-sided um, foil ribbon. So it's got the match gold or sheen kind of satin on one side and then the absolutely fabulous party on the back with this metallic foil gold. So you've got another absolutely stunning ribbon. You've got the leaves, which I know are super popular with a lot of the sewers out there. Mm. As you mentioned, you could put a zigzag stitch down that to attach it. Or if you were super fine, you might be able to guess hand stitch or just do a running stitch down the centre. Mm. Absolutely mm. gorgeous. Single figures and more allocated than we actually have. <gasps> oh my word. Well, if you do want to get this, don't forget you've got gold dust in this as well. Gorgeous mesh Ooh, with say. this lovely glitter. I mean, I love glitter. You might get a bit of glitter on you, I've got to warn you, but there's nothing wrong with that. There's worse things to be covered in, right? They really are. They so, really are. <laughs> so absolutely gorgeous. That is the gold. And do we need to move on to red and green? Red and green, last one. Red and green. Right, red and green. Red and green. So again, perfect for the season. You know, if, uh, lovely for gift wrapping, but even just get it for next Christmas if you're already too organised. This is ribbon that is just so. Oh, but you won't have this in your stash. This is really different and special. Exactly. So you know, if you're already organised for this Christmas, you've you've got you've got yourself sorted anyway for for all the Christmases to come because this is so classic, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Look We've literally got eight colours. left, Grace. That's oh, all. Eight oh. left. Crikey, and I know that that is actually what I've got to be stopped because red and green is so popular this year. Absolutely. So if you do like it, please do get it. I'd hate to disappoint any of you. It's beautiful, absolutely stunning. My goodness me, my goodness me. Uh, Karen's got in touch who's in Dumfries and Galloway to say, Stuart, the tradition of kissing under the mistletoe started in 1700s, but became very fashionable in the Victorian era. Oh. It did, I think it's actually mentioned, I think it's first mentioned in literary work by Charles Dickens. Oh, I've it got might a feeling. Be. Yes, I think you're right, Stuart. Maybe Pickwick Papers, yes, something like that. Right. Yeah, or well, welcome, something like yeah. Well, thank you, Carol. Karen. Oh, yeah. Thank I'm you. I'm more Karen. educated than I look, Karen. Uh, you uh, are. Anyway. <laughs> Looks are so deceptive. <laughs> <laughs> you can come back. We like you both. We love you, in fact. We've had such a great show. Thank you both Thank so you. much. Thank you. Hope you've enjoyed your first show on Sewing Street. Very much. You've all been great. so lovely. Will you come back soon? We'd love to. Thank you very much. All right, brilliant. Thank, thank you. Safe so journey home. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for joining us for the last hour. We're going to go to a little break now. Well done if you managed to get anything from Ribbon Lee. You're in for a treat. I'm going to see you after the break. Becky Alexander Frost is back with her fabulous block keeper. Don't go anywhere. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. 
And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hi everybody, welcome back to Sewing Street. What a brilliant morning we're having. Becky Alexander Frost is back with me. Hello. Hey Becky, I'm really sorry that we kept you waiting. No, 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 honestly. But we're gonna go over if that's okay with yeah, you. No, that's so fine. we'll still have the full hour. Yeah. You've got an amazing new project to yeah. share with us. I'm absolutely loving this. Your amazing style, it's just so gorgeous. It's the block keeper. It's to keep now. This could be a portfolio. We're going to talk about We're other ways we could ways. use this. My yeah. goodness me! But you've designed this to keep our patchwork blocks while yeah. we're making them. Yeah, and it's huge. It is amazing. So it's got a tie here. Undo the tie. Open it up. Now this is when it becomes unmistakably Becky Alexander Frost because look at this. We have got glitter vinyl pockets. These are huge. What size are these? Um, they're 17 and a half by 17 and a half. So my 16 inch blocks are going to fit in here perfectly yep. and everything else in between. Look as well though. This is high end. We have zips. We have bound edges. We have this massive pocket inside and actually here in this example we have got four of these massive pockets. I'm thinking if I'm dividing my blocks up into rows yep. ready to sew together I can put them into the different. I'm thinking I could put my pieces yet to sew, my blocks or my units maybe, my finished blocks, my sashings, maybe even my notions. I've sometimes got like three or four quilts on the go so each page will have a quilt with all the finished blocks in Perfect. before I can assemble it together. 
because actually I think most of us are like that aren't we yeah, how we many of us work on, on one project we don't. yeah we don't really do that not so much it's absolutely beautiful isn't it double-sided so smart now let me show you the options so first of all you can buy the pattern on its own it's for the quilt block case from Becky Alexander Frost full instructions now I'm going to mention this first but I'm actually going to show you my preferred option next so the pattern on its own £11.50 okay now my pref my personal preferred option I don't know how you feel about this certainly for a first go is the pattern yeah. plus hardware can you explain what we get in this pack? So you get please? two meters of zipper, which will get you um, four zips, mm -hmm. and there's four zip pulls. <laughs> Perfect. Um, let me just show you. So pattern course, then you get your two meters of zip. This is a uh, number three. Number three. Number three zip, and then you get four zipper pulls for your four files. Yeah, and your each pack, um, each kit is a different zip colour so you won't if you're seeing blue there you might not get a blue understood so but they're all vary. bright colours all yep. bright all beautiful yeah perfect and all with that silver zip pull yeah awesome so I'll pop that away in a second so that's your pattern plus and I'll tell you why I think that's my preferred option because I want to hit the ground running yeah and this continuous zip you're going to need 20 inch lengths yeah need four 20 inch lengths this is the easiest way of doing it and for the extra money it's just brilliant it really makes it so straightforward and easy um, if you have a look on the website you'll see a green option there's five different colors that it could be um, mix and match it's all about enjoying the color now i'm um, putting zip pulls onto zip tape easy hard should i be scared easy and i'm going to show you how awesome <laughs> we'll have that coming up <laughs> first demo i'm sure all right so that's your pattern or your pattern plus uh, hardware 19.99 for that now um we've got some fabric bundles let me grab the first one this is the one that the samples made out of so it features this glorious sort of tomato red solid you've got this beautiful print here you've also got some seeded natural in there as well and then this beautiful binding fabric that's almost like a sort of hashtag really modern and fresh now then you get um a half a meter no half a meter half a meter of that that's mode from Moda songbook that's lovely so that's for your binding uh, this is half a meter that's Moda sunflowers that should be that's a some meter. dreamscapes that's a it's meter. a meter yeah. yep yep it's holding correct information here <laughs> a meter of that and then you get two fat quarters so you get your deep orange and you get your seeded natural as well so all the fabrics you need and that's for the outer and the lining of the case i'm going to talk you through how i've done it yeah awesome thank you becky okay. so that's option one 24.99 now that is fabric only so you need to buy your pattern or your pattern plus hardware separately this is your fabric only pack you might already have fabric at home that you want to use and that's a great option too yep. isn't it yeah it in which is, case yeah. go for the pattern or the pattern plus hardware now then you're going to be demoing with this this is our poppy cotton love poppy cotton you've got a lovely mixture here you've got a meter of this almost like faux patchwork and little pinwheels those are gorgeous on a duck egg blue background you have got a similar same print but on a pink half a meter of that yeah. you've got your fat quarters you've got that little mustard floral and you've also got a little ditzy floral as well so there's the poppy cotton option that's a really pretty sort of um, shabby chic look that one isn't it, it is, yeah. uh, you're going to demo with that I am just because we're going to take five pound off <laughs> so it's not 28 uh, 99 it's 23.99 lovely and then we've also got a solids version so in the solids version you get a meter of this lovely sort of cornflower sky blue pretty 14.99 really great price this half a meter of the lavender you get a fat quarter of rose and a fat quarter of i think this is robin egg or something like that duck egg duck egg Okay, so close with my birds, but not close That's enough. That's similar to the colours that I've used with the one on the actual front cover. 
Yeah, it really is. I'll show you that for a second. Yeah. If you have a look there, that would make a very similar version to the one that's shown on the front cover. Gorgeous. And I like as well there how you've shown you could put little blocks in, little patchwork blocks mm -hmm. if you prefer. Lovely. Right, now the other thing that you'll need to make your other things that you'll need to make your block keeper is you will need some bosal in our form, double sided fusible. Now, half metre, is that going to work? Half metre is enough. Yeah. Half metre is enough. Because a half metre is a big old piece. You'll still have a bit left over for yeah. some. Yeah, little bag, project. little purse. Yep. Lovely. Um, so double-sided fusible. Now, why double-sided? It's just going to save you time when you're actually putting both um, the two layers together, um, the inner part and the outer part. It's because you're binding them and then you're binding yeah. the edge, aren't you? Yeah, you need it a bound finish because it gives that structure on the spine. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing. So. Awesome. Yeah. So double-sided fusible bosal, eleven ninety nine for this. So half a metre pack. And then last of all, you're going to need some um, interfacing and vinyl. Let's do the vinyl first of all. Now we've got two options. Becky, in your version, glitter, glitter, this comes glitter. as no surprise to me. Sparkly. Gloriously glittery. Check that out. Ha ha! Isn't that beautiful sort of aurora borealis multicolored glitter it's absolutely beautiful 2.99 for half a meter you need four units four units two meters in total that will be enough for four, four sections sleeves. if you want to add more sleeves which i can talk about um you'll need half a meter for one um page basically gotcha so, yeah. So if you wanted five pages, you'd need two and a half metres, yeah. five units. But remember, if you're going for the hardware, you've got enough zips to make four. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So that's your glitter vinyl. At two ninety nine per half metre, you will need four units. If you prefer to go for the clear vinyl, we'll put those details on screen next. Now half the stock of the clear is already sold out, or just on pre-order alone, £2.99 per half metre again. It's lovely and soft and supple. It does come a bit creased, Becky. And I'm going to show you how to get the creases <laughs> out. <laughs> Perfect, stay tuned for how to get creases out of vinyl. Easier than you think. So that's your clear vinyl. And again, four units needed to make your four leaves. Last thing you'll need, just to interface your handle is some iron-on medium weight interfacing. You may well have this in your stash already, but I can never get enough interfacing. $3.99 for a pack. You get a metre by a metre squared. So I need oodles. two metres. It's actually got quite a lot of interfacing oh, in it. Oh, okay. It's so, just the bosal's like um, a medium weight, isn't yep. it? So for foam. So I've interfaced it both because I'm going to teach you what mine and my kids use theirs for. Okay. For artwork. Oh. So obviously they like to keep it neat and. Oh, awesome. So okay. Yeah. So you actually need two, meters, two packs. Two packs. Two packs of interfacing. But you have some left over. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, great. So those are all the options. Let's get to demo. Right, okay, first of all, I need to talk to you about the pattern. Um, I've got glitter everywhere from that last hour. Yes, there is a lot of <laughs> glitter. Right, okay, um, there is an actual error in the cutting guide um, on step 12. So it says cut four, you need to cut eight, thank you. Um, but from now on, I'm putting all my um, corrections on my website. Am okay. I allowed to mention my website? Yeah. yeah. Um, so if you go to rjfmakes.com, if you go along the top, it says pattern um, amendments. Um, there'll be scroll down, find the pattern, find the amendment. But also I'm doing something extra because um, I've changed it up a bit on the sample where you actually put the, um, the fabrics and that because it would have been a bit too busy on the outside. So I've added the um, the one fabric on the outside which should have been in the inside so if you go on and find that if you want to make the exact sample um, all the codes for the sewing street and where I've used it and where I've cut it mm -hmm. is listed underneath that as well perfect so it just basically saves you trying to figure it all out great that's a great extra from you thank you I'll just show you as well there can you see there's your center spine so if you wanted to add extra pages, 
you can just include those an extra page or two um, when you're constructing it. So we could have six pages quite easily, couldn't we? Just get yourself uh, extra meter of that glittery or that plain vinyl, absolutely yeah. brill. Okay, cool. Right, first of all, I'm going to make, um, just show you how to quickly assemble the blocks together for the um, the front, but I'm not gonna go into full depth because we've just done quite a lot of the process in yeah. the previous hour. Yeah. And then I'm going to get on to doing the vinyl. Let me just top up the iron it needs to be steamy for the PVC. Now, don't forget you're making a saving on the version that uh, Becky is using, the poppy cotton. You're saving a fiver. Fabulous. Bargain. Right, okay, a bit like what we did last time. Um, we've got the, the center strip and then we've got the two um, triangle kind of things that we're going to make. We're going to add the two triangles at the end. We're just going to pop those together and then you will get a nine patch with um, the, the triangles. You'll basically make eight of these if you're going to go for this. But however, looking at the pattern, it means that you can add any block here and there is enough fabric to actually make whatever block you actually want. Oh, perfect. So that's why I've left it. Like, I've done simple blocks. Mm. However, if you're a far advanced block maker or quilter, you can actually do a sewing machine block oh, nice. or anything like yeah, that. Yeah. So, yeah, so I've left that there t for you to actually do, but there is enough fabric allocated in the, um, the kits. Right, okay, so let's go over to the zips. Right, so let me take these zip pulls off. Now, zip-wise, if you go for the pattern plus hardware, it's 19.99, you'll get two meters of continuous zip and four zip pulls which you can then cut down and you're going to show us how to easily put the zip pull onto a zip yeah i am because yeah. this is something i get a little nervous about doing sometimes yeah no need uh, there's no need to you can um, use a kitchen fork if you want to push the prongs together to pop this into the kitchen fork or you can do it by hand so i'm just going to do it by hand okay Right, so first of all, you should really use some fray stop at the end or a lighter just to singe the ed edges. And you've got to make sure it's near enough practically straight. So you're going to peel off, peel the two teeth apart, coils. And then on your zip, these zips are quite small. So um, you've got a pointy bit and then you've got a flat bit. Mm -hmm. The flat bit is always the bit that goes on last. It's the pointy bit that starts you off. So, all you have to do is pop your zip in between your fingers and your thumb, pull on here, and hold that into position with that finger, pop that into there, you'll hear a click, which I just kind of did, pop it down onto the work surface, bring your pull over, oh no that's come out, just bear with me. It gets clicked again. So pop that down, hold it down, and then pull. Ha! Huh, look at that. So you've got to make sure you've got your pull, your hand there, and then there, basically. Absolutely brill. So let me just quickly do this one. We just need to adjust your mic. Shall I try putting one on myself? I'll see if I can do it. Becky will come and help you with that. Yep. Sorry, Cat, rather, will help you. See if I can do it. <laughs> I don't hold. I know. Why do I do this to myself, eh? So I've got one end in. I'm going to put the other end in until I hear a click. <laughs> I've already pushed it off the other end. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing very well here, Becky. No, that's fine. It takes practice. Is that better? I think your mic is better now. Thank you. Cool. We'll push the other end in. It's concentration face going on it, oh here. Oh gosh, it really is. It's <laughs> not pretty, is it? Oh, I heard a click. Yeah, now put it onto the surface with your two fingers either side of the zip pull. Two friends and a fork. Yeah, don't pull it too fast so I see it come off on the other end. Get in there. Where's my chia? Where's my chia? Now, if it isn't like, sorry, no offense. It's not I'm even. Not gonna, it's not even. Don't no. stress. Pull it to the end. Yeah. Pull it apart. And then basically just sew over it. Yeah. I always allocated too much. 
zipper. That was too little too late, thank you guys in the gallery. <laughs> it was too little too late. Was there a cheer? <laughs> right, like, okay. Nah. So, Sewing so Street sends um, the PVC folded up for a simple reason, it would cost too much for them to send um, to you. Right. So, I'm gonna get the creases out. So your With iron, an iron? Iron and ironing board. Okay. Right, so you need it on full heat. Yeah. You need steam in your own. Yeah. Oh, no, my, 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 my had a shower this morning, thanks. <laughs> my buttons, and you're gonna warm up your Oh, mat. okay. And so it's nice and warm. You're gonna get one sheet, you're gonna lie it on top, and you're gonna hold it until you can feel it starting to um, go a bit softer. Yeah, kind of warms up. But what a clever, what a clever thing to do. Did you think of that? You just No, I had to literally try every way to get all the creases out. Back in the day, they were coming out crease and I'd, oh, I'm, I'm not a creased person. I've had the same dilemma myself, that's genius. And then if the creases haven't come out, which they have practically come out, but you've still got quite, you go back, you go let back it- Go back and do it again. Yeah, so you let that cool down, you move on to the next piece. It's absolutely brilliant. What a clever idea. So, make sure I don't switch you. <laughs> I'll tell you what I did. I put like a towel over it yeah. and then press, but that didn't really work. No, 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 you can't you can do that, but they say you've got to have it on really low heat. Mm. Well, this way you can have it on top heat and just hold it down. The difference is amazing. So you could just repeat that if you've got really stubborn creases. Yep, yeah. It's just enough to soften it. You've just got it. to let it cool down uh -huh. so it goes back to the thickness that it needs to be. And then basically, um, if it's still got creases, go back to it. Brilliant. You can do that like three or four times and then... Really clever. Yeah, I'll just really do this clever. one more. Yeah. Now, just so that you know at home, your glitter PVC, uh, we have literally five metres left. Now, you need two metres per project, so that is literally two customers, and then we won't have enough. Or perhaps if you want some extra leaves, um, yeah, be quick. The clear, the clear uh, PVC, we do have a little more of that. Um, that's the clear PVC. And remember, don't worry about the fact that it's gonna come folded up with creases. Becky's just showed us an easy, a genius tip mm -hmm. for how to get rid of those creases quickly, easily, just using your steam iron. Just iron your ironing board, not the vinyl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and wall pe pressing mats work even better because oh, yeah. They hold in heat, they don't retain they? retain the heat very, very well. Yeah. So clear vinyl on screen now if you prefer clear. We like glitter, don't we? We do, we do. <laughs> right, okay, so um, I'm gonna pick two of the bindings. So this is the page binding. So your pockets will be a bit flimsy if you don't do the binding where the zip goes mm -hmm. and you want a bit of structure. Now, I was gonna talk through what you can make with this or what you can use it for. So, i.e. my kids use it as a portfolio mm -hmm. for artwork. Music, music oh, sheets. Yeah. Um, some woman said, um, some lady, shall I say, not woman. Um, some lady, uh, a lady said that she was going to, um, she makes a lot of bags in one week, but she cuts, has one cutting out session. Oh, nice. So in each pouch will be the bag that she's going to be making yes. for that day and then the pattern. Another lady said she's going to keep patterns in it. But then I also came up with an idea the other day. I haven't got a, um, a wall, you know, a design wall mm -hmm. to put your blocks up. So you can do one side which has got all the leaves in, which is the pages. The other side, you can actually put batting on it. Mm. Yeah, wadding, and then basically have that as your... Use that as a little design wall. Yeah. That's a cool idea. Well, like, you know, I'm making my log cabin blocks in my hotel room at the yeah. moment. I didn't have anything to put my fabric, so I've literally just brought half my studio with me and yeah. set it up in my hotel room. What I could have done is cut out my strips ready for my log cabins, put them into my file and taken that with yeah. me. That would have been much, much easier. And it keeps it all flat as well. Yeah, <laughs> a message for you. Too clever for me. Hi Stuart and Becky, uh, I'm part of Fred's gang. Could you use tapestry fabric for the outer part of the block case? I love it, Carol. Yes, um, I would advise not to interface it because it would be a bit um, bulky, but you get the, um, the bulkiness from 
the foam, yeah. which is the stabiliser basically. So just it? use the inner form, yeah. no extra stabiliser. Yeah. That would be gorgeous. I'm thinking as well, you could could you use um, faux leather? You could, yeah. Um, you just got to bear in mind you've got to fuse it on. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to do that, you need sewing foam and then yeah. um, 505. 505. Perfect, yep. yeah, really smart, so adaptable, um, great way of using your own fabrics. It's very, very smart as well, as one would expect from Becky Alexander Frost. <laughs> you elevate everything, beautiful. Chris has got a top tip, she's in at Greater Manchester. I found warm water works, sorry, Chris, beg your pardon, um, uh, uh, found warm water works to soften PVC. Ooh. I used some once as a craft mat, um, being lazy and using what was at hand because um, it was needed to wash yeah so you oh you oh, you, you wash the craft yeah. mat i got you and that actually softens the vinyl yeah oh cool mm. that works too it does. Oh, chris <laughs> right okay so with the two page bindings we're going to fold one long edge up just one long edge and you're going to do it half an inch so let's make sure i've got that on a medium zone yep You're going to do that for both pieces, all the bi page binding pieces. Mm -hmm. Originally, this pattern was only written with two pages in. Oh, okay. Yeah, because um, I thought only people only have like two projects on the go. But <laughs> then I started no. counting my projects the yes. other day, and I went, no it doesn't work like that. <laughs> <laughs> now I just need to give you a quick stock update. The bundle with the hardware. Yeah over half of that stock has gone that's your pattern plus your two meters of zip and four pulls remember your zip color will vary it's one of five lovely bright colors it could be the blue could be green there's a pink there's a pink there's a um a light gray light gray yeah yeah so, cool yeah um, there is um, other colors <laughs> but more than half of the stock has gone 19.99 for that if you want to get the pattern on its own you can also get that you might have some zips zip on a roll something like that um you might have some 20 or 22 inch zips that would work too 11 pound 50 for the pattern on its own yeah all right super right i'm just pressing these and then so like half an inch either side yeah it's approximately half an inch i love actually the fabric on the tops of the pockets it's really adds such a smartness to it doesn't it yeah and a neatness covers really lovely it covers the um the actual um zip yeah yeah and yeah. it also is the weight which you need to keep everything flat yeah absolutely but just from an aesthetic point of view it just looks so smart and it looks really really neat inside as well i can confidently show you a becky alexander <laughs> frost's uh work Some things inside. He can't. Uh, well it's just look though that looks so neat and tidy inside it is immaculate and then you've got that beautiful smart look outside it's important though isn't it, it? Is, aesthetics yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's yeah. going to be something that you're going to be taking to classes and stuff like mm. that so the first thing i'm going to do is sew over the two zip ends to stop the pull from coming off mm -hmm. just going to change my foot fab now, um, the machine that Beck is using is the Elna 780. Um, this is your machine, right? It is, yeah. Um, Not literally my machine, but this is the model. But I you use. didn't get the saving when you bought yours. No. We've actually put 220. 90, 290, nearly 300. Yeah, Good gracious. Good 290 pounds you're saving. It ends midnight Friday. £2,499. Now we were talking earlier on, Becky, you are a dressmaker, you're a quilt maker, you're bag a bag maker. maker, you do home decor, you do it all, and you do it all on your 780. Yeah, 780 or 720. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I love my, I, I've always had Elna's, um, uh, since I was younger. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. I was chatting with a few people online actually last night about Elna sewing machines. They offer incredible value for money. They I mean, do. I know that £2,499 is a very much a considered purchase, 
But when you compare like for like functionality between the different brands, yep. I think Elner is pretty hard to beat for value for money. Well, you've got to think about it is it's part of the Genomi umbrella, exactly which means right. that you're getting precise stuff you're going to get. And the parts from Genomi will actually... So like feet and extra fit. feet, they fit. They do, so. they do. But it's a lower priced brand, yep. isn't it? Yeah. But you're getting the same technology, really superb yeah. machine. Well, you've all seen the pictures of my, I'm working in my sewing, uh, in my sewing room, in my hotel <laughs> it's room. It's now my sewing, <laughs> sewing room, room with my Elna 680. Um, and it's doing beautifully for me. Yeah, exactly. If you look after any sewing machine, they last and they work. Oh, I gave it a clean out the other day. I did, yeah. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got caught out probably about six months ago. I'd never cleaned it out. I'd written oh, two right, books no. with it. I mean, goodness me, I'd put it through its paces. And it just, it wasn't feeding. Uh, and I thought I'm going to have to get a new machine. It wasn't, the, the feed dogs weren't working. And then I realised I'd made myself a piece of felt. <laughs> Disgusting. Just caught on fire. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh. I clean mine out every time I do a quilt and quilt it if yeah. I'm quilting it on there. Yeah. Because that's the biggest project you normally do, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. I clean it out then. Mm. Even though you meant to clean it out quite regularly. Yeah, yeah. Makes a difference. Sometimes we haven't got time. No, it's true. What tape are you using there? Quilters tape, double sided. Best friend. I was gonna say, can you sew without that stuff? <laughs> I'm making a pair of dungarees at the moment, the zip's gone in with quilters. Of course it has. Of course it has. We've got that, it's on it's on screen. Six forty nine. It's the best six pound forty nine you'll ever spend, isn't yeah. it? It's brilliant stuff. Double sided, you get nine metres, six mil wide, absolutely perfect for putting in zips. Yes, perfect. And it's quarter inch, which means that it's not gonna go over. It's wash away, so don't worry about it. It's not gonna gunk up your sewing machine. Um, and also, even if you can see it on your fabric, once you've turned everything right side facing out, spritz a bit of water on it, it dissolves. And it dissolves. Yep. Brilliant. Right, so I've put quilter's tape on either side, one on the raw side and one on the folded side. I'm just going to peel both off those. And the reason why I'm using quilter's tape, because we are going to be sticking it to the PVC, and PVC is a bit of a... Um, you're not really meant to pin it. No, it's the same as things like PU, isn't it? Though, yeah. And faux leather, it comes into its own this double-sided tape. Yeah, it does. Making shoulder straps, things like that. Right, so you're gonna stick this to the, um, yeah, to the shortish side. So there is one side, two sides are shorter than the, one, the other two sides. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be your shorter sides. And you're gonna stick the raw edge so that's oh. pretty side facing you. Yep. And And that's the raw unturned edge. Yeah, right up to the top. Because mm -hmm. your zip's going to go on that point anyway. Gotcha. And then you've got your folded put oh, there. I see. Nice. No. Becky having a blind moment. See, I normally don't have to lean. There you go. There you go. Right, so we're going to flip this over and run quilters tape along that raw edge there. Mm -hmm. Gotta say, loving oh, that no. nail colour. This nail colour, it's actually chipping really easily. Oh. Um, so you're going to run quilters tape along this edge here. I was going a bit ahead of wasn't myself. wasn't going to mention that, Becky, but... <laughs> but I, well, I love the colour anyway. Chipped though it is. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be using it again. Oh. So this is on the pretty side of the fabric? The pretty side, sorry. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Then you're going to peel off this. It does come off. There you go. And then you're going to get your zip and you're going to pop it right side facing down. Mm -hmm. Now you've got quite a large zip, it's going to overhang. The reason being is I'm one of those people that are a bit lazy, I don't want to move my zip pull when you've got Understood. it under the ear. Mm -hmm. So. So have a nice large amount overhanging at the one end where your zip pull can sit. Then you're just going to stitch along there mm -hmm. using um, three eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay. So I'm going to use a zipper foot. Yeah. And you were saying that tape you can sew machine sew through it. It doesn't gum up the needle. Doesn't gum up the needle whatsoever. Just move the needle position. Awesome. And make my stitch length standard stitch length. Okay. Reverse your stitch at the start and at the end. Oh. 
Now don't worry if you're watching at home, we started late, so we're finishing late. We're gonna go over into the next hour. We'll get all the demos that Becky wanted to show. Um, it's looking great already. I love the pink zip, that looks terrific. Now, just want to mention, if you missed out on the Ribbonly wreath in the last hour, refresh your page. Um, because we've managed to get some more stock in. That's good. Mm. They did really well, didn't they? Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. We've got more of Jingle Bells. We've got more of the Nutcracker. Great. Great. I'll mention them again in the next hour. But if you missed out, you might want to grab them now. Right, so I've Smashing. just gone over to a standard foot because mm -hmm. we need to top stitch. Okay. Now the, the problem you've got is because we've got P, um, PVC, you can't iron direct onto it. So you're going to need like a, a folding tool just yeah. so you can put this the right side facing out. So I'm just going to... You were talking earlier on about crushing the fibres. Yeah, crushing the fibres holds, um, holds it into place, doesn't mm -hmm. it? And You might have to feel as you go along when you've got it underneath your press of foot, but it's kind of crushed it down. No, it really works, doesn't it? It does, yeah. So you're I gonna... must do that with a lemon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You get more juice. Yeah, you do. And also, if you're cooking a, um, a lemon pie or something like that, mm. uh, not a pie, but a cake, means that you get a nice juicy cake. Exactly, <laughs> which we like. Yes. <laughs> um, right, so I'm going to top stitch either side, so on the folded side oh, yeah. and on there. But I'm going to lengthen my stitch length to a, stand, um, a standard stitch length, which is about 3.5. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing it one eighth of an inch away. Keep readjusting the seam underneath, just to make sure it's lying flat as well. Okay. It's such a versatile project, isn't it? As you said, you could use this as your art file portfolio for college. Yep. You could use this for keeping your sewing notions and tools in, or templates. Music file. Yeah, you could music get music-themed fabrics, couldn't you? Yeah, you could go really like really out there with it. Oh, and I, I would. I know I've got two. I want to make a third one because I've got one used for my four quilts I've got going on, but I need one for another quilt because <laughs> I so don't that would finish be five them. quilts then. <laughs> yeah, I don't finish them. We're not judging, we're not judging. We like that you're doing lots of quilts. <laughs> we're reaping the benefits, need I say more? <laughs> right, so you're going to pop this to one side and you're going to kind of repeat the same process, but we're going to put it on to the other side of that zip. Got you. Okay, so. And this is what's so lovely about your projects. Everything is finished so beautifully. Yeah. There's thought and design put into every element. There is, yeah. I'm I, really proud I, of this project when you've made it. <laughs> Right, okay, so... You know that glittery vinyl, does it have a right side and a wrong side? No. No? No, the glitter's sandwiched. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. That's the only way I can describe it anyway. Yeah. Hannah, our producer, just said, sold out anyway. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice, though. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Um, uh, Susan's got in touch, she's in Hampshire. She says, hey. hi Stuart and Becky. Becky's a lovely lady and love her patterns. Oh, got you. my block case pattern. Thank you both. Oh, thank you, thanks. <laughs> oh, fab. I mean, what a smart way of keeping your blocks. It is, yeah. But us as sewers have so many projects, it doesn't have to be for quilts or anything, it can be. No. I've just kept it um, as a block keeper because it is what I use mainly. I'm just thinking as well, you know, you're a dressmaker, if you yep. use like the tissue patterns, all the paper patterns in fact, you can never fold them up and put them back into the, can you? You really can't. So I'm just thinking that actually, you know, one of those, 
all your dressmaking pattern pieces you've only got to fold them up fairly basically you can put your pattern in there as well you can see very easily what's inside and this could actually be your dressmaking file as yep. well couldn't it yeah especially if um, someone's doing dressmaking at school Oh gosh, yeah. Yeah, because then as well, for, for college, for um, GCSE or A-level, yep. you might be having to put together a portfolio. So you've got, yes, your finished pattern and garment, but you might also put maybe experimentation, maybe different yeah. stages. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you say your children are doing art at school? No, no, no. Um, art portfolio? No, but our um, oldest is an artist. Oh. So they didn't want to study it as a an oh, extra fantastic. so they, they wanted to artist. keep it as a keep it as a thing for themselves yeah. rather than having to put the stress on of GCSEs oh, yeah well I've never done city and gills patchwork and quilting no because I wouldn't want to have to you know what I mean do serious study I want it to always feel like fun it's all exams yeah it's not coursework no more right. when I um, went to school it's all coursework gotcha no we like the practical side. And when I was at school and did GCSE art, we didn't have portfolios like that. They were I the plastic green, uh, plastic ones, and they don't last. Super swanky. Yeah. Hello, I'm here for my art course. <laughs> Excellent. Love it. Right, so I've just... Take it along to interviews as well. Yeah. Graphics nice. designers, interior yes. designers. Interior design. Well, absolutely, because it does actually very much have that look. You know that really high-end fabric? Yeah. That's like £200 a metre yep. stuff where they get the... But yes, it's like this, isn't it? Yeah. Very nice. Right, so I've put the um, quilters tape on the actual um, page binding, and I'm just going to pop this over, line it all up. So I'm lining up the PVC edges mm -hmm. first before I... Put the zip into place. Okay. Okay, and then I'm just going to sew it along that. Okay. So you're attaching your zip at this point. Yep. I do love the snap-on feet. I do. So yeah. quick. So quick. Um, we just adore Elna sewing machines, um, don't we both? Yeah, I can't. Um, you can't beat them. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, Beck is using the Elna 780 Plus. You're saving £290. Should be £2,789. You're making a massive saving, but only until midnight on Friday. Uh, it's an absolutely glorious sewing machine with its own task lighting built in. Not just the regular lights that you'd expect on a sewing machine. Tells you when your bobbin's going to run out in a, what did you call it, a squeak? A squeak. A squeak. Not a squeaky voice. <laughs> just a... Uh. One good thing about this sewing machine, I will say, is a lot of people ask me how do I get straight so, um, stitches um, on when I'm top stitching. Mm. There's an adjuster on this side. So if you've got it on the aqua feed, it's a little nozzle mm -hmm. on this side. And if you keep clicking it, it makes the stitches from going off at an angle to straight. Oh, amazing. So that's another reason why I brought it. <laughs> you know, when you first got your machine, um, how difficult slash easy was it to get to grips? I used to be one of these people that used to sit down reading the instructions, but I didn't have time, so I just played. Okay. I literally went through every every setting, and then if I wasn't understanding it, I would get the manual out. But it is easy. It's on this screen. It mm -hmm. tells you what foot uh -huh. that you need, um, what plate for that. So it's not going to leave you behind. Right. Um, it won't let you. It won't work if it hasn't got the correct things in. Oh, interesting. So they're very sophisticated. They're very intuitive as well, aren't they? They are. Yeah. Sewing machines now. I think we've all got so used to sort of the intuitiveness of tablets and phones yep. and that technology now is there in a sewing machine isn't it it is yeah right i'm just rolling this out mm -hmm. and then i'll top stitch it along this edge and i'm just going to show you you don't need any any foot or you can use your regular foot to sew two pieces of um clear vinyl together oh, okay we don't need a 
non-stick teflon no, you foot. don't need a teflon foot you can if you want to walking foot walking foot if you find finding that it's sticky however this stuff isn't sticky this awesome. stuff's really good great just get it back into the center okay Right, just bear with me. So, as you can see, it's not sticking to the not bed. Not at all, it's amazing. No. Cool. And as you can feel that underneath my um, feed dogs, oh, I'm just going off air, but it doesn't matter. Um, underneath my feed dogs is a bit of the PVC as well as the zip. Yeah. Yeah, it went off. There. That just sailed through, beautiful. Yep. Oh, I really like that combination of the poppy cotton, <laughs> the glittery vinyl, it's the nice, pink it? zip. It's beautiful. And underneath this bit is the PVC. Yeah. And it's not sticking whatsoever. No. What I will say is when you're sewing the pack, um, the pouch together, which we're going to do in a minute, you're going to need to lengthen your stitch length. Okay. Um, to at least a four, 3.5 to a four. And the, the reason like when you're constructing it, it's not that too many perforated holes can rip. Oh, Same okay. with P, uh, PU. Right. So I'm just going to pull the zip into the centre. I'm mm -hmm. going to fold this over, and we're going to get some clips. Match up here, and then I'm going to cut the zip to its length. Fab. I've got some really smart clips coming up in the next hour, Becky. Have you? Gold it's the hemline line. gold. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, black and gold. Are the they're new, black and they're the clear new rainbow, with gold. isn't it? it yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. I've got some. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, I've got some, and um, they're so smart. Yeah. Yeah, I feel quite sophisticated using them. I must them. admit, I've got the um, the gold hemline um, quarters roll. Oh, and lovely. I like the. The We've gold. got that for the first time, actually. Have you? We haven't had that before. I like the gold because if you're using black fabric, yes. you can see see where you're cutting. Yeah. So sounds good. Sue's asked. Tell me yes or no to this. Could Becky show us the control that straightens the stitch for top stitching? I'm a bit torn between the 780 and a Juki equivalent for my next machine. Sue. Can we do that? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're going to do bit. that. And what I would say, Sue, is now is a very, very good time for us to do that because you're making £290 saving on the 780, which is a fabulous saving and, and worth every penny. You don't normally get these savings before Christmas. Um, should be £2,789. Yeah. Not now. No, two hundred and fourteen, two thousand four hundred and ninety-nine pound. Um, just until midnight on Friday. We're all loving the glitter today, by the way. <laughs> it's not just you and me that love glitter. No. Princess Maya's got in touch to say I've just ordered um, the. Uh, Clear PVC. Oh, clear PVC. Uh, I need to feel the need to stroke it. Yeah, it's <laughs> nice. It's nice. Uh, uh, it's lovely stuff. It's nice. There's and not soft enough though. projects with this. I know. I agree. <laughs> we need more. We have to design them. Design them. As you can see, it's just two pieces, and yeah. it's going through perfectly. Yeah, fabulous. I'm just going to go a bit slower. That reverse your stitch. Just going over your zip. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Don't press the reverse, that's it. Okay, so at the start and at the end, you need to reverse your sit, um, stitch. Then you're going to need your iron back on because there is going to be creases and you need steam. I think I've so turned it down. Ah, okay. I'm going to need some steam. Okay, and now you're just going to get your hand in. Do you want the ironing board warmed up? Yes, please. See, now you've taught me that tip, I'm going to use it. And then you're going to turn this right side face and eye. Mm -hmm. Embrace the creases. Yeah. <laughs> but again, this is why you've used a longer stitch length, yep. so it doesn't perforate when you turn it. That's it's the one stay reason. strong. Yeah. yeah. 
I want a raincoat made out of glittery PVC. They, my 70s used to have raincoats yeah. in this, didn't they? Yeah. And if you just for the girls, I always wanted <laughs> one. If you just get your finger up inside, just that one area that pushes out that corner, and there's no corner to push, you're going to roll the seam first. I'm still ironing. I'm still ironing. <laughs> And chuck a pair of jeans on there, I'll do them <laughs> quick work. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to just get your roller, just quickly do the edges and then we're going to get the creases out. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to make four of these, or as many as you want. Yeah. Because I think you can fit at least four on each side before. Which would be eight pockets in yeah. total. Yeah. Because there's a nice deep spine to this, isn't there? Yeah, that's the reason being is because I'm... Some quilts take up a lot of blocks, don't they? And yeah, they do. And by the time you've got them all assembled... Or if you're doing something like applique blocks where they're a lot thicker yeah. with the multiple layers. Yeah. And then you would just pop this back on there. Ouch. So I do a good job? Yes, you did. It's really warm. And that you get all the creases out and nice and flat. Best tip of the day, that. There's one there. Okay, so I'm going to just talk you through the rest yes, um, please. and then I'll show you the tip with the... So you will basically pile them up, stitch them together and then, if I borrow this please, mm. you will get your spine, don't put the um, handle on until way after, so you've got to work on the spine first, you fold in the raw edges and then you put three pieces of quilter's tape. So you've got quilter's tape in the centre and on the two long edges. Mm. And the reason why you've got it in the centre because you're only going to peel off the centre piece first okay. to stick that into the centre of the main body. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to peel off one side and then push the raw edges of those batch of pa pages got in. Got you. Then you're going to stick, stick that, down. that down. And then you're going to peel off this side, push that under, and they do actually, there's about a quarter of an inch between them, but obviously that will make the spine stronger. Yeah. And then once you've sewn down the spine, you've got two rows of stitches here. Mm -hmm. Means you've got, you know where the placement of the... Oh, that's so clever. It's so, so well thought out. So it means that you need to put that in between. And then that's just folded over four times. And then this is part of the binding. So we do quilt binding. Mm -hmm. So it's simple, not bias binding. Mm -hmm. And um, I tell you to make a lot longer than what you need for the body because you need 15 inches each side for the... Um, yep. The, for um, the, the ties. Right, so someone asked about the... Um, oh, yes. Yeah, so I'll do that. Okay. So I'm just going to use a piece of fabric that I've got here. A message across the bottom from Carol, who's in North Yorkshire. Hi, Stuart and Becky. I bought the Juki on Saturday and it's on its way. Fabric feeds through wow. itself. So exciting. Yep. Can't wait. Love, Carol. It is a nice machine, the Juki, because I was looking at that one as well. So. Mm. Right, OK. So with the Aqua Feed, so you need the um, stitch plate, um, straight stitch, where you can adjust this. Mm -hmm. So. Which also shows us very nicely how to change the needle plate. Yes. And you get these accessories, the box, everything included, you do, don't you? Yeah. So the straight stitch plate is in that little curved area is three dots, two large ones and a small one. So to do it, pull the gobbins box off. Yeah, the accessories <laughs> box. Accessories. There's a button here. Mm. Um, shall I turn the machine round? Or? Uh, yeah, well, I think it's okay to okay. explain. There's a little button you push There's a little down, button, pushes it up. Take that off. On the um, the plates, I've got a, a target. That's the only place you should actually really push down. So that target is the only bit where you push down onto the bed. Mm -hmm. So you're going to pop that in. And then that's the only place because you've got little mechanisms here. Don't push anywhere else because I've done that and I've had to have mine slightly fixed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, and then you put the bobbins box back on. So on your machine, you've got 
two lines with loads of little triangles, three little triangles, you need to click that button. You got to make sure you got an either A or D footer on. So I've got my A foot on. And then you're going to test your stitches first and test it on the same thickness that you're going to be sewing. So if you're making a bag, for instance, mm -hmm. you just quite find loads of fabric. Right. And then fold it all up. Yeah. So let me do it from this way. Or if it was attached to bows or put a bit of bows inside and yeah. mock up. Yeah, I'm yeah. just going to adjust this because I yeah. adjusted it earlier on. So it's out of, it's in line at the moment. Ah, gotcha. Right, OK. So if I sew, lengthen my stitch length a bit as you're top stitching because you will never do a. Um, so I'm hoping, yeah, it's worked. Cool. Right, okay. Okay, so where your holes are, you might not be able to see this, but where your holes are, your stitches will be slightly off at an angle, which means Let's that... keep it there for a second. Yep. Na, na, na. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, so they be slightly off at an angle. So on the side of your machine, on this machine and the 720, mm. you've got a little knob that sticks out about this far. You're able to just turn the machine for a second so we can see, I was thinking the other way, just so we can see the yep. little knob. Let me just unplug it. Ah, awesome. So this ah, thing here. That's it, perfect. So zero is, um, so it's standard. So if I click that one, just Zero. Is that on zero? I can't yep, see. Yes. Yeah. If standard, but I had this just below zero, so I know I need to click it a few notches up. So you're gonna click it a few notches and that then test it and see if it's straight. If it's not straight, you go back and twist it again. Mm -hmm. You can only do that on the A D mode and you can only do it on the straight stitch plate. Mm -hmm. Now the straight stitch plate does the job for yeah. um Obviously, because you're straight stitching and you're top stitching. Yeah, for beautiful top stitching, I'd use the straight stitch plate anyway, I yeah. think. Right, so. But that just helps to straighten everything up. Yeah. Because I have noticed that before with top stitching, I, I'm stitching as beautifully as I can. But it's still at it an angle. It just looks very slightly at an so angle. At, when it's at the angle, it reminds me of leather stitching. So when you're saddle stitching, when you're saddle stitching, you stitch with two needles. Mm -hmm. And because you're stitching with two needles, you are going at an angle. Mm. So it reminds me of that, but a lot of people don't like that. And mm. I personally don't like that, especially if you're making a pair of dungarees or something, mm -hmm. you want it perfectly straight, mm. don't you? Mm. So that's how you click it around. And that was the biggest seller for me, that was. Yeah. So. That's oh, I can see the difference straight. already. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's the little things though, isn't it? It is. Obviously the stitches are quite small, but that's perfectly straight. They're yes. not going off at an angle, so yeah. How clever. Yeah. Really appreciate you showing us how no, that no, no, works. That's fine. That's brill. That's brill. And Sue, I hope that has helped you with a difficult but rather lovely decision. Yeah. Which which brand new sewing machine shall I Not have? all sewing machines have got that, so uh, you need oh to no. have a ask around. That's high end, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's but all it's a the... really high end machine. Yeah. For, for a rather lovely price. For, and for what it does, there's yeah. like well over 200 and something stitches on there. Yeah. Plus, you can add more stitches. How? There's a USB and okay. you can go to Janome and buy some more so you oh. can add more and store it into the memory really clever mm -hmm. that machine's going to take you a long way yeah um, oh i love it brilliant thank you so <laughs> no, much you're welcome you're welcome thank you so much let me recap the block keeper and um, becky thank you for going no, over as well um brilliant brilliant this is the block keeper keep all of your blocks safe you can get the instructions with hardware if you would like so for that most popular option you get the full pattern you also get two meters of continuous zip in one of five different colors colors will vary you get four zip pulls so you're going to use that to create the four pages in your book in your block case for 19.99 if you prefer just to get the pattern on its own 
you can do that we'll give you details of that the pattern's 11.99 you might have 11.50 sorry you might already have zips on a roll or you could use a, like a 20 inch dress zip would yeah. do it wouldn't it yeah, yeah, yeah. yep so you could do that you could have a different colored zip on every page 11.50 for the pattern on its own now the bosal in our form this is double-sided fusible this is the best one for the project 11.99 for half a meter you need half a meter for the project you have a little bit left over but basically you need half a meter so grab that while you can you'll also need some iron-on interfacing medium weight uh, you're going to need two packs because you need two meters of iron-on medium weight interfacing in total one pack is on screen you just need quantity two yeah now then we have some fabric bundles as well so the paprika that Becky used for her original version, this is the paprika version, you get two fat quarters, that's paprika and seeded natural. Then you get a metre of the sunflower, beautiful fabric, this from Moda. And then you also get half a metre of this gorgeous, like almost like a little hashtag, again a Moda fabric, really beautiful, from Songbook range, really nicely put together though, I like that. So that's one version. Now, poppy cotton, this is the one you were working yeah. on. Love yeah. those florals. Absolutely beautiful. So you get a metre of the sort of mock patchwork, the little pinwheels on duck egg blue. You get half a metre of the same print on pink. There's a lovely little floral. You saw Becky using that for the binding of the pockets. And then you also get this lovely sort of golden mustard floral. Now it should be 28 99 You're making a five pound saving today. We've knocked five pound off just because, because just because. Happy. Yeah, just because we can. <laughs> and then there's a third option, which is a solids. And I've got those right here, most affordable, $14.99. You get a metre of a sort of lilac-y blue, uh, half a metre of that gorgeous vibrant amethyst. You get a fat quarter of rose and a fat quarter of duck egg blue. Beautiful. Or add your own fabrics. Now, Becky, in your first hour, we had the most incredible cosy night quilt. It's hanging behind me here. Every option sold out apart from one. We have got five bundles left of the Bumbleberry Aqua. We're going to try really hard to get more patterns, more kits for another show. Not today. It definitely won't be today. But um, we do have the Aqua Bumbleberries version, but we've literally got five of these left. So you get two meters of the Aqua Bumbleberries. It's one of my favorite blenders. It's nice, isn't Beautiful. it? It gives the texture. It does. It's yeah. gorgeous. And just love the kind of glowiness of that. You get four and a half meters of the Ivory. It's a lovely crisp ivory and it goes so beautifully with the bumbleberry in aqua and then you get Becky's full quilt pattern amazing value this because that's actually all the fabric you need to make a 72 inch square quilt top plus the binding under 70 pound and a pattern that you'll make again and again yeah yeah very very nice brilliant value just five left be quick if you want that one won't you and if you bought both patterns, that one and the block keeper, means you can do one block on the front of Oh, that's a nice idea. Yeah. You could put one of the blocks on the front of your block keeper. Yeah. Love it. Really yeah. nice idea. Yeah. Fab. Oh, and you've been talking to us today about your next project, which is a fabulous sew coming array next quilt. Year. Yeah, coming for next, next year. year. Yeah. February. Yeah, hopefully we're talking about it for birthday week. Awesome. So, Absolutely yeah. brilliant. Oh. Hint is on the front cover of Oh, bees. oh hello <laughs> oh oh hello sneaky peek <laughs> little sneaky peek the birds and the bees yeah talk about talk about an easter egg yeah <laughs> yeah yeah there. <laughs> you know what i'm talking about love it <laughs> becky sneaky uh love it thank you no, so much for welcome. a brilliant morning yeah. and amazing pro tips as always thank you no thanks for having me and thank you for sharing your quilting with us as well because mm. it's not something we've seen before necessarily no, no. i haven't it's no. been really lovely yeah you're welcome thank you <laughs> and thank you for the chocolates of course you're welcome
welcome. <laughs> I've had a couple. All right, we're going to go to a break now. When we come back, we're going to be back with Hemline Gold Notions. We've got some brand new. We've got some back in stock. They are all beautiful, beautiful, giftable. And we've also got some fabulous extra wide backings. Don't go anywhere. I'll see you the other side of this. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sound Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sound Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, 
Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. I'm all ready for Christmas here, I really am. We've managed to get some of the Ribbonly wreaths back in stock. So I wanted to share those with you straight away. We're gonna start with Jingle Bells, which is this one right here, which features those gorgeous maroon claret wine colors, that gorgeous, damask style ribbon now a quarter of the restock has already gone this is going to sell out again in a matter of minutes but it really is absolutely gorgeous isn't it made beautifully simply brilliantly simply if you can tie a shoelace you can make this wreath you get the wire florist's wreath you get your two reels of ribbon as well and one of them is a very clever double-faced ribbon so this one right here if you can see on the one side it's this gorgeous gold but then on the other side of it it's actually a beautiful claret we've got less than 20 of these left now it's going to sell out again i can't believe it <laughs> amazing it is really lovely though isn't it so beautifully classy and stylish very simply made quick and easy you could do a lovely craft noon christmas songs on the radio or on the um player you can switch it up as well if you want to next year you could add some baubles you could add pre-light you know kind of wire lights into there you could do what i've done on the table here if you've got your native lighting you could actually put your native lighting in let me just turn it back on there we go and how beautiful is that on the christmas table or as a centrepiece a bit of music. Oh. Let me paint a picture for you. It's Christmas Eve. The lights are low. That was like a cue, Bruce. The lights are low. Oh, can we do? The lights are low. <laughs> the family are gathered around a wreath at the table talking about Christmas past reminiscing <laughs> about times of old and just how much that turkey cost have you heard over a hundred pounds can't believe it grab yourself a Christmas bargain while you can this is gorgeous did that oh that was can I just say I really felt, I know I'm saying this myself but I felt magical That really did feel magical, beautiful. The way the light catches that gold is incredible. Take my advice, folks. Use electric candles, battery-operated candles, not real candles if you're going to add light. But a lot of us are doing that now anyway, aren't we? But isn't that gorgeous? I want to let you know we've got less than 15 of these left. We got a decent restock. We did get a decent restock but we're down to under 15 now. Down to under 15. Yeah, thank you, Bruce, for bringing a real bit of Christmas magic to the studio there. It was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now then, um, I'm gonna stick my neck out and say, my favorite um, is the Nutcracker. Uh, because I love the fullness. That's those big wired green ribbons in there with the polka dot in there. I love the Christmas tradition red green gold single figures of this one it's also your favorite 
beautiful and again I'm just going to lay that flat pop my lantern back inside and I mean that is just gorgeous isn't it absolutely beautiful the effect of that absolutely lovely this could be a little wreath in the center of your table you can hang this on the kitchen door or the back door front door above a mantelpiece you could even tie that onto like if you've got a um you know a bedstead that could go on the end uh, you've put me in a christmas mood while decorating our little country pub and watching you ho 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 wendy where's the country pub do you do food oh steak and ale pie lovely no i don't want it with potato and veg i want it with chips and bet gravy please oh yummy uh i'm so glad we put you in a christmas mood gorgeous gorgeous little baby guinness there we go yummy yummy that's going to sell out in the next minute or two you can be quick grab yourself one while you can nut cracker now i've been flaunting my native lighting all morning really ought to show this really ought to show this uh, gorgeous native lighting this is the reverse lamp we absolutely love this you can go from daylight you can go to warm light by simply turning it it's also got different um, intensity settings so we've got full setting you can go a little lower a little lower a little lower a little lower and its lowest setting so even if you just want it as a little night light you absolutely can and then there's our full light setting now this is a usb recharge so you're just going to plug that into a normal little usb charger recharge it and i think light time i'm taking this off the top of my head about four to seven hours eight hours depending on the level of light that you have it at um absolutely lovely i've got a couple of these at home and they're fab one upstairs one downstairs we've had a couple of power cuts recently and they've been an absolute boon they really have helped massively um oh lisa lamb's got in touch to say aha the wonders of telly you are hilarious Stu. we need you to do christmas cbb story time i'm available lisa that's all i'm gonna say i'm available um <laughs> steph's got in touch Stuart, you're wasted you should be in panto steph i've been saying it my whole life i've been saying it my whole life and for the last 10 years every christmas i've said if anybody's watching and wants me in panto i'm available i'll cancel christmas for you nobody has called nobody <sighs> yes being here is like being in a permanent pantomime isn't it let's be honest it's behind you what is the quilt anyway anyway if cbb's are watching i'd more than love to do cbb's story time i used to love doing story time with the kids at school and yes i can do the voices now then very very excited about hemline gold i'm very excited about gifting at christmas i love gifting and um so we've got some beautiful things some brand new things we launched hemline gold way back in march um, for sewing street's birthday and i fell in love with it then but we've actually expanded the range well hemline have check this out this is the gift tin it's not just the tin trust me it's not just the tin 27.99 you get this glorious tin that is beautiful isn't it um, I, even I could wrap that I probably couldn't I'm going to take the lid off oh inside beautiful black tissue it's all so smart it's so gorgeous and then look hello let me show you what you get inside you get a an exclusive hemline gold rotary cutter can be left all right-handed check it out yes it is a gold blade isn't that fabulous? Gold coloured, 
gold coloured blade um, also I love this it actually has its own stand so you can leave it standing up on the desk while you're not using it so you get that you also get the hemline gold uh, tape measure again beautiful I love the fact that it's all black and gold it's so smart you get a set of wonder clips again in black and gold and clear and gold those are fabulous aren't they and it's not a set of five or a set of ten you get loads absolutely loads you also get your marking pencils in silver that's in the black uh, casing that's the silver one and the white for marking for dressmaking quilting bag making again all with that lovely themed printing on in gold and then these are adorable i want these for everything um, you get these little jars screw top jars you've got this one is filled with gold colored safety pins we don't have this available separately by the way this is exclusive in the tin little screw top just think this is adorable i love it and then you get another one which again gold topped and in there you've got beautiful patchwork pins with little white heads on them the whole thing is just gloriously put together i can't believe for 27.99 you get a rotary cutter a massive set of clips tape measure marking pencils safety pins pins and that beautiful tin to put it all in i wouldn't even bother wrapping it frankly i would just put a bow on the top i've learned how to make a tailored bow now I'd put a tailored bow on the top, I'd put that under the tree, and that is Christmas in a tin. And that tin is so usable afterwards, isn't it? Beautiful, really cool, love it. So that's our first brand new from Hemline. We've also got a smaller gift tin, which I'm gonna show you next. So this one, uh, details coming up on screen, 20 pounds and something 20 pounds 99 for that um beautiful again same branding on the tin hemline gold really lovely destined to be a sewing kit isn't it or a button tin something like that and then open out the tissue we have got now i'm a little torn here because i love the gold colored safety pins but check these out. i have never seen matte black safety pins look at those those are fancy aren't they they are really cool so you get those you get a set of patchwork pins this time with black heads and again aren't those jars adorable it's national mason jar day these aren't quite mason jars but you know there's a certain relevance there one of my favorite hemline gold tools is the thread clipper you get these included um, you can add a little lanyard to these if you want to so that you've always got them close to you um, but these absolutely brilliant gold colored blades how smart are they don't waste your scissors cutting threads always use thread snips um, much better you then get this very very smart very posh tape measure retractable so pull it out and then squeeze the center to retract that is lovely isn't it really smart and then you also get a thimble how fab is that gorgeous and it's like a gunmetal like a gunmetal colour. How fab is that? Absolutely fabulous. All in tin for £20.99. pence. I think that's fab. What a brilliant way of getting all those notions and a beautiful tin. You can't buy the tins separately. You can only buy them filled with those gorgeous notions. We don't have the safety pins in those little jars available either. We do have a couple of other things in jars, which I'll get to. If you wanted to supplement your tins and add a few extras, I got you covered. Now then, can I show you this next? I'm grabbing it. Great minds think alike. Now this, again, brand new. This is brand new. I've never seen this. This is the Hemline Gold 
6 by 24 rotary ruler and yes the markings are gold check this out look at that that's rather lovely now what a brilliant uh, ruler for cutting darker fabrics also works brilliantly on light fabrics too just gorgeous really sort of opulent isn't it it's a brilliant ruler um, general thickness an eighth of an inch thick um, per specs really good quality ruler and yes it has a little hole in the top so you can hang it up or put it on a hook when you're not using it so that's fab um, now we've also got and this goes with beautifully the hemline gold cutting mat I love the fact that this is so smart and chic I love the black I love the gold I think it looks very very smart I like the fact that it's non-gendered I've seen you know bright pink and pastel pink cutting mats I've seen blue as well which I think are really nice but the black I just think is so smart it's so elegant it really looks cool that's the cutting mat the price is Brill. This is really heavy duty as well. This is heavier than a lot of cutting mats, so it's going to be really sturdy and last well. You've got inches marked on one side, you've got centimeters marked on the other. It is now. I'm not sure whether this is one of those self-healing or whether it's one of those ones that actually resists cutting this is a self-healing but it feels very hard and firm which is a brilliant sign in a cutting mat because it means it's going to last and last just beautifully teenagers arts and crafts on their desk keep it clean not covered in glue yeah i think it's ace really like that the mat on its own 19.99 the new ruler how much was that again please 17.99 that's a really good price really good price point for a six inch by 24 inch ruler and again printed in gold just lush love it we need to do rotary cutter don't we so you saw this in the large gifting tin i also have this available on its own so it's got a lovely soft grip handle it's got that gold colored blade which i think is super smart it's also got the little stand on it integrated stand so that when you're not using the rotary cutter you can leave it standing up on your desk i'll just show you actually thanks cat there it is so you can fix this around for left or right-handed use. It's super easy to change and it takes standard 45 millimeter blades. There's nothing standard about a gold blade though, is there? Let's be honest. Now, am I right? I am right. You can get gold rotary cutting blades on this show. Can we do it next? <laughs> so you might just want to bling up your standard 45 mil rotary cutter this is a lovely little gift isn't it look gold finger it's not solid gold it's not gold plated it's gold colored but it is rather gorgeous um uh, collector in mercy says i love this range looks very stylish and great for gifts it really is it's swish it's swish it is um you want me to hold up the hole Oh, okay, sure. I mean, this will fit any standard rotary cutter. Um, there we go. So if I just slip that out for a second so you can see. So absolutely standard hole. So any 45 mil rotary cutter, whether it's a trigger, whether it's the, the stick handle, that will fit. And that will also fit if you've got something like a... Um, is it Fiskars? You know, the one that's a little bit like a paper guillotine um, where the, the ruler and mat are integrated. It will also fit those as well. So absolutely standard, but gold, $3.99. Lovely little secret Santa that, isn't it? A little gold rotary blade for that friend who's just that little bit extra. 
We've all got one. It's usually me. Um, okay, let's do the gorgeous um, quilting clips. You get a set of 30 in this pack. You get 15 of the black and gold, 15 of the clear and gold. So perfect for things like when you're sewing on your quilt bindings to your quilts. You can also, I use these all the time when I'm bag baking. I'll be honest, I don't use them so much for quilt binding, although I know a lot of quilters swear by them, but these are brilliant for bag making, especially when you've got lots of thick layers. Really good if you're sewing PU, if you're doing dressmaking with lots of thick layers as well, or anything that you don't want to pin, like vinyl. Fab, again, 589, they look, really classy they are really classy aren't they but the price is regular price it's a regular price it's very very affordable now um bobbin box i've got these for my long arm bobbins love them they're the only thing that keeps me tidy and they're the only thing that stops me losing my bobbins this is a bobbin case for your sewing machine now in here you've got spaces for 28, yeah, 28, yep, yeah, 28. Do you know, I've remembered that from the last time we did this, which was months ago. It has made an impression on me, 28 bobbin holes. So um, you don't get any bobbins with this, you get this insert, which you can remove. So for example, you could put your bobbins in this and have this next to your sewing machine. You could then use the little insert case for something else. Lots of you multi-buying. Now I'm thinking to myself, are you thinking like I'm thinking? Which is fill uh, one of these just with your neutral bobbin thread. Maybe you do lots of different colors in your applique work, for example, and you're gonna use this. Maybe you're gonna use this to transport your threads for hand sewing. You're just gonna wind them onto bobbins and have your applique set, your floral colors, your greens, your browns, your grays and tans. Maybe uh, you are going to um, put your bobbin thread for your embroidery machine. You use a standard one color, bobbin thread for all of your machine embroidery, you could fill 28 bobbins, have them all in your case. Now, when your machine beeps at you and tells you that your bobbin is running out, it's no big deal. You don't start re-threading the machine. You just reach into your hemline gold bobbin case, grab another pre-filled bobbin, and away you go. 3.99, lots of you multi-buying this, loads of you multi-buying this. It's really great. Um, really, really good price, very giftable. It's also, I think rather cleverly, got a little hanging tab on it. So if you've got one of those sort of pegboards in your sewing room, you could pop that onto a little peg and then you've always got that stored. Like I say, it's the only thing that stops me from losing or misplacing my bobbins. Very, very popular that. Now, thread snips. I mentioned these earlier on when we were looking at the gift tin. You'll find this in the small gift tin. This is your thread snips, 6 99 Again, it's a great secret Santa or giftable, isn't it? Lovely stocking filler, but it's also just beautiful to have in your sewing kit. Gold colored blades, almost like old fashioned sheep shears, but smaller. <laughs> My, Charlie's grandfather used to shear all the sheep using the manual ones, not electric. Couldn't use the electric sheep shearers. Um, always hand clipped, beautiful. Hard work though, oof. But these are not hard work to trim your, your threads. Now, while we're just here, can I just show you? I really love the Hemline Gold packaging because it's all eco-friendly. It's all recycled and recyclable cardboard. There is zero plastic in the packaging. Even the little tie that is holding in place is made of paper and wire, which can be recycled. So we like that. We like that a lot. Good, good, good. All right, next up, can we do scissors, please? Yes, the large black and the large clear. Oh, large black first. Oh, these are pinking shears. Can we? Oh, I do love pinking shears. I don't have an open sample of this. I'm gonna open this one. 
I'm going to open this. I want to show you. It's really lovely and I might even grab a little bit of fabric just to show you these. I sometimes tell the story of my, my mum had pinking shears and I just loved the sound that they made cutting through fabric. These are a thing of beauty. Black handles, gold coloured pinking blades. Those are absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Just a thing of beauty. $17.99 is an amazing price. I, of course, took my mum's um, pinking shears and a wadge of paper into the pantry. And I sat in the pantry on the floor with the door shut uh, with the said pinking shears cutting through paper so and I sat in the dark so I could just concentrate on the sound because it is just beautiful sorry that's my childhood in a nutshell beautiful isn't it <laughs> there is a, there's an awful lot to unpack oh stop stop laughing at me <laughs> I'm just very carefully cutting out this quilt label here. There we go. Oh, it's lovely. Just gorgeous. You've got that wonderful pinked edge. Brilliant for dressmakers, of course, but not just dressmaking. Um, I use pinking shears now a lot when I've done my seams, especially on curved piecing, and I want to clip into the seam allowance so that it bends around a curve. I tend now just to go in with a pair of pinking shears um, because then you've got all those lovely little notches that are going to allow the fabric to sort of bend. This is also brilliant if you don't have an overlocker or you want a quick and easy way just to neaten the fabric edges and there you can see you've got that lovely pinked edge. Lots of you checking out now. And what what's really nice to see actually, what a lot of you are doing. Oh, sorry, sorry, there we go. What a lot of you are doing, I'll just, it's a bit creased up, but there we are. Um, what a lot of you are doing actually is making up your own little bundles, which I think is adorable. So um, this could be going into a Christmas stocking, this could be going into a little gift box or bag, but you can do your own little sort of dressmaker set with maybe pinking shears, dressmaking scissors, and maybe snips and a thimble, some pins, something like that. Absolutely lovely. They're the pinking shears anyway, $17.99 for those. Okay, next up we've got some dressmaking scissors. Now, um, the theme is black and gold, but some of the items have this clear, these clear handles, and I just think this is so smart. Now, we don't have as many of these as we need by any means. The single figures of these already, $13.99 for these, gold colored blade, clear plastic handle, which I think is just so chic. It really is very, very smart. $13.99. Now we've also got the small embroidery scissors which I think are gorgeous. These are super cute aren't they? Look you've got your little clear handle there and then your gold coloured blades. Just love the fact that it's almost, you know those watches that are see-through so you can see all the mechanism. I love the fact that you can actually see where the metal blades go into the handles it's just really just chic isn't it lovely the price point's amazing 3.99 a mistake surely um pins pins hand sewing needles they are yeah you lied you lied you lied i've got those right here so i showed you the little jars that had got the pins these have got um needles in assorted sizes um, they're all sharps so you've got fives and you've got sevens you get 10 in total the little jar by the way is plastic not glass it's not going to smash and then you've got this little matte gold screw cap i think that's an incredibly smart way to gift and to store your needles 199 it's just brilliant isn't it now we've also got a different set 
this is ending 4-5. Um, same look, these are um, nine, eight nines and tens, and these are hand quilting needles. So if I just shake them down, can you see they're a lot shorter? These are a lot shorter, but hand quilting. And I also use these for sewing on things like bindings, hand sewing bindings. Again, one ninety nine for those. Can I just mention, please, the magnetic pin dish? Because this is one of my favourites. This is ending 8-7. It's a shiny black dish. It is, um, all, the base of it is all magnetic. So you can literally kind of just drop your pin in the vicinity of, and it just jumps straight into the bowl. They're brilliant. They're also really good. I'm like everybody else. I drop the odd pin on the floor. I've got lovely Mrs. Mills. I also like to walk around bare feet. So when I'm doing my sewing, I go down on the floor with this. I skim this across the surface. And even if I can't see the pin, it'll jump into the bowl. It's a great way of clearing up. Again, great price, $8.99 for those. Also, lots of you have bought these in the past for tool sheds and workbenches, things like that, for things like screws and nuts and um, even nails, things like that, keeping them um, safe and stored in a little, little dish. Very good. Now, tape measure. This is LX01. This is the retractable tape measure. You get this in the small gift tin. You can also buy it on its own. Pull it out, press the center. You have to press both sides. There we go. Um, so again, pull it out. It's marked in centimeters on one side, inches on the other. So it doesn't matter whether you're new money or old money. There we go, absolutely lovely for six sixty nine. Okay, quilting pencils, again available in the large gift tin if you want them in a gift set. On their own, two sixty nine. You get the white one, which has a white um, pencil, and then the black one has a silver pencil. So they're both going to show up really well on light or dark fabrics. Just remember to always test them, our instructions, but always test them on any fabric before you start marking the real thing. Test it on a scrap of fabric that it goes on nicely, that you can see it well, and that also um, you can remove it easily from that fabric. Okay. Multi mat. You know me, I love a multi mat. This is the Hemline Gold Multi Mat. For $19.99, you've got that gorgeous branding on the outside, that printed fabric with the black and white images. Inside, this is your ironing surface on the outside. Inside, you've got your sandpaper board for marking fabrics on. You've got your sort of felty fabric sheet in there, which is for doing your sort of design wall and arranging your fabrics. You've also got a self-healing cutting mat inside there as well. And when I talk about a self-healing cutting mat, I'm not talking about any old self-healing cutting mat. It is black with gold markings. It is all branded. It is beautiful. Your felty sheet is black. It is beautiful. This is the kind of thing they normally show really expensive jewelry on, isn't it? On black velvet. Here are the diamonds, lovely. There's your sandpaper marking board as well for marking fabric. Non-slip, if you put your fabric on that, you see, and you can mark your half square triangle, things like that, and your fabric won't move and slip. And then you've got your ironing surface. At the moment, in my hotel room, yes, I've got my ironing board set up for ironing the finished block, but I've actually got my multi-mat set up just to the side of the board. I'm sewing, and then I'm putting it on there and I'm finger pressing, because I tried finger pressing on the desk surface, was not working well at all. The fabric was slipping and sliding. I wasn't getting a good crease. On your multi mat, great for finger pressing, great for pressing with an iron as well. Really recommend those. Now, we've also got the sewing box. Now, again, if you've been getting lots of different notions from the Hemline Gold range to make up a gift, uh, why not present it in a sewing box? Then you don't even need to wrap it. Lovely gift bow on one side, some ribbon, and you're done. So padded surface. So you can, I often use those as pin cushion, stick your pins in. Magnetic snap on the front. 
feet on the bottom so it's actually not sitting directly on your surface and then inside you've got a pin cushion right here lovely padded pin cushion you've also got an elasticated topped pocket right here difficult to show you because it's black but I'm sure you can see it at home in the top of it then you've got your tray insert really quite deep that it's got to be at least an inch inch and a quarter deep so you can put things like your scissors tape measure marking tools maybe a rotary cutter a little pair of scissors or thread snips in there and then that sits very nicely on the top so there's a little lip that runs around it all right but if you take that out you've then got this cavernous space inside that you can keep your work inside maybe your English paper piecing maybe your crochet whatever you're working on right now love it love it now I did mention earlier on about some extra wide backings that we would have in this show so I'm just going to grab those oh excuse me ending 29 thanks Kat now there's a photo on the web but if you looked at that you'd believe that this was just uh, red and orange it is anything but this is the whole rainbow you know I'd be all over this this is gorgeous and this is ombre hello lovely that's what I'm talking about starts off with magenta through to pinky red 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 orange orange yellow gold chartreuse blues purples the whole shebang ah that is incredible it's 12.99 for a half meter that is going in my stash that is beautiful thank you cat just beautiful um the photograph on the website really doesn't do it justice at all it is stunning and it is so smooth 100 percent cotton of course beautiful backing width wise this is 108 inches wide i need this in my life because i really don't like joining fabrics for quilt backings i don't i don't like doing it i won't do it unless i really really have to <laughs> now um we've got two other quilt backings uh, which i will grab and show you we have got rainbow dots i'll open a little bit of this it's extra wide 108 wide uh hoo -hoo. that looks good on tv right <laughs> strobing like mad but that is beautiful isn't it really cool you could make some great cushions from that you don't have to just use it for quilt backs be lovely as a border as well on a quilt really fab again same price 12.99 for a half meter back in stock now wanted to let you know and then this is a bit of a sort of moody bit of a 70s rainbow this one i'm really liking this i'm really liking that now I'm thinking a maxi dress or a maxi skirt in that actually would look amazing. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. Or a bag. I mean a half a metre for £12.99 would make two bags for £12.99. Just saying. Very economical way of buying fabric. Glorious. All right, it's time for the menu. <laughs> Let's do the menu all right here it is so at 8 a.m i'm guesting tomorrow it's actually vix um she's going to be in at 8 a.m with bulk buy bundles at 9 a.m i don't quite understand what that is but we'll see uh, at 9 a.m jason yenta colorful quilt with delphine brooks now at 10 a.m i'd like you to welcome santa paws and santa claus and joy to the world christmas stocking panels with me i'll be guesting that hour 10 o'clock at 11 delphine's back with fabric panels and then at 12 o'clock christmas makes and fabrics before I go, I just wanted to quickly show you, this is Santa Paws, <laughs> this is Santa Claus, 
Ah, this is joy to the world. So I've got these beautiful Christmas stocking panels. Each stocking panel has enough fabric to make not one, but two Christmas stockings. They're double-sided. You get loads of different pennants. You get your binding, your hanging loop, literally everything you need. Uh, two dogs, two cats, or a blue and a green version of the Joy to the World, which matches my Christmas bag uh, for this year. So whatever you like doing, I know you'll enjoy that. That's at 10 o'clock tomorrow. I hope you'll join me. I'd like to wish everybody again a very happy St Andrew's Day. Uh, lots of love to all our viewers and all our friends in Scotland and our Scottish friends all over the world, in fact, and all our sewing friends, of course. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for sharing your morning with me and us here on Sewing Street. I will see you tomorrow morning with Vix. Until then, take care of yourself and each other. Mwah.